Hello, hello, hello. Let's see. Hello to hello to let's see what we got here. To my apple. Let's see. Hello, my mayor. Hello, McClanky. My kills. Cosmic Crazy. Yeah, green hearts. That is uh, Sebastian's favorite color. Uh, let's see. Hello, Apple. Come on. Hello, Cranky. Come on. Hello, Michaels. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. He's wanting to come. Come on. I'm sorry, y'all. Come on. He's always going to be a part of the show. Let's see. Hello, Mumsy. Welcome. Let's see. Hello, my Napa. Got my candles, my gypsy. Okay, my Stacy Avocado. Hello, baby. Uh, got my gypsy. My Virgie. My cat, USA Navy Vet. Junie Marie, I see you. My Mona. My Pick Me, my Elaine, your basic chicken. Simply Bond, hello, darling, hello. My allegedly, you made one. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Cranky's up there. Let's see. Hello, Mari. Mari. Hello, my crazy cat mama. Did you just see Robin? I did. I miss Robin. Hello, my Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Neno. Hello, my fancy face. I got, I got Kevin down here. I didn't see Robin. Uh, she's down here. There she is. There you are. Hi, Robin. We had a great conversation. And here's what we decided. Okay. Given the circumstances, um, what we're going to do is this. And this is what we decided to do. Uh, is this we're going to we chose to do a little a recording um that way uh hello my carrie it, it's uh better and i think this listen the words are strong um this is fresh that's her grandbaby that that is missing saturday marked i'm sorry sunday marked the third week that Sebastian has been missing. Nothing. Um, I can imagine. Um, I don't know if anybody can imagine this. Uh, I think it's a nightmare. It, it's a probably a living hell and a club that nobody signed up to be. They didn't. Um, I'm going to start off with... Um, I am going to start off with her words. Um, hello, my Brookie. I'm going to start off with, with uh, Robin, and that's Miss Robin. Her words. Hello, my Daisy. Hello, Peter. I'm going to start off with her words. And uh, they're pretty strong words. I think she, she means everything that she says, and I did spend time today, well, it was early morning, speaking with her son. Uh, we were well over the four-hour minute mark on the. We were there for a while. So let's start with Miss Robin. You are the grandmother of Sebastian, Seth's mother. And you have a message. Yeah, I do. Um, first, what I'd like to say and what I'd like to ask of everybody, podcasters, everybody, is do not refer to Chris Southwood as my grandson's father, dad, whatever. He 
here to Tennessee? I do believe in Easter, Easter miracles. Oh, my goodness. You, and that is, that is the grandmother here. Does grandpa want to say anything or does he stand by what you said? That. Is there anything that you that, that he likes that, that stands out to you? Oh, Sebastian loved animals. He loves animals. No. In fact, um, when I asked him what he wanted um, for his birthday, his birthday is the same day as his great uncle's and his dad. December 7th, the same day as my dad's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, he wanted books about animals and about plants. Oh. So, um, along with clothing, which I always buy, buy for him, mm -hmm. uh, I buy for a bunch of uh, books on animals and plants, and he was so excited when he got them. Um, Aww. Yeah, and we would talk about, I before we moved to San Antonio, I had chickens, mm -hmm. and uh, we would talk about the chickens, and when, when, one of the things that he asked for, uh, um, when... Uh, I asked him what he wanted for his birthday and Christmas was he wanted pictures of my dogs. We have two old Boston Terriers. Um, and he loves uh, Maggie and Annie. And he uh -huh. wanted pictures of the puppies. So he loved the dogs. Now, when did you ever know him to be a person that, or, or a child that would go outside at night? Or, no. How about no. without his no. shoes? Absolutely not. So. Not unless, not unless he was with somebody and he was going from pet point A to point B with somebody. So, and was he ever a runner? No, never. Yeah, reason to, but he never did. And is there things like when he was with you all, did he like electronics? Oh, he, he's always loved electronics. He's always loved games. Um, and I would play games with him. Mm -hmm. he, he loved trying to beat me. <laughs> he had a lot of fun. Um, so he likes games. But, but he would be in the kitchen with me. You know, he he loved to help help me cook, and he loved helping me set the table and, and doing that sort of thing. Um, and uh, you know, his his mom used to say that he wouldn't eat a lot of things, but when he was at my house, he ate everything I ever put in front of him. No. So he he liked his he likes his meatballs cooking. So he's a happy-go-lucky little rambunctious boy, a normal kid. <laughs> when he's with his dad, I can say that, that he is. He's happy. I mean, he's like any other kid. Yeah. He gets moody. He gets moody. He gets tired. He gets even more moody. You know. And he's not. You know. Jolly, jolly, 
only 100% of the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. For right. the most part, when I when he was around us, um, he's, he was a happy kid. He's a happy kid. Did he ever seem like he worried about anything? Yeah. Being at his mother's house. Would he talk about it? Yeah. He talked to me about lots of things. But I'm, I'm not in a position to talk to Okay, him. no, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. But most of the time, he was just, he's a happy kid. Most of the time, he's a really happy kid. All I can say is when he's at his dad's house or when he was at our house. Um, That's his happy time. Really happy kid. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Happy kid. I want to make sure that I'm able to answer some of these questions before I try to answer those questions. Hello, William Brooklyn and everybody coming in. Um, the question about uh, could he be, could somebody have hit him? You know what? That is a possibility. That's not going to be off the table. That's not. Welcome, Carrie. Let's see. Um, let's see. Um, we also have another Amber Alert for a missing child. Oh my goodness. But that, that child has been found safe. This is weird. What? All right. Got that. So, all right. Um, the father is in chat. If y'all want to offer up, well, we just, I don't know. If He's visible if you can see him or not. A lot. Uh, it does, Brooke. I don't, I don't know what to say. Um, all right. I can't answer any more things on the phone. Nobody's talked. Yes, and his father is in the chat. So, uh, if there are any questions that he, let's see, hold on, let me turn my thing off here. It won't let him chat for five minutes. Hold on, I'm gonna turn that off. Give me one minute. I'm gonna turn it off. That way, you will be able to chat. Oh, I knew you wanted to know that. Um, I will. Uh, what I was planning to do, and I'm going to read some of those things. Hello, sweet fly like a girl. I'm going to read some things that he did put out there. Let me adjust this real quick because his dad can't get in to chat. So we're going to knock that down to a minute. And if I had to turn it up, I'll turn it up because I don't want anybody to be rude or anybody to be disrespectful. Okay, he should be able to now. Yes, I've got it on the community tab. All right, so I've got that. All right, hello, Casey, and welcome, welcome, welcome. It should let you talk now, Mr. Seth. It should now. And we spent a long time talking today. We spent a lengthy time talking today. Welcome, Carrie, my nurse, Jen. Let's see. Um, oh, the criminal history part. Um, I don't know how much I can talk about on that. I'm just going to say that um, there is some things. Um, he isn't, this stepfather is in a custody battle. Let's say that. He's involved in a custody battle today. Yeah, he will be for a while. That might help there. There he is. There's the, there's uh, Sebastian's father. Um, I'm sure that if I, I want to make sure that he's comfortable with any 
questions that uh, uh, you may have. And like I said, if he wants to come up, he is welcome to come up. If he wants to and feels comfortable, nobody here is going to attack him. I wouldn't allow it. We're here for him. Yeah. And any any comments, knock them out. Just knock them out. Because we're going to not we won't do that. Knock them out. Um, I will read some of the things. Um, let's see. The GoFundMe link is on my community tab. Um, let me get to uh, this. Why is it not letting her up to me? Oh, this is weird. Okay. Let me get to some things that I can read. Um, and I want to make sure that he is okay with me reading this. Welcome, Pookers. Before I start reading, uh, Mr. Seth, are you okay with me reading um, some of the things that, that uh, he has commented and made comments on? Hello, Missy. So he is okay. Okay. I just want to make sure that you're comfortable if I read some of the things. And if you do want to come up, I will drop a link. I don't care. You're more than welcome to come up at any time. I'll drop the link. You can come up at, at any point. All right. Let me go and get some of these comments that I've grabbed here. And I, I mean, if y'all want to, I can play, actually, uh, let me do that real quick. I will be able to play what Seth did have to say. He had a message. Um, let's see. Uh, thank you, Brookie. Yes, prayer. I believe in prayer. When he said December 7th, and he just started naming off December 7th, and I said, that's my dad's birthday. And then it just trickled down to Sebastian's birthday. And then this person's an uncle's birthday. I thought, my goodness, what? An, and look at all these people that said December 7th birthdays. <laughs> what state? Tennessee. I will drop a link if that's what he's asking. If he does want to come up, he didn't have to. Um, they have a go. I have the GoFundMe. It's on my community wall, and I want to say something about that GoFundMe. There was a threat that was made. Hello, Maria. There was a threat that was made uh, towards the family about that uh, by uh, Mr. Proudfoot. Nobody's scared. It's not illegal to have a GoFundMe because this man has actually been searching for his son and he's not actually able to work while he's doing that. And I think we all know that he does work for Davidson County Sheriff's Department. Mm -hmm. So, of course, he's been out there every day. All three candlelight vigils. He's had his feet on the ground. So, yeah, no one's scared. No one's scared. The link is on my uh, community wall. Yes, 
does not mean that it's disrespectful at all. And knock him out of the rip. But if he wants to come up, he can. Anything in corn, let me see what you got there. Uh, I can play that footage of the lights. Um, I don't know if that, oh gosh, I don't know. I don't know if he's seen, the, I don't, I do not know if he has actually seen the full footage of that. So I, they're saying no, according to TBI. And I, I don't put much of my hope into them. And that's my opinion only. That's me personally. I'm saying that. That's for me. And it is sad, but he has spent his time doing that right there. Let's see. And I will play the message from his. Um, play his message and what he had to say. Yes, we do have the power of prayer. The 911 call, I think it did come in at uh, 6.39, which was almost 40 minutes after 6 o'clock. I don't recall exactly what time um, Seth was alerted. That's up to him if he wants to tell that. Um, But remember the six o'clock deal. All right, I know how to end then. Okay, and that is you. Welcome. Can you hear me? I'll make sure I don't. Can you hear me? I can now, yes. I want to make sure we didn't have any reverb. There you are. Because they're going to have a lot of questions, so I want to make sure we get this all good. Okay. Let's see. Do you want me to play the, the call? I'll leave that up to you. They believe that. Gotcha. His microphone, and he said it is not working properly. So I want to see if he got if he gets it handled. Can you hear me now? He's unmuted. I want to make sure he can hear me. I could, I could hear him there for a minute. Let's see what he's saying here. You can't hear anything? Yeah, he's connected. He can't hear me. Hold on. What's going on here? Oh, you can't hear anything. Let's see what happens. Let's see.
Let's see what he says on that. Let's see. I can do that. How about that? Is that better? Okay. I got him. I got us both covered. Okay. Seth, say hi. See if I can get him to say hi. You still see him on here? I can't turn his cam on. He's muted. He's unmuted. Okay. He's got that. Let me take this off. Cancel. Put it back. Okay. I don't have a headset on. I'm speaking right here. Can you hear me? I don't have a headset on. Let's see. Do do do. Okay. Do 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 do. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop him and we're going to bring him back up. Okay, I'm going to add him back. All right, let's try that. I did that. Uh, do, do, do. Yes. His square clock, the bottom at the top. Edit mic settings, square clock. Huh. I got him all the way to the top. Okay, he doesn't have to have his earbuds in if he doesn't want to have his earbuds in. All right, Brooke, I'll just see if I can get Brooke to come up. Brooke, can you come up? That way you can, maybe I'm not saying it right. Right, even on the phone, you don't have to do it. Let me see if I can get Brooke to do it. Let me see if I can get Brooke to explain it. Brooke's better at this than I am. Brooke, will you help me? Okay. Crazy cat mama, I'm not the greatest. Uh, Carrie, I want to say this. Uh, Carrie, to me, they do as well. Um, they do me too. I, I would try without, um, maybe you can explain this. I would do it without the earbuds, but I'm going to see what Brookie can do. All right. 
right, here's 90, okay. Okay, let's see if you can explain it. Okay, can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, so whenever Seth comes, Seth, when you come up and you click the link, it's gonna say, allow camera, allow microphone. Um, if you wanna be on camera, you just leave it as it is and hit enter, like studio. And then if that that should by default leave him open with his mic and his and his camera. All right, let's try it with you up here though. And if he's on okay. ear, AirPods or earbud earbuds, tell him to turn his Bluetooth <laughs> off. Okay, turn his Bluetooth off. Yeah, just in case it is a Bluetooth connection issue or something, because sometimes that does weird stuff. All right. Oh my gosh! Hello, my black hat music. I'm glad to see you, and I hope you're healing better. Okay, let's see if he heard you with that right there. All right, Seth, hello, my dream sickle. Let's see if he heard that one, if he can do it. Seth, um, let's try it with uh, Miss Brooke up here. She's better at this. I'm not. I wouldn't say that, Terry Lynn. <laughs> well, I, I give you more credit than me. Okay. Now, what do you want to do here? <laughs> just tell him to just go ahead and click the link again and just hit enter studio. Like, and it'll say continue as Seth Rogers because that's his name. So continue as Seth Rogers. And then it'll show his himself with the little microphone and the camera. Just tell him to leave it as is and hit enter whatever it says, enter chat or enter backstage or enter studio or whatever it says. He's down here at the bottom. Okay. He's down here at the bottom. Uh, okay, so go ahead and add him. Yeah. If he's at the bottom, go ahead and add him. Okay, I'm adding you now. Okay, let's see. Okay, his camera's on. Crap, what happened? I did that. Let's do this again. <laughs> I did that. Okay, here we go. Okay, you can choose to turn your camera off, leave it on. You might want to leave it on. All right here we are, Mr. Seth. You might have a bad connection. Let's find out. Hello, can you hear us? Hey, he's learned he's done that. Okay. Now what does he need to do? Welcome, Vanessa. All right, so he's on panel. Now, Seth, at the bottom of your screen, if you're on your phone especially, you're gonna see a mic, camera, chat, more, and leave. Just make sure your mic is not highlighted red. Make sure it's white. Since your camera is off, your camera icon will be red. So if your, your camera icon, Seth, should be red, and then your mic, obviously, is probably red as well. If you just click the microphone, it'll turn white, and that'll mean you are available uh, audi audibly. So make sure, I'm going to type it back there. Make sure, make sure. Mic is what now? White. If it, uh, when, it when the, when the mic, mic is on, it's white. When it's off, it's red. Right. It's white. There he goes. Okay, you're good. You're here. Yay. This is Brooke. This is my friend, Brooke. Seth. Hi, hi Seth. How are you? About as, as expected, I guess. I mean, yeah. I don't know question nowadays everybody wants to ask me that question and it's like i'd love to make you laugh i got it well i did make him laugh earlier a little bit i think well i'm gonna drop him like terry lynn and you have a discussion just seth know that we're praying for you and your son and your entire family and we will continue to do so until until um sebastian is found Amen. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Nice to meet you and Terry Lynn. Great job. I'm going to drop. I'm glad we got connected. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for helping. Thank you. All right, Seth. You got this. And I know that you're going to think I'm crazy here, but come on. Come on. Um, this cat is, is a part of everything. And I don't know if it's a sign. I don't know. Come on. So they have some questions for you. Come on, buddy. This is Kevin, of course. He's the mascot. Come on, buddy. And maybe he's got something. He's going to talk to us. So anybody have us any any questions? Let's see. Um, they're thanking you for joining. Um, let's see. 
y'all had some questions earlier. Um, I'm trying to remember what that question was. We got a little disconnected. Uh, as long as it's not concerning anything during that the uh, that they're investigating, which they have correct. not let me really know much to begin with. Correct. Well, answer everything to my best ability. Correct. So, can I ask you? Have you had well, a polygraph? Just, when I walk, no, I haven't. I volunteered for a polygraph, and I was not given one. Okay. Okay. Was do you know of anybody that has been given one? That's been a big question. Everybody's asking. I'm just I'm asking the questions, the hard ones that they've asked. I bet it for Seth. Y'all, y'all heard me. I said, I bet him. He was working 12 hours. He got a call in between that. Call and text message at about 6.20 in the morning. I'd been there since 6 p.m. Because I would like to beat traffic. Because on 24, you never know how traffic is. Mm -hmm. I was there about 6 o'clock Sunday evening at work and then when i got the message at 7 20 monday morning to call chris that it was a 911 and when i called that's when i found out my son was missing They want to know how often do you feel okay? Oh, I don't know if he can answer if the bed was slept in that morning. I don't know. I know that when I was when I got to the house and I walked in, I saw the room was a mess. Uh, blanket wasn't. I mean, his room, his bed wasn't made. Stuff like that. But they had already. Police had already been in the house to search. Hey, they want to know what the F is up with the stepdad story. It's all over the place. I'll, I'll answer that, in my opinion. That way he doesn't have to. If that helps. It's it's fine. because I mean, I, I don't know. He's his own person. He's going to say whatever he wants to say. Mm -hmm. Is he one of your good friends? Who? No. Um, this stepfather. Talk every once in a while. Text. Call to see how much. Yeah, I'll I'll read some of his own answers if you want. Uh, when he left for Memphis, out of his, um, he has given. I've read the three. I think it was two or three answers that he's given. That's what I can say. I, I don't know officially. See, I have I can, I see. You, you, did, you can answer that one. I don't know when Chris left for Memphis. From my understanding, he was there. He had been there. That's just my understanding is he was there. I know he was there the weekend before because when I had Sebastian... Sebastian's mom went to go see him. I don't believe he had been back, but they thought. I don't ask another man what he's doing, really. This right here is Sebastian Rogers' father, Seth, and he's speaking out on his son that has been missing for three weeks. Cat and U.S. I don't believe my son would go on an adventure with a friend. If he were to want to go on an adventure, I believe he would go on an adventure with me. Miss mm -hmm. Gracie, um, I have not seen the video of Sebastian and his mother out there on Sunday night. Um, I've asked to see some of these videos, and I have not been given access to see them. I may be law enforcement, but I'm with a different 
County than Sumner County, and I'm not part of the investigation. Therefore, they won't break protocol by allowing me to see some of these things that I've requested. Mm -mm. And I'm going to just, I'm keeping my, I, yeah, I, I'll say it. Um, I don't think they do the best job, but that's just my opinion. But I, I mean, I'm from here. He doesn't look, let's see. No, Seth doesn't. He, I've spoke to him uh, for four hours and 14 minutes, the first call. And I think the second time, uh, I don't know how long it was, but we spoke for a long time. It was over four hours. Mm -hmm. My Bluetooth died twice. Oh my God. <laughs> Seven, have you answered that one? Um, Miss uh, Jennifer, negativity is back. He's never eloped in the past. Gracie, you have done the magical thing of confusing my name with my son's name. I know that I was not out to dinner. But I was informed that Sebastian was out to dinner with his mother. Was he, or was he abusive ever to your ex-wife? Oh, Lord. Sure. Uh, I I can't answer that. They did have it's dogs not, out. Yeah, they had a total of the last time I was informed, they had at least twelve dogs out. Ninety on blast. Your mother laughed at that question that 90 days on blast ask, and I'm just going to highlight that there. Is or was he abusive ever to your ex-wife? No. Don't take this personally. Don't care. I don't. Yeah, I don't. They even let's see. Everyone has cameras. They would know if he drove back or not. Yeah, not everybody has cameras, they say. Trust me, they say not everybody has cameras. Even if you're on a six hundred some odd thousand dollar home, not everybody. Do you have to go through him, Chris, or could you also communicate with Sebastian's mom? Like, was he the controlling type? Mm -hmm. well. I communicated with Chris more than I can communicate communicated with Katie's mom with, with Katie basically because I could get a contact more with Chris than I could with Katie. Like Chris is the one that called me and sent me the text message telling me my son was missing. Not as much. Doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, yeah, early February. I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I did call like that. phone to communicate with him. When I communicated with Chris about Sebastian, it was to find out about school and things like that. But I would call and speak to Sebastian on his phone. Why the stepdad says he hasn't seen him since early February. Well, good question. He was working on that St. Jude project in Memphis. From my understanding, he has a trailer and he normally takes it down there and just stays down there because it's cheaper. I know what it's I like to work 15 minutes every day to get to work and fight the traffic. So, I wouldn't want to drive three and a half hours to get to drive. I mean, 
Sometimes I feel I don't get enough sleep as it is. Yeah, let's see. She does not talk to me. I'm falling behind, but you know. No, you're good. Is Chris a control freak? Let's see. Oh, yo, yo. You mean to answer that? From my perspective, I will. Uh, in my opinion, um, uh, he seems to take over everything, and th that's what it looks like to me. He's the one speaking in an interview. If I, I mean, I'm, if I were the mother, I'm screaming, bring my baby back. That's me. I'm going to be screaming. I I'm agree, screaming. Jennifer. Unfortunately, protocol is protocol. I agree on that, too. Mm -hmm. Yep, he is his father. And he should have all access. Let's see. Yes, he was going to be living with his father. Yes, Jennifer. I, I truly believe that in order for him to get in the vehicle with somebody, he was either forced or he, he knew the person well enough to get into the vehicle. He wasn't one that would, he never was a bolter. He didn't bolt. He never wandered off like that. He was not a bolter. He loped. Is that what that was? Or did I, am I mispronouncing that? Where are we at here? Uh, where are we at? Has he ever eloped? Like, uh, has he ever ran off? No. I thought I answered that one. My apologies. No, if you didn't hear me. but no he's never done anything like that before okay she talked about her going to pick up another kid on sunday but when did she take her home i think they're talking about um what is that lady's name um i think it was is it the sister-in-law or the sister i believe so miss gracie Hello, Freestyle. Welcome. 90 days on blast. My son has a, he's got an iron deficiency. I've watched him brush against the wall and have a bruise. So, seeing signs of abuse, I've never actually seen like fingerprints or anything of that sort on him. As for bruises, I've seen the I've seen my son get out of the shower, and it's like, where did this bruise come from? And he's like, I don't know. I've taken pictures of the bruises, and I've sent them to his mom. I just know that he bruises really easy, being iron deficient that he is. He, it's one of the, it's one of the things he's supposed to be taking twice a twice a day, though, morning and at night. I don't know if you can answer that question right there. I guess I won't. Okay, let's see. Well, it turned into criminal because, well, he is on the spectrum, yes. Two years, I'll answer. Two years, they've been married for two years. And no cameras. Yeah. His phone was at the house. The police took it. The stepfather answered you all had a great co-parenting. Well. Chris told him that, yes, Chris is the one that told him that his child was missing. When he went missing, yes, he was the only child. Fuller Adventures, yeah. Um, he was diagnosed. He was diagnosed at uh, uh, Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt Hospital diagnosed him. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I would think they would give her one. I don't know. Close to anemia, 90 days. Um, not without those shoes. Will you want to answer why about the shoes, sweetie? What was, I'm sorry, what was that? I was reading. The shoes, uh, why he would not go out without his shoes. That's because, well, he learned at a young age in South Georgia. We have fire ants down there. And one little amount of dirt, his little bitty feet, he learned really quick because they swarmed. And he was barefoot, and the fire ants swarmed up his legs. He was he adults? Um, actually, I'll go to the one above that. Allegedly, did he ever go anywhere anywhere without his phone? When he was here at my house, he had his wallet, his house key, and his phone. Three things that I always make sure he grabbed before he goes. Trying to teach him to be a proper proper adult. You know, don't go anywhere without your wallet, your phone, your key. You need all three of these things. Lauren Marie, was he trusting of adults? It, it kind of depends. Um, for most of the time, he pretty shy. He would sit there. He would watch. We can have communication. And most of the time, he would judge off my language, off of my body language. And so he can even approach them. Welcome, Lauren Marie. Let's see. Oh, yeah. He was, it took forever when she was in the military. We were trying to get him in to be to, for a diagnostics. And literally, we couldn't, we couldn't get him in. Uh, San Diego was pretty horrible. Uh, it was six months after he was born that we finally got him into Children's Hospital in Jacksonville, Florida. And they did a DNA test on him, and he came back with a chromosomal deletion syndrome. Um, he was missing one instead of, you know, he was missing the end of 26, 26 or 627 chromosomal deletion syndrome. And Vanderbilt's diagnosis was to say over last year. Thank you, Kendall. Keith, has his mom and stepdad ever gone searching for Sebastian? You want me to answer that or do you want to answer that one? No. No. <laughs> Not, not searching with me. No. So they said they I were in the house. I can't. I can't. I can't tell you what I don't know. I. I'll say it. They were at the house. Was he trusting of adults? Welcome, Lauren Murray. I think he was. I, to you, probably more so. Thank you, Apple. To you, Ray. Yes, we will. Let's see. That's weird. Sorry, but that is awfully weird. The, the, the three-way phone call is weird. Yeah, I haven't heard it. So. So do you find him trusting of adults, though? You do? Like, well, I stated earlier about that he would sit there and he would watch the interaction between me and the adult. And it would depend on what was going on. I have seen him step in between me and another adult to tell adult to, to back away from his dad. And that was when he was even younger. And as he gets older, I watched him 
he, he sits there and watches the body language between them, between me and whoever I'm, I'm speaking to, you know, and most of the time, if I know the individual, I'll be like, I'll tell Sebastian, Sebastian, introduce yourself. Either he would or he wouldn't. And that would just depend on his attitude for the day. Or right then and there. I mean, <clears throat> try to be as lean as I did, I did at Waffle House getting to give a girl his phone number. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but that is that is precious. That is. You know, I mean, we were halfway back home and I was like, did you want to give her a phone number? And he was like, yeah. I was like, why didn't you? He was like, uh, I didn't know if I should. I was like, Slim, I'm going to turn around. Here's pen, here, paper, right on your phone number. I'll take you, and I took you back. And he got her phone number. <laughs> and he liked Taylor Swift, didn't he? Now, see, these are one of those questions that I'd have to say I, I fifth on. I mean, I'm, you know. Uh, I, I thought my son had good taste in music. And then I found out he was a Swifty. Oh, no, you did not just say that. You're in a room for a lot of, a lot of women. Wrong thing to say. I don't know if he can even say if he showed fear or not. Uh, uh, Show fear? My son is fearless. Um, well, I think he's, they're asking about the fear of... Uh, stepfather that would probably be something yeah, yeah no um was the custody change agreeable for his mom and okay i guess they're saying with him coming to stay with you was that um uh, was that agreed on by all parties from my understanding it was agreeable it took some convincing on his mom's end. Uh, we weren't going back to court to change anything. It was just going to be, we were just going to switch it because we have the, we have it in the writing that we could switch things as long as we all agreed upon it. Welcome, my Bridget. Yes, he was. Thank you, Margie. Okay, yes, Kate. Yes, she was in the Navy. Thank you, my Bridget. And for whomever one knows, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Bridget. Let's see. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I the doctors, the doctors were like, it, it was weird because he'd go to sleep and he'd wake up and it's just like, you could just tell that something, something was off. I mean, I potty trained him. Aww. He took care of his, his child. He took very good care of his son. That's his son. That it's like something was off, and uh, the doctors did say that they actually think that he was having seizures in his sleep. But we haven't had any of those issues for, I want to say, eight years now. Was Oh, I don't know if you can answer this here. Uh, that was a good supplier I was answering. Okay, I don't know if you can answer that one. Uh, about the violence towards you ever? I don't know if you can answer that. Sebastian. Let's see. What are your best moments with your son? Any more best moments with your baby? Yeah, plenty of good moments. And I'm hoping for plenty more. 
I mean, every weekend that I have with him is a good moment. Every day is a good moment. Every day I get to watch him grow up is a good moment. Every day I get to teach him something. You know, every time I get to go to play Dungeons and Dragons and I take my son to go play Dungeons and Dragons is a good moment. You know, I was teaching my son how to cook. You know, he was cleaning vegetables. He was using the mouth to cut vegetables up. He was up pretty where he was cooking brats and stuff. He was teaching him how to do, do self education. He was teaching my kid how to grow up and eat. Actually, I had a conversation with Sip, and, and he had a fishing license. He had an ID. He was teaching him how to be responsible. Hello, sweet Gina. He was. Um, See sportsman license at that for hunting and fishing. Welcome, Allie. Uh, I think he's a great father, a very great father. Let's see, have threat been made to you all, to your family? Nobody is threatening me. My grandson is the same way. Autistic children are a blessing. I know my baby is. Amen, Lord, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jean. Let's see. Says, How tech savvy are Chris and Katie? I don't know if you can answer that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, amen. Okay, we got another one here. I will ask the question. What was the mother like with your son while you were still together? Was she a loving and caring mother to him? And the next one, was she ever violent toward you? There have been a few times that she has hit me. Time police were called. Like, not every marriage is hunky dory all the time. True facts. What rate was mom and dad and stepdad rather in the military? I don't know if he, he might. My dad was he divorced before she got out of the military. He looks so happy in the pictures with you. Has law enforcement checked the rivers and ponds in Hendersonville or Memphis? I know some in Hendersonville, but I can't say for Memphis. I don't know if you can. Can you? Do you know that they checked some of the ones in Nashville because they were checking for that 20 year? That's why they found that the body, that the body of that dead female. For what they think is a dead female. Welcome, Chloe. Yes, he, I mean, yeah, all around he seems to be a great dad. I mean, nothing out of the ordinary. He's not pompous. He's not a butthead. I mean, he carries on jokes. He's not a fake. He's not a fraud. He's real, authentic. He's himself. He's not here to make you like him. He is who he, he is. That's what I got from him. Can they hear me? Yes. Uh, the Chloe underscore DXM, you were at the vigil last night, weren't you? I think she was. Yes. 
she was. And a threat was made towards Seth's sister over the GoFundMe. And it will not interfere with the search for Sebastian. A GoFundMe will never interfere with the search, period. I didn't understand it either. I thought it was ignorant to make a threat like that. Thank you for the reminder, pick me. Why would my phone be on her account? Why did they threaten? Um, apparently, they felt like that it would interfere with um, the investigation. The GoFundMe would somehow interfere with this investigation. No, it will not. No, it will not. That's how I feel. It won't. Yes. Let's see, Seth. Is your phone live? No. Polar Adventures. Not while I was around. They want to know what the actual threat was. Um, I was not there for the threat, so... I don't know if you want to tell them the threat or not. Well, Apple Crescent's got it right there. Hello, Jesse. Let's see. Welcome, Vanessa. I'm looking through here. Let's see, Seth. Seth, do you want me to share your YouTube channel? I don't know if he does or not. Oh, I, you won't find anything on my my YouTube channel except for some weird comments and shorts every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I heard on one of the interviews where they were saying Sebastian was making it hard on the relationship. What was up with that, they said. I did read that myself. I don't know how that he would make anything hard on the relationship, but yeah, if he is privy to that and wants to answer that or can answer that, that's up to him. I'm not aware that I don't know how that an autistic child with two separate people that were raised differently and don't know how to assess the situation would make any relationship difficult at the same point in time some people can, can see the situation for what it is there are some people that live off a routine such as i i live off a routine when i'm at work it's the same thing i do the same thing every day whether i work or not i work nights so even on my days off I sleep during the day. My alarms still go off at the same time. I get up, 
I still make coffee. You know, when I had my son, I would change. I'd get, I'd get home from work, and I would come home. I would take a shower. I'd get a couple hours of sleep, and then I would drive back down to his mom's house to pick him up for the weekends that I would have him. And then I would literally come back home and I would make sure I stayed up until it was bedtime for him. And then I would get him to go to sleep. I would go to sleep, sleep a couple hours and then wake up because my natural body rhythm is already night shift. And I would just, I'd deal with it because I want to spend time with my son. And my question is this, do you think that there was a better routine with, um, do you feel like you had a better routine, uh, at your home that he had a better routine than he had in the, in, in their home? I don't know what their routine was in the house. I know that when me and Katie were together and she would be on deployments, my routine at the house was better for Sebastian in school because it guaranteed that he would lay down and he would get a full, you know, a full night's rest. I don't really know their routine for how they do things. I mean, to me, a school night, bedtime's at 8. You know, I'm, I'm pretty adamant about that. Unless you're still working on homework or something. Because him being autistic, he'd lay down at 8 o'clock and the whole thing was to lay down, calm down, relax, and be asleep by 9 o'clock. Thank you, Devil I Elvis. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Let's see if Mom and Stepdad were a small specialty like the CT field. I feel some would be willing to hide him if they were told a lie. A uh, story, but I don't know. Hey, Vanessa. Can you hear me? If so, I need you to give me a call later. Who made the threat? Uh, I'll say it. Chris. Stepfather. He, that, that, that one did. No, Sebastian didn't have a school iPad. I don't know where you're at, but I'm down here at Fuller Adventures. Miss Jennifer, negativity is back. Is <laughs> that name, every time you say it, let me go see. Nothing, nothing was mentioned to me about his behavior changing. Okay, let's see. Oh, I don't know if you can answer that. Uh, Martin Gun Kelly, four twenty. Uh, he never used those words around me, but I have heard him use particular words when speaking to my mom. Cat, the Navy. Seven for Robin, do you know if Steph or him home? What? <clears throat> uh, Think of what they did in the Navy. Seth didn't, I mean, he offered to take one. Uh, he offered. I know Katie was a red phone. 
person. Are there private searches going on? Let's see. Do you have any, are there private searches that you know of that are going on? I'm doing private searches almost every day. That's what I was going to say, but I'll let you do that. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen any, I personally, if you want to, I'm, I haven't seen any searches. I've been Dude. driving. Uh, cat, do did they have old military friends? I don't know about uh, Chris, but most of the friends that me and Katie had while we were married, um, most of them don't even talk to her anymore. A lot of them talk to me, some of them don't talk to me, but. You know, that's that old, we take the shipmate's side before we take the spouse's side. Yes, uh, I think when he was at Sis, he had a very good routine. Uh, that's an opinion of mine. That's my opinion. No problem, Fuller Adventures. Routine, yes. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yes, yeah, she's usually Jennifer Positivity. Fred, I'll answer that. He told me that he was afraid of Chris on multiple occasions. It had nothing to do with appropriate parenting skills, as Chris has said. I'll agree with that. Well, Apple Crescent, the thing is, is that every case is different. Uh, no case is the same. They might have similarities. They might have, you know, key differences. So each case is handled, not to mention, is it not only handled, you don't have the same individual working one case that you had working another case. So I wouldn't know if Sergeant Carter has worked a case like this before or not. The same thing with Agent Simmons. So there's really no definite answer on that. The only answer I can say is hopefully the sooner the better. I agree. I don't know what kind of medication, if any, Katie was on prescribed. Thank you, Vanessa. Vacant properties in Portland. That's a bit. <sighs> that is about an hour away. And, uh, I have no idea if you have, are you in that area of Fuller Adventures? Yeah, I guess that's a bit away. That's about an hour. Depending on where, oh gosh. I see what can I do to help you more aside from sharing your story and donating? I say prayer, but I'm gonna let him answer. Penny, I I'll tell you right now, I'll tell everybody if you go to the TBI website, you can print out my son's picture, you can print out his flyer. If you want to go put those at every gas station, at every mall, you know, the police don't even know. I called Lebanon PD, find out because there was a tip that came through Facebook and they weren't even aware of the situation. Not everybody is aware of this. I need everybody in the United States 
to be on the lookout for my son because I'm just hoping somebody has him and one person having their head up and their eyes open to see him. It only takes one tip to bring my son back to me. We've got plans, Jennifer. We've got plans. We just won't talk about him here. He did. He did dodge that right there. He did dodge that question. And that's weird. Dodged a lot of questions. Uh, have you heard of it? driving around hmm. prior to or during the phone call to the police? Hmm. Fuller Adventures, if you want to print out the flyer and take it everywhere, stick them up everywhere. Heard her, I, anything that I've heard about what Katie was doing before or during the phone call would be hearsay for me to say because I don't know. Okay. Okay. We're on the third week, actually, Jesse. Uh, no, they're not missing. They're just not doing anything. This is his father here on panel. He said he did. I mean, I've got, I have it. I have what he said. Um, and he said he passed it. And then he made another statement and he said that all three took them. But then he said he wasn't going to say uh, actually which one. It didn't make any sense. How often do you get an update from TBI? This is a joke. I haven't heard from TBI since, what, Friday? Or Saturday? Welcome, hey, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Fuller Avengers, my apologies. I, I'm not from Tennessee. I figured it was like an hour. Different parts. The time I did it, I, I, well, I probably spent 20 minutes stuck in traffic on that two-lane road out there going to Portland. What? CP was trying to insinuate something creepy at us. If he was insinuating anything creepy, that's, yeah. That's disgusting, but that's on him. Gracie, I would I would thoroughly appreciate it if you did. She will. She'll do it. These women do these things. Let's see. Um, and I don't know where Sea Star Swim School is. Thank y'all. Thank you, Lauren. Yep, be strong. She said, be strong. It is heartbreaking. They'll share it in San Francisco Bay Area. Yeah, he has. And that's real pain. You can tell the difference between the pain and the the not and, and the fake. Yeah, three sides to the to the truth. That I'm sorry, but I did laugh at that. Not being rude, I did laugh at that. That was. Kind of comical. I'm thinking three sides to the to the truth. No, it's three sides to every story. Yours, theirs, and the truth. God. He was up all night answering things. Didn't make a lick of sense. Just saying. Thank you, Napa. Thank you, Fuller Adventures. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the garbage. I don't know anything about that. I, I'm. Are you aware of this here? Because I'm not. Why are the parents now trying to tie Sebastian to the garbage he put out well, that night? This is his, no this is his father, the stepfather. If that's the, if that's what they're putting out, I'm I, I'm I'm not aware of that. 
by taking cats from Napa, Florida? No, no, that would be Napa Valley. That's California. Yeah, she's in, oh, uh, yes. Uh, Napa Valley, she's in California. Yeah, and then cats in California. Uh, yeah, I knew that, that somebody said something. What? They said it again today. I knew that they had said something about him looking in a trash can. I don't know. Uh, I didn't make any sense. I don't know what they said today. Um, probably a lot of stuff today. I, I don't know because they're focusing on all the wrong things and not doing the right thing. And that's actually looking for this young man that is supposed to be her son. His son right here. You know, they should say his name at Sebastian. Okay, let's see. It is heartbreaking. Thank you. Thank well, you. my son here at my house, the box close to hiding, would he be under his bed with a flashlight and a book? Which the way his bedroom was set up, you know, I could be at the door and see him. He's just underneath his bed reading the book or playing on the switch under the bed. But he never hid. He never tried to hide from me. I'll answer that. You don't have to. I, from his own, from what I read, and I did read this, um, he wrote it out. He said he did take one and he passed. He said that to someone, I think the person was Fifi or something. And he said, and I passed. And then he recanted on that later on down the road. And he changed this, he changed the whole story all together, all over again. So he, he can't, the story's not consistent. And if you, if you are telling the truth, your story never changes. If you're not telling the truth, your story's all over the board. The story's everywhere. Yeah, he Jennifer, too. positivity. I'm, I'm hoping that they're just not sharing and they're building a case and they're, and they're doing something to find my son. Amen. Sebastian like to hide. It that wasn't the thought. that right there that he was a runner actually in the beginning as well. That was said in the beginning. Hello, sweet Jody. That was also stated in the beginning. They never mentioned if he was verbal or not in the beginning. A lot of things they did not tell us in the beginning. We had to dig for ourselves. I don't know, Miss Lady McGillicuddy. Normally doesn't speak much about them. When he comes with me on the weekend, we have things we're going to do. We play Magic the Gathering. We play Dungeons and Dragons. And we like to go out to go fishing. We like to go out to eat. You know, the weekends go by so fast. Yes, and I'm going to say that's that's what that's a TBI thing, in my opinion. And the color version. Thank you, Chloe. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. That means a lot. Thank you. If we feel this helpless, I can only imagine what you are going through. Oh, my God. Thank you, Kat. Two years that I know that they've been married. I don't know how long they've been together. Maybe you can answer that one. They've been together since before me we were divorced. He answered it out of his own mouth. They are failing. And I, I I said that myself. I did say that, crazy cat mom. Yes, thank you again, Chloe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Cosmic. Thank you. Thank you. Kentucky's great. Thank you. said it today. Oh my God. 
So he took the garbage out. Yeah. I, I I'm going to talk to you all tomorrow. Thank you, Seth. I don't see if there's any more. Oh, thank you, Miss Robin. And thank you, Seth. And I appreciate it. And we'll get what we talked about. We'll get together on that and uh, get it planned out. You should be able, well, Shane Dowlin, you should be able to go to the TBI website and download the poster for him. Mm-hmm. You can copy it from the, yes, I, I'll give you, I'll go get the link and I'll get the link. Hello, my sweet Jody. I'll get the link. I'll get that link and I'll make sure. Thank you, Miss Robin. And if you need anything, you've got my number. Call me anytime. Seth, you know you have my number. You can call me anytime. I don't care but what time it is. Uh, wait, hold on. Just can you hold on just one quick second, Seth? Uh, let me yeah. see if I can find it. Uh, I'm looking to see if I can get your questions. I'm looking. Uh, I'm looking to see. David, uh, okay. Seth it says, praying for you as well as the safe return of Sebastian. Did you only communicate any? any way other than by telephone did you use any other technology to communicate with your son no just phone okay just the phone let me find out i'm looking for one more question i'm looking i'm looking i don't see another one Fred, I can answer that. I was homeless in California when she filed and stayed and it accused me of child abuse during our divorce. And my son literally made the comment that he'd rather live with me in a car than his mom. My son has been waiting to move in with me ever since I left California and got here. Amen. I agree, kitty cat. Hello, sweet Michelle. Yeah. Hello, Claudia. Yeah, David, I don't see another one, but if you, any question you have, I'll send it to, I'll send it to you. I'm catching up to where you were just at. Yeah, I'm looking to see where, I'm, I'm like, I'm looking, but David, I only seen the one. Yeah, he knows it. He has my number and I told him. At any point, he can call me anytime. Y'all hear my cat? Uh, I know he's he's <laughs> sorry, but he gets involved into everything. He this is part of his show too. He said that's why he jumps right up here. Hello, Rebel. He jumps right up here and gets in the business. Yeah, and everything and emotion that he's showing right here. This is not fake. It's not out of me. I wished it could be. I wish this was. <laughs> Cooler adventures. I don't know if Chris has family in Portland or not. I believe I have your information, Chloe. I will probably reach out to you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yes, just keep them in your prayers. Um, Like he said, Fred, I don't know if he knows that, if there have been any searches there um, in. Uh, oh, gosh. In uh, Portland. Uh, when was the last time that you spoke to Sebastian on the phone? Do you recall? I spoke to him Thursday before he disappeared. That would be the thing. Oh, my gosh. Can I ask if he, did he sound, oh, let's come on. Did he sound, in any way, did he sound different? Uh, was he, was he his self? Um, was he happy? Was he sad? Was he? He sounded like a typical teenager that had homework and chores to do after school. Like, he wasn't happy that he had to do homework. And I completely understand.
I mean, I never liked having to do homework, so I could relate. I can, I mean, I can agree to that. Was it a lengthy conversation, Seth, or was it just like a short conversation and I'll see you soon? It was, well, it, it was the Thursday before that weekend his mama had him. So I don't call on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday mm -hmm. because I don't like to interrupt their weekend together. But it was, it was about three minutes, maybe two and a half minutes, somewhere in between there. It was a normal, it was my normal conversations with him. Call him up. Hey, how was school? It was okay. Okay. Did you have, did you have, were you in trouble or anything? Did you get in trouble? Did you have a good day? You know, what did you do? Learn anything? No. You know, most of the time I get them. No. no. Like, the same question you asked me yesterday, Dad. And it's like, I know, I'm Dad. I'm going to do this. <laughs> gotcha. You know, Let you have that he didn't have any homework. I, I think he said he had no homework and that he had chores to do that his mom wanted him to do. Were his conversations usually short or did he try to stay on long? It would depend uh, because at three o'clock in the afternoon when he gets home and I call him at three thirty, normally he's got homework that he's got to do or his chores before his mom gets home. Now, later on in the evening, if I called him, we might talk for a little bit longer than that. You know, it depends on if he was doing something. If, if he was doing something, he didn't want to be bothered. It's like, yeah. But I, and I understood that. Gosh, I agree with you. I, I, I get it. I do I get it. I get it. No, Fred, not that I know of. Portland is, I think, a couple counties away. No, it, it's from um, where they where they reside. I mean, I'm in Montgomery County, so in order well, for me to get to Hamilton, yeah, from you, yes. Yeah. Did you have any bedwetting issues? Not at my house. Not at his home. No, not at his home. Um, let's see what else we got here, real quick. Um, oh God, that's up to you to answer that one if you feel like it. Uh, ugh. If he loved, uh, I mean, yeah. it, it's a little weird. Oh gosh, when you were with her, his mother, did you ever speak for three hours at a time on the phone straight? Not after we were together. When we were dating, I would talk to her on my way to work if she was up, or I would talk to her on my way home for an hour away. So, that was that. No, David. Way. And here's the uh, right there. There is to get that poster right there. Anybody that would like to get that, there's there it is, right there. Nobody likes homework. There's the link right there. Do you ask David Brian where is he where is he at in Georgia? Uh, David uh, Brian, where are you at uh, in Georgia? If you don't mind me asking. They have, I think they did speak to some classmates and they also spoke to teachers. Um, there was an interview that was put out on that one. I've spoken with the SRO. The SRO said that he had like five friends that came from middle school that were there too. And 
I mean, he said that, that from my understanding, they spoke with all all of his teachers a lot, and some that weren't his teachers. And they they can't speak to all the children, but they can ask the children if they have any information because in order to do that, you have to get permission from parents. Parents have to be there when you're speaking to a minor. That's weird. Thank you, my Jody. That's odd, okay. He said he doesn't have no car. Well, he wanted to be with his dad. What's You're that? right. You're McGillicott. It's not just the cutest, but it's the honest, it's a very honest smile. Yeah. I agree with that. Okay, what we got here? Yes, Portland is in Sumner County. Well, Taylor Swift to advocate. She does live in Hendersonville or has a home here. What about I don't have the to that was to reach out? So I don't have to reach out to these people. No, I would like. There's Jelly Roll. There's Kid Rock. There's uh, Taylor Swift. I mean, there's a lot that live here in Nashville. You're correct. We have a lot. Do y'all see Ambulance Girl? Why can I not see Ambulance Girl? Um, that's weird. I can see you now. I can see you now. What about the Uber that I did? Okay, the Uber that was driving or the neighbor was talking about around that area. I don't know nothing about the Uber. I can answer that in a second. Um, I did not know that Portland is Sumner County. Yes. If uh, anybody knows Taylor Swift, please reach out to her because that would help get my son's pictures and stuff. We'll get. Well, we're gonna work on that one. Let's see. Apple see Crescent. You. Yeah, I think a three-way phone call to nine one one is strange. Very. I do find that odd. I will agree with that one. Very odd. It doesn't even make any sense. I mean, no, I wouldn't even bother to make that three-way call. Uh, Fuller Adventures. I mean, if he hadn't been home for weeks and they hadn't had a good talk, I mean, I would talk to Katie when she was when she was on deployment. Our phone calls were very short because she was on a ship. So. You know, I I don't know the ins and outs. Okay, Vanessa. What type of classes? He was in the Why We Try program, which is pretty much it's it's like it's everybody in the in the general class would get you know thirty questions. He would get like twenty. They would have 45 minutes to answer it. He would have an hour. So they gave him less questions and more time to solve it out. Butterfly Girl. Um, from my understanding that they actually did track down the Uber and talk to both of the people that got in the vehicle and the Uber driver. And that was the guy that did that. Red Wings. Let's work on it, Seth. Okay. Uh, okay, we got Allie's reaching out. Let's see. Yeah, that three way phone call. That, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Gracie, it is what it is. I mean, I'm a dad, yep. and I think any information that I can get about my son. He hasn't stopped. No. We'll keep reaching out. 
definitely don't go have a beer team or go out to eat. So, you know. No. We're not going on a motor like a rod or anything like that. Trust me. <laughs> I said we, that. I go out to eat with my friends. You know, my friends normally will go fishing with me. So, you know, yeah. I heard the sheriff's department. Uh, I don't want to play that call with him up here because I don't want it to, I don't want that. To, <laughs> like I don't want to do that to this man. But it's not them. It's it's the call that they went that they put out, the dispatch put out. So I, I don't know. I was like I don't want to do that to him. I feel horrible. I mean he's been put through hell. He's going through hell. I mean, he is going through hell. This is the worst hell any parent could ever go through. I mean, I'm not even going through it. But I've seen parents going through it. It's hell. And it's a club they didn't ask to be in. But, I, yes, I have his GoFundMe. That, uh, and it's not coming. I will not remove that from my community wall. Um, that will help him along the way as he's off of work right now um, while he is searching for his child and continues to search for his child. It doesn't stop. That's his child. Thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer has a lot of horses. And see, once Sebastian comes home, you've got a destination to go. She has a ton of horses and baby horses, and he loves animals. I think I'm behind on, on the on the chat still. I think I'm trying to catch. I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying to get you there. Let's see. She's going to the horses. Let's see. Was there a recording of from them calling the sheriff's department? Um, I don't know if there was a recording of them calling the sheriff's department or not. I don't know. I just know what the call that was put out. I uh, let that one. Um, I'm just now getting them to margin John Kelly 420. Um, I don't know. I know they took all of our phones. They had mine for 12 hours. The light, there's a, there is a full video of that light. Um, it said that the date is wrong on there. Um, that has been said. One. And it does have a time mark on it at three something in the morning. Was he known to, did he have a fascination with flashlights that you're aware of? He had his own flashlight here. I make sure. Was he fascinated with flashlights? I don't know if he would be fascinated. I mean, like I said, I mean, he had. It's a hard one. I'm in law enforcement, and in, in, I grew up in the country. Mm -hmm. You know, you be prepared or suffer. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. I mean, I you had know, I got you. Knew if you were gonna wake up in the middle of the night with a tornado coming, I grew up in Kansas, so you know, it's Sebastian knows where the flashlights are, the big flashlights, and then he knows where the small lot flashlights are, and he has one in his room. He always has one in his room that I switch the batteries out on every month to make sure that it stays. Because he would use it. I mean, he would turn the lights off and be underneath his bed with his flashlight on reading the book. I remember being a kid having a blanket in the dark over my knees and my head reading a book by flashlight. I can remember doing that. I remember doing that. You know, my, my son has... I like to think that I have an old soul and my son... Has an old soul as well. 
Yeah, See, right. that he was just raised by somebody with an old soul. I don't know. No, Fred didn't come back immediately. He came back when they started asking questions. I don't know if his ex has been. I don't know, Butterfly Girl. Um, that stuff was was really spotty, and TBI really hasn't given me an answer on that stuff. So I don't know if it's part of the investigation or not. That's true. Consensus says that most kids have a flashlight. Let's see. Yes, uh, Angel. I mean, he stayed up at my house by himself. And I would go to work and come home. That's a good kid. That's a good kid. And did chores. Thank you, David. Yes, I've got that all on there, and I will keep that on there. I've got the GoFundMe on there. If anybody wants to help out on that, you're more than welcome to. I know that Seth would appreciate it, as we all know that he is in law enforcement himself. And right now, his main focus and goal is his son. And that's bringing his son home. Hello, Lynn. Welcome. Let's see. Hello from Kansas Prayers for you and Sebastian. Guess missing and endangered was also sharing out Sebastian's flyers. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't want to think like that. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Apple. Angel says thank you. I only ask because I feel like he got portrayed as the autistic. It's so bad he can't be responsible for anything. He is a very typical teenager. A teenage boy, it sounds to me, very intelligent. So, uh, to me, so, yeah, I agree. How far could he see without his glasses? That's a question for you. Do you know how far he could see without his glasses, um, Seth? And what technically he has what they call a laser. Can you all hear me? A lazy eye? Yeah. Okay, so the glass. You would correct the lazy eye so he wouldn't have, have surgery. And uh, and then, from my understanding, he was, as he got older, his vision was becoming more like his dad's. Hello, Lynn. C spelled the fun way. Hello from Kansas. Yep, I was born in Kansas. Whoop, whoop. Go Riverton Rams. Dogs, okay, they said dogs picked up scent and it dropped in the construction area, but Chris Proudfoot will tell you dogs are unreliable. 
Oh my God, because he's the smartest man on the planet. I, that's a lie. <laughs> well, the smartest part. Welcome, Gigi. Thank you, David. Thank you very much. Can you talk about the scents at all? Do you know that anything about the scents? That is, I did not treat my son like he had a disability. I knew that once he was an adult, people weren't going to treat him like he had a disability. So why would I treat him like he had a disability? Amen. I agree for you. Has he ever left with a friend without telling anyone? No. He's done that. No. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mayor. Let's see. Let's see. Margin? I sure hope so. T Cherry F, I have no idea. Uh, amen, Angel. Agree. Thank you for the hard work. Let's see. No place like home, that's for sure. And Toto said he took my slippers. I, I, Lady McGillica, I wear Coke bottle lenses, thank God. It's technology. They don't weigh that much. Murphy's I would, girl. I would say, hey, well, he puts on his glasses every time he gets up out of bed. What's the best way we can support you, sir? Get flyers out to find this one. Okay. We're on that. Okay, let's see. I'll just be honest. I'm so pissed over this precious boy situation. I can't even keep a train of thought most of the time. Justice for Sebastian. Seth, did you say Chris didn't come back from Memphis until law enforcement started asking questions? Yes. The dog barked when the stepdad did an interview. Yes, it did do that. I heard that myself. Yet no dog was barking that night has me concerned, which I've mentioned this. I pray for a miracle and ask for Sebastian Rogers to be returned to his dad. Amen. Yes, I've got that on my community wall on my channel. It'll take you directly to it. And you can donate right to that. And he would appreciate support, any support that you can give. He's not going to stop. I don't think any of us are. I miss Karen. 
Um, I don't know if you want to comment on that right there. Which one? The locks on the, on the home. Never, time that I've been there, the door has never been shut because people are there. Okay. And about what time did he come back? You were there all day, I think you said. I really don't remember. I mean, I was there. I, I, I was so exhausted. I know that I fell asleep in my truck in front of the driveway. And I, I vaguely remember him coming in with his hazards on and rolled into the thing. I, I really don't remember. Do you know William Daly? He goes by Billy. Sounds familiar. I agree, Angel. <laughs> Completely agree. So the doors don't automatically lock. They say it's a keypad lock, a house key to both. I know that his house key for here was in the top drawer on his dresser. Okay, they want to know the bus stop. The bus stop might have been right outside the subdivision. I don't know. The uh, bus stop was right in front of their house. Oh gosh, he got a better ride. <laughs> uh, does he have any particular mannerisms or stems that may stand out with uh, that? Uh, let's see, stand out with possibly helping to spot him. My son has Asperger's and has some distinct uh, stems. He likes to, well, when he runs, he Naruto runs. And can we correct his weight? He's not 120 pounds. No, he's like 106, maybe 108. I mean, I don't know what it is now. Fish, uh, the phone was at home, and they've already asked if he had a um, burner phone, and I don't believe that he had one that I'm aware yeah. of. Let's see. Oh, gosh, they keep asking the same question. I don't know why they would not want him around the Chris's daughter. I have no idea, and I don't know if he does either. And I don't even know. If, huh? Uh, Chris drives a truck. He drives a truck. Okay. Uh, let's see. They're asking about, let's see, if you want to elaborate on why uh, they don't want him or Sebastian around Chris's daughter, which I'm not aware of this. Hello, Claudia. I'm, yeah, I don't know if that even pertains to anything, to be honest. I don't know. When Sebastian's here, he's been, he FaceTimes Faith for a long time. I mean, I don't even know. Does he, I, I'm not going to say what I was about to say. Yeah, I'm going to say it. I, I, can he be around her? I mean, not Sebastian, but I'm saying, does he even see his own daughter? There you go. They're in a a court battle here. I don't even know if he sees his own child. So I don't know why there, anybody would worry about that. No, you're fine, Angel. You're fine. Let's see. Uh, I 
Oh, it does. It, it does, especially when somebody's a control freak, in my opinion. Yeah, he is the respondent. Uh, she's the petitioner, and he's the respondent. Uh, I have no idea, so. I, I'll answer it. I'm answering it. I answered it. Any more questions? This poor man has probably slept two hours. And he's doing a damn good job. And plus he's been looking for his child. Plus he's been cleaning. And that side by side, next time they better offer it. It did change, actually. There's a different date on that. Because I don't want to keep him all night. I don't. But when you tell me when you're ready, let's see. What kind of truck? I, I don't know. Was it a Chevy truck? What? I think One that he drives a Chevy truck. I don't know exactly. One big enough to tow of, uh, uh, that fifth boat that he's got. <laughs> It's bigger than my truck. I don't have anything to prove. Now, this is just the dad. Listen, he's just the dad that wants his baby back. That's that's all it is. It's he's the dad that wants his baby back. That's it. We're here to try to figure out what we can. And at least we have somebody that's honest. Thank you, Fish, because it is, it's odd. And that I is appreciate it. Thank you, Fish. I really appreciate that. Fish, you're showing you have a heart, man. You're coming around with that heart. Because that was one of my questions I did ask, you know, but when you're locking down a phone, why would, why would a teenager want a phone that's locked down? I wouldn't want nothing to do with that phone. Yes, Fuller. True. It's a fact. Yeah. Well, my whole point is why would you get a smartphone if you're just going to lock down the internet, anyways? Yeah. I was going to get him a flip phone. And she went and got him a smartphone. I was going to get him a phone he could call, take pictures, you know, and he could play Snake. Let's see. I'm going to read you some of these things. Let's see. Thank you, Gigi. <clears throat> well, it, they treat him like that he's not allowed uh, to actually do anything, to be honest. Um, let me, like he's stuck in a home. Let me just grab some of these real quick and I'll run through what I do have. Um, let's see. He says that he knew about three vigils. Um, one that he, they didn't attend was because of law enforcement agencies they were dealing with. The second one because of the security reasons. The third one because they did not know about it. They weren't informed. Um, <clears throat> and it was where the bio father lives. Um, let's see. Oh, the I don't answer. know what you do. Yeah, I'm just reading some answers that were given by a uh, stepdad. Just That's so right. Cool. I mean... Typically, TBI doesn't clear anybody until 
they uh, until the investigation is done. Correct. The investigation will be done after Sebastian is found. Let's see what else do we have here. He would not answer anything about the door locked. He said his dogs were trained; they were on a schedule. And that they have potty pads and trays in their pens. Let me see what else we have here. Um, he did say that he had been away, and the last time that he had seen Sebastian was in the beginning first part of February how true that is I don't know I don't I don't believe it uh, anything else that snuck up and struck out at me um, not not a lot um, Wouldn't elaborate on the security of the home because he actually was acting like he had security at the home. Let's see, we got air drop flowers. Hello, JR Boston. I got the polygraph part. And that's probably about it right there. And then, of course, he's been arguing with people. <laughs> I'm going to read that. And that's what he has spent his time doing. Actually, is arguing with people. He is so ignorant that when asked if Sebastian was on any nighttime or medication that would cause him to be sleepy, they can't answer that because of HIPAA. Wow. Well, yeah. That's not true. Are, do you know what methods they've used to search her home? I, I know the dogs, but any other methods? Um, dogs, officers, they've been in the house like 10 to 12 times. Any forensic searches that you're aware of? No, not that I'm aware. Do you find this statement here odd? The idea that someone hurt Sebastian and threw him into a wet, fresh paved driveway is funny. To bury a body in concrete, it would need to be at least 12 inches thick. Secondly, you have to smooth out the concrete and finish it before it's dried. All of that is done while the concrete is poured and being set. I have no idea, Fuller. Uh, that was said by CP. No, no, I was answering Fuller's question. Yeah, that, I've never heard. Yeah, I agree. Great. Um, stepfather did. Did Donna give you any insight? No. No. 
And she hasn't reached back out to me either. Hello, Juju. Let's see. Um, and here it is. Chris states he took and passed a polygraph. It says, have you both taken polygraph test? And if so, what were the results? Thank you. Foo foo. This is Chris responding. Yes. And the results are passed. His words. Welcome, Susie. Let's see. What do I find odd? He says, uh, Sebastian did not have any friends because of his situation with autism. He wasn't ever alone in school for kids to do the things mentioned below, meaning bully him and such. Oh, he has, he thinks a lot of things are funny, which I don't find anything that he says funny and he's smug. And that's just, yeah. Let's see. Anything else I see on here? Mm. Nothing more that I see. Let's see. CP said on an interview, they've been clear. No, they have not. If not been cleared, not been cleared. Have you been cleared? I mean, I would say Seth's more cleared than anybody. That's my opinion. TBI hasn't cleared anybody. Thank you. And you are in law enforcement, correct? <clears throat> yes, ma'am. There you go. Let's see, I have transcript from last night. Okay, for the record, somebody asked the question, was a polygraph taken and has it been passed? Yes, I didn't specify who or when. See, that's two different things that he's saying. <sighs> Mm. Agree, Sarah. Agree. Yeah, major deflection. There's a lot of deflection. Is there any reason the number of shoes Sebastian owns is so secretive, according to Katie? I have no idea. Agree, Liz. Let them keep talking. I have no idea, nor do I know why it's so important to say you're not in trouble. Um, the doors are locked. Uh, he was making breakfast. You would have passed him if that were the case. Um, yeah. Any other questions? Seth, have you taken a poly? Not that you need to, just trying to narrow down. Well, he was offered. He said earlier he was offered and, um, or he offered and they didn't, they didn't need it, I guess. I don't know. shoes but insist he wasn't wearing a sweatshirt or possibly two one of three different shirts let's see um, he did state that let's see have the dogs ever got out at night he didn't live in the home Spoken past, yes, he did speak in past tense in that video. He did, and I have played that. I hope they have more than we think. I pray they have more than we think. If not, then we're screwed. I pray they do. I do. Let's see. I think some of the hand, the talking about the holding hand one where they're doing the tapping.
Are you good, Seth? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I had to use Are the bathroom. Tired? I was making sure you're good. If you're getting tired, you let me know. Because I don't, I don't, I know you. I've been, I've been tired it. weeks. Um, I'm just reading these. No, Angel, I have not taken a polygraph. I volunteered. Yeah, he always. That I didn't need to. Well, that was my question, Angel, but I didn't get to ask it. Did Sebastian ever, I mean, I don't know if I can ask you this, but did Sebastian ever tell you that he was being mistreated? No, he never did. Okay. Seth, I came in late. Have you talked about Sebastian's favorite songs? I haven't. Because the list is it literally, I have four lists that are mixes on my YouTube for all of his favorite songs. Everything from country music, and when I say country music, I'm talking about Merle Haggard, Willie Nelson, Hank Williams Sr., Hank Williams Jr., um, all the way to hip-hop. I mean... I try to stay away from letting him listen to certain songs that have bad things in them. Things that children shouldn't be doing. <laughs> she did speak in the past tense. I do have that. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to play the... Um, let me see. I would like to believe that he would, Fuller. I mean, my son liked Meatloaf. He liked Queen. I mean, he liked ACDC. But he also liked, he liked Clave de Monde, which they, they do, I mean, they did all the songs for Lord of the Rings. All that's been done, Juju. I was told that they have pulled records. They did ping everyone. And that's I talk to them every day or every other day. Well, I mean, hold on. I'll just... This doesn't bother you, I'll do it. Hold on. You tell me if it bothers you. It does the, that video that I, that I told you I did do. Wow. You do. Okay, Fuller Adventures. Uh, that's, that, okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Excuse my language. <laughs> Katie could be a swinger. I've, I've known Katie since she was 12 years old. Started dating when she was 18. I'm 10 years older than her, and I never knew her to be a swinger. <laughs> Where did that question come from? Now, guarantee, I don't know her now. I'm not involved in her private life, you know. And I didn't even know there was a ring Wi-Fi jammer, Fred. So I couldn't tell you if Katie would own one or not.
mean, to be honest with you, Ring Wi-Fi Jammer sounds like some new type of rock band. Bam. Here we go. I'm going to present this. That way you all can see this. Walk All right, friend. I mean, I figured that's what it does, but I, I didn't. I mean, what's up with you? you explain that to me. Seth is his name on Panther. He just now realized that you're the dad, I think. Oh, sure. This is the home. Well, this is when it was on the market. trying to give it a little perspective there that you can see sleep apnea I hope you get to feeling better black hat I miss you love you and thank you for being here thank you for prayers and we're praying for you too oh my god oh Susie that's up to him to answer mm -hmm. He can answer that I'm going to let him. I don't know, Lady McGillicuddy. I do. I have obstructive sleep apnea. I sleep with a CPAP machine. Would you say she's a heavy sleeper? Maybe. Let's see. And does Lady McGillicuddy? So much for this thing when you get to see if you can just put a number of Sebastian Wolf. Do you mean Leslie or that his name was a Mormon? His bed wasn't made, and from my understanding, the, the sheriffs had already been in there going through stuff. I will agree, Vanessa. I will agree. <laughs> no offense. I'm not laughing, but I agree. I agree. I did. The king. Bean. Sleepwalk. No. Allie, 
I've never seen him sleepwalk. Correct, Gracie. That's why I just showed that. Because that kitchen is right there. You'd have to get past that. Not happening. Okay, let's see. Uh, yes, he has. If I had social media, I'd probably be pasting my son's picture on every Facebook page that would let me join. Amen. I mean, and he's answered some of the questions that, I mean, I would think that might be hard at times, but he's answering them and he's hanging in here answering these questions. I mean, he's not running. He's not avoiding. He's answering them. He's not saying contact law enforcement. He's answering the questions. He's hanging in there. Too. What is, okay, what network? A hardwired device. I appreciate all of y'all. If every one of y'all is looking for my son, then you're more eyes than I am by myself. Amen. And we will continue. Are they talking about the sleep apnea machine? I think they're talking about is it the home security. What is it? Um, ring doorbell jammers. Okay. Uh, let me see. Um, hold on. Do y'all have any tech questions? Now, we do have, Chloe, I'll answer your question in one second. Um, we do have, an, an, like, a Google map that we're using for our flyers. If you distribute flyers, um, make sure you join the Facebook page, Find Sebastian. It's got exclamation points at the beginning and two at the end. We're using a Google map system to log every place that we put flyers that way we're not going back over the same places twice right, let's see here. and chloe is yeah early on we were told not to actually speak to the media that's why i didn't that and i mean i was busy I mean, they wanted to face to face. I really don't have time for that sort of stuff. Because well, he I'm didn't able. have time. I'm looking for you right now. He did not have time because they were asking for a side by side for this man to go out and holler for his child. He was the one out there. I know who was out there. He was, but I don't think he got the side by side. I didn't. I I drove my truck. <laughs> You know, when they weren't letting, when they weren't letting civilians get out and walk, I was a clear thing. So I was driving around hollering for my son till 11, 12 o'clock at night. Then I would drive back home, get some type of sleep, get up, take a shower and go back and do it again.
right. If David's here, let me see. He might still be here. Um, I don't think that he has seen the video security footage, though. I was. I have not seen anything. Really. They won't show it to me. Yeah, I don't think that he has seen that. Um, let's see. He's here. Um, okay. I was going to see if David can. No one. Can see no. The thing again. Because you don't think it's, they pinged the phones, right? Is that what you're? Is that what you feel? Is that they have not pinged the phones? From my understanding, they've taken our phones, they downloaded them, and they they traced everything. Okay. And I want to see because David's got his specialty. David, is there any way? Is there any way that any of that stuff could have been removed if they didn't get the phones right away? I don't know, Chloe. Um, I thought he did have it. I think he has your phone number memorized, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Let's see. Let me go back to my things here. Um, does everybody have iPhones? That was one question. I have a droid. Do they have iPhones or do you know? I don't know. I know Sebastian had an iPhone. Probably no. Okay. Let me see what else. Looking at my very first thing of notes that I have. Okay. Uh, and that he did mention and say that, that he had not had any, he was not able to be on his devices. And then he says he, that they're locked down. So he really can't even use the damn things. So why would he have these devices really? So that he can answer the phone when they call. <sighs> David, anything you want to throw in here about some of the things that these that can be done with these GPSs and these phones and routers and things i would just i would think my son would call me. if you get to a phone i think my son would call me i would pray and i do pray that 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 does happen do you know? yeah no internet access and no and they had uh the apps were shut down so he had he could text he could answer and, and make phone calls and he could use his calculator and he could take pictures oh my gosh and you don't but and you don't want to say what you think might have happened at all i don't know what happened and I was told not to think by the police department, by the yeah, sheriff. Okay. I just gotten a message that, that was asking me, and, and I wanted to see it. And I, that's why I, I was asking if I got you. Let's see what 
else do we have here? Is there a reason they were so yeah, is there a reason they were so strict on him and they weren't seeming you you gave him more um what do I want to say? Gave, yes, to be a, a you know a 15 year old kid. I don't know. I gave him more freedom because he he you gotta make mistakes in order to learn from him. But you gotta have freedom in order to grow. Agree. Agree. So they just want him to be perfect and and captive, and then I'm 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 just trying to figure this out. I mean, he's fifteen. Sebastian was in no way is a perfect child, but he was my perfect child. Amen. He was fun. He was inquisitive. You can get online on the Switch, even use a hidden browser on them. I know that on my Switch, I never bought him a Nintendo profile. He could have got a Wi-Fi. But literally, all it would do was update his games. I disagree. My son was perfect to me. <laughs> he was going to say that. Listen, and I said, if that's the case, I've got three perfect kids, too. <laughs> We've already been over that part. He's going to disagree. <laughs> He's perfect. Do you know who set those games up? What? Yes, my son had a my PlayStation. He did. I was the only one with uh I had mine and then he had his profile, but he played on my profile. But most of the time on my profile, he was playing like Spider-Man, which is a solo game. He let's see, he played Devil May Wine, I mean Devil May Cry. You know, that's also a solo game. He played a lot of solo games. And when he wasn't playing solo games, solo games, I was there. Seth, do you think Chris caught him slacking off and playing his Switch instead of doing his chores? Oh, I don't um, know. Yeah, I don't know if he can answer that one. Let's see. I'm not a parent, but it's under my... Uh, yes, he has called him names, and I won't repeat those names because I those are things I don't like. Um, I don't I don't use those, and I don't want won't use those a uh, period because it's just no it's a big no and he's aware of that very aware of it seth does sebastian have a pectus chest because causing him to wear a chest plate is it at the house to your knowledge it's not at my house and he has a brace but he stopped wearing it It's a hard one too. Um, yeah, David's that David is good at, at what he does, and that at their house, I have no idea. At my house, it would it probably showed that it, he logged that it was on when the police turned it on. Because when he leaves my house, he has to turn it off and put it on the charger so that it's charged when he comes back. Thank you, seclusions. I'm I'm mean, literally he has to make his bed, clean up his room, put everything away so that 
he knows where it's at when he comes back, not to mention there's not stuff on the floor so I can vacuum. Because he, he leaves and then I don't get to see him for two weeks. I don't know about that either. Because your family's uh, your family's in Texas and we're all you did hear your mom's message, correct? No, because I wasn't I was trying to log in. Would you like to hear your mom's message? I wouldn't know, sir. I wouldn't know, Mr. David Gray. Oh, man. That would be awesome to know. Would you like to hear your mom's message? My mom already told me briefly what her message was. Yeah, making sure. Yes, yeah, she had a message, and I did play that. Um, can you discuss what the... Okay, I don't know. that. I don't know. They didn't discuss that with me. <laughs> yeah, I think he said the last communication that he has had with um, TBI was it? Uh, did you say? It was either Friday or Saturday, but they didn't tell me anything about the garbage. I find out a lot of it through news feeds. Yeah, I will play it. Once he's finished answering questions, I will replay it. I don't want to put him through that because his mom was, he, his mom said what she meant and she meant what she said. And she don't play. Yeah, I could tell. Uh, she, we had a nice conversation as well. Very nice conversation. I will replay that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've never been in the garage. All I know is they have a three-car garage. That's it. Have any neighbors come forward with anything that you know of? I don't. Does he like You'll to climb? To You mean like on a jungle gym, on a ladder, up a slide? I have spoken to Katie <clears throat> for twice with Chris on the phone. Fred, he said that they had a good relationship. They FaceTimed. Yeah, even when he was here, Faith was there. <clears throat> then Faith would sit there and FaceTime Sebastian on his phone. And Sebastian would literally lay in there on his bed and talk to her for, I don't know, I think the last time was like an hour and a half. Wow. Yeah, there's only so many, there's only certain things he can answer. He can't answer anything that's, and I know for a fact, he cannot answer anything that points towards certain legal things. He can't answer those things. I'm going to let him answer that one too. I'm biased. I was married to her.
It's always a possibility, Phoenix. Because there's a ladder. Normally there's a, you know, a slide or a swing. When I was looking, I have flashlights in my truck. So I was looking at any type of playground equipment, slides, any, how, uh, any little tree houses or anything I, I saw. I would shine my flashlight in there and holler for them. Thank you, Ms. Hayden. Terry Dean, he just calls a huge metal slide. My autistic son loved that one when we lived nearby. Mr. Seth, I understand he Sebastian. Into math. He really liked math. I would say it was one of his best subjects maybe two years ago, but he started giving people at school a hard time with his back. <laughs> a, he, he, Matthew was one of his best subjects uh, growing up in middle school and grade school. Math was one of his favorite subjects. I don't know, Mr. Fred. Hmm, interesting on that one. I agree. I don't know, Mr. Dean. Thank you, Florida. Please hand out flyers out there, Mr. Fred. Have a good night, Fuller, and thank you very much. Thank you, Fuller Adventures. Yeah, uh, I mean, I agree. I, I do agree with that. <laughs> I've said that from the beginning. That's not, and it's my right to have that opinion. I don't have a good feel or opinion about the man, and I'm never, I'm not going to change that. There's nothing that he could ever say to make me change that. He wouldn't give me five minutes just to ask him one question. I, and I'm glad because he wouldn't have given me the right answer. Thank you again, Fuller. I agree. I agree. And that was all. That was all I wanted to know. Is that right there? Mr. Dean, no. For Christmas, I, I, I asked my son for like, because his birthday's in December too. And it's like, I asked him for a month, what do you want for your birthday? What do you want for Christmas? And he didn't want anything. The only thing he wanted me to do was to take him to see his me on Pap Pap in Texas. And I told him I couldn't do it this year. Because I didn't have the vacation time saved up and my truck needed a new uh, torque converter on my transmission. And they miss him. They really do miss him.
welcome, Juju. I, I'm thankful that Seth is actually here and, and is able to actually answer these things. Thank you, Reverend. Thank you, Peter, but this is Seth. You're welcome, Angel, but it, this is this is for him. Thank you, Spooky Paws. Yes, passing out flyers everywhere helps. No, I didn't hear that, Fred. I try to keep a safe space and I always I want people to have their opinions. Don't forget if you do hand out flyers, please use our Google map so we know where flyers are at. And thank you all, anyone that's actually doing that and, and putting out flyers. Thank you. I don't care where you are. Thank you. In Minnesota, would it be help? Yes, everywhere. We don't ever. You never know. Everywhere. Where do they find the Google Map at? I think she posted that she she it was where is it she posted it up here where she put it I'm looking give me a second we'll find it if not I, and if I don't have it to, during this I will make sure I put it on my community wall so you can come back if you and I'll make sure it's there, I promise. The flyers, um, Gracie has uh, she's we have that. Hold on, let me. I think that she sent that to me. It's at TBI, but she sent me the whole link and it's in this stream, but. And I do keep my strings where you can go back and you, we'll see. Karen, Karen S. I shared the Google Maps link for the flyer grid in the chat if you'd like to pin it. You don't have to be a member of the group to use it. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Uh, let me help her. Uh, hold on, Karen. Um, if you're here, hold on, Karen. Hold on. Where are you at? Let me go to my phone. I don't have me logged in. Hold on. I'm coming to you. Can't mark it, but I'm coming to her. I'm coming to her. I see. It's Karen S. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Uh, why can't I? Oh crap, Karen S. Why can't I make you a damn mod? Oh god. I need to make Karen S a mod. I found. Hold on. Okay. You should be able um, to do it now. You should be able to drop it here now, and I, and I can grab that to pin. He's verbal. He is verbal. Okay, I'm gonna pin you now. Thank you, Karen. Okay, 
that is the uh I pinned it at the very top. That's the Google map to use. If you pass out flyers, if you pass out flyers for this, this young boy, his name is Sebastian. This is Seth's son. That's seclusion. Uh, to me, every weekend that I, that I saw him, he was showing greater independence. That's why I was taking the opportunity to teach him how to cook. You know, when we went to the grocery store, we would have a list and I'd go get the milk, go get the creamer, you know, pick up this and that and then come back. And he did. He wasn't an intelligent kid. He seems like he was mischievous a lot to me from the stories that I've been told. Of. He's a little mischievous. He could be. But he's a good kid. He's a good kid. From my understanding, Mr. Dean, uh, he had just bought himself a new student ID. Awesome. That's awesome. Welcome, Seahawk. Where did he want to be when he grows up? Oh. From my understanding, he wants to work with animals. I mean, I know that he was hoping, see, I had an idea of having a homestead, and I know that he liked the idea of being, growing up on a farm, taking care of animals, taking care of pets. That sounds fun, too. He likes cats. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. Thank you. And they are on the road all over. Can't give up on our kids. Never. You never give up on your kids. They're your kids forever. In his parents' neighborhood, I don't. In my neighborhood, he liked my neighbor's pit bull. He would go over there and literally just basically let the dog clean his face <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that oh, oh my <laughs> let the dog clean his face you know what dogs lick all the time <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, Thanks. Chloe. Have a good night. Follow Chloe. It'll probably, be, it'll probably be tomorrow at this point in time. Angel, I would hope not. Oh, God. I pray not. I say you have to have faith. Amen. Amen. I agree. I agree with that. 
Uh, I do too. I do too. I, I just, I do too. Sometimes you just have to hold on to that right there. Because I can't, I, yeah. Yes, and I do have his GoFundMe that his sister has set up. It's on my community wall. If anybody wants to donate to it, they're more than welcome to. It's fine, Angel. If I can answer a question and it gives somebody an idea and they find Sebastian, it's worth it. I would say he's directionally challenged. And he didn't take any money with him when he left. And you were teaching him things like that, too, as far as banking, you know, managing money. <clears throat> And things like that. You were preparing him for days as he got older. You were you were doing that as he was younger, right? I'm sorry, what was that? You were prepared. You prepared him when he was. You started preparing him when he was younger, right? To manage money. Like with like an, maybe an account. Oh, he have had money tucked under. He could have. I don't know. I mean, there's a possibility. That there are so many possibilities that you could go off of. He could have had money tucked under. Did he get money as gifts from people? Does do people usually give him money? Thank you, Kr. <clears throat> Just for money, I mean, birthday cards, uh, Christmas cards, he would get, he would get money, uh, here, I made him just put it in his wallet. So he was, he, he was already on that road and he was already starting to say this. He was learning already past his time. His dad had him on a road there. So he's still on that road. He's still on the path of learning. Savings. Savings. Dean, uh, he had money tucked away that nobody knew about, but they did find it in his room a week later. He had hit it in, in a, an ATM that he had built. <laughs> what? I didn't even know this. That's a smart boy there. Wow. Mm. Smart kid. Thank you, KR. Wow. I did not know that. Wow. That's what I was thinking, Karen. Resourceful. Yes, and thank you, KR. Let's see if we got any more questions. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty darn cool right there to be able to have that tucked away like that. <laughs> so he had his own little savings started already. Was he spontaneous at all or was he rigid with his schedule and routine that you know of? 
when he was younger and before we went through our divorce, if things weren't on the schedule, you could tell that he would be aggravated. Because now something was off and different. For being spontaneous. But ask him where he wanted to go eat. And where would that be? Because he doesn't know. <laughs> With me, his favorite place is IHOP. Okay. Um. Do you know if anyone had been watching and are outside the home? Not that I know of. Thank you, sweet Sally. Thank you. And welcome to membership, Terry Dean. Okay. I agree with you, seclusions. Thank you, Vanessa. Good night, Miss Vanessa. Thank you very much. Yes, Sally's a sweet soul. She is. She's a sweet soul. How old was Sebastian when you and his mom separated? She filed in 2016. He can't answer that, sweetie. Fish, I wished he could, but unless he feels like he can, I don't know if he can answer that. When, when Katie left, California to go to come here. It took me four months to get the money together and so I could go to. Wow, that's dedication. Um, it was a lot. Eight hour shifts and followed by 12 hours. Oh my gosh. Wow. Mm. That's a child that you love. Um, you do what you have to do for your baby. Wow. My life. What were you initially told when he went missing? Uh, do you recall what you were told? Same thing that everybody else was told that he left. Mm -hmm. so same thing that they told the police.
Have you had a conversation? Can I ask? Have you had a conversation with his mother since this at all? So what, what was that? Have you had have you had a conversation with his mother at, since this has happened? Yes and no. Hmm. Have I had the conversation I want to have with her? No. Hmm. no. Yeah, I was going to say probably not. So most of the correspondence has been through stepfather, maybe more so. Stepfather, both of them on the phone at the same time. Mr. Dean, my son doesn't like to get dirty. Nope. Mm -mm. So he's kind of <laughs> in the water. He ain't going in the water. I don't even like that water. I'm not even going to lie. I don't like that water. No offense. Yep. Which which missing kids organization? Because there's several. I don't know. I don't think like Chris. <laughs> okay. Help it. Uh, hmm. Don't play any help. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> I, I'm going to say that's that would be a yes. Already working on it. More than one. Amen. You like to play outside, playground. That was normally his favorite thing to do. Would he be out? Would he go outside on the playground alone, or would you need to be out there with him? When I took him to the playground, I used to go out there with him until I was told that I was too too old to be doing that. Never too old. Never. No, but when it says play crown and crimson for twelve and under. Kind of look at you funny when you're 38, <laughs> turn around, playing tag with the kids, which is what I did in California. <laughs> Never too old for a playground. Thank you, Lynn, and I appreciate you being here. Like yeah, he loved the church. Uh, we would go out there in the Gulf of Mexico and go fishing whenever we went down to see his parent, see my parents down in uh, South Texas. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lynn. Yeah, have a good night. And sleep good. And I agree with Lynn that you do need to take care of yourself on that. I agree. No one's ever too old for a playground. Forget it. You know. That's the prayer right there. Agree, nurse. Agree. <laughs> Am 
Oh, uh, my mom almost got stuck so many times with my daughter at McDonald's. It's embarrassing. An Oreo of Sebastian talking so people can see what he's like. Is that supposed to be a video? I was like, wait, what? I think a video. I think video. Welcome. Yeah. I will have to look and see if I have one. Most of the time, I didn't do a lot of video. Whatever you're comfortable sharing. I wish an FBI integrated like John It's not going away. It's not. And that is the facts. It's not going away. That was that when, when that was said earlier today, I had to agree that it's not going away um, at all. I'll give my opinion and it's no. That's just my opinion of the thought. I can't speak for him. I'll speak for me. I have a memory of Sebastian that it's not my favorite because I have all of them are from my favorite. But I remember it being in California and we were at a power outage. And Sebastian was like, Dad, there's no TV can't play back then he played on the Wii so we were playing uh, I think we were playing tennis on the Wii or Mario Kart one or the other and the power went out and he was like dad there's how, what are we supposed to do and I'm like well you can always read a book if it's in the middle of the day and he looked at me and he was like can't we Can't we go to the store and buy power if we're out of power? And it just caught me off guard because it's like, son, you, you don't go to the store to buy power. But he had no idea where power came from back then. He, he didn't have a concept of electricity and what its uses and stuff was for. Oh, that's, that's precious. That's right. No, it, no, it's never going away. That's the facts. It's not going away. No one's going away. And that's the thing. It's either talk now or not. Um, and if you say that you're going to answer the hard questions, just answer them. I offered five minutes. Did he like to swim in the ocean? He didn't like sand. Oh, I don't like sand. Oh, well, there you go. That's the practicality of a child. Thinking I love that story. Not to mention, I'm a beach. I'm, I, I mean, when my parents said I was going to grow up and just be a beach bum, that or a politician. <laughs> but uh, a beach bum, <laughs> beach bum or a politician. That's what my, that's what my mom and dad said. <laughs> Because you couldn't get me out of the water. I loved going into the ocean. But I grew up a lot on the East Coast. And the water is warmer and cleaner and nicer than California. California, the water is cold. There's dog shit all over the beach. And there's that nasty stuff called seaweed. And not the stuff that comes in, you know, a decent towel, a decent room. I didn't like California because you could see seals. You could see wild wildlife literally swimming in the ocean. And I've watched too much National Geographic to know where there's seals, there's killer whales, and there's gray <laughs> Welcome, just another. Let's see. Maybe the stepfather hired a little broad on. Durham, North Carolina. Welcome. To your bedroom without knocking. Oh, Lord. Mm 
Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Cold Case Crystal. Yes, yes, Nurse Jen. I pinned it. I did. Um, they've been married for, I think you said two years. So he's had a step back for two years. Do you think he would have went outside if he had a cat? I mean, I. Katie, Katie and Chris said something about that. I really don't think he would have. He would have put on shoes at least. You know, I don't. I don't think he would have gone outside for that. I heard that there was a neighbor that was out looking for his cat. I heard that. Did see that. How did he handle the move? You're okay, Nurse Chan. From my understanding, he handled the move quite well. He didn't want to be in California. California had some very bad history for him. You're okay, Nurse Jen. Welcome back, Carmen. Thank you, Karen. I will make sure everybody gets that right there. Did he want to go online or was it forbidden for him? I think that's, I think Seth said he allowed him to be online at his home. Before the uh, Daylight savings time stuff. Was it getting quiet? Okay. I think we were rolling over. I, I'm trying to remember. We were getting close, I know. To daylight no. savings. It's still, it was still dark. It was still dark, though. No, it was still dark. You're right. Was he close to any neighbors? It's not like he would tell me he wanted to go online. When he was here, most of the time, when his phone wasn't locked down, when he was here, he was watching Minecraft videos on his phone. He would be watching Minecraft videos on his phone, watching Yu-Gi-Oh! on the TV, and playing on his Switch. Thank you, Malone. And that says, please tell uh, Seth I have respect for him. The other two should have been looking like you are. I agree. Thank you for that, Paige. I appreciate that. And that's exactly it. I mean, he was about to have a custody change right there. He was. Basil is going to live with me. I have him. I still have him enrolled in school and everything. And we should have known about that in the very beginning, in my opinion. But we didn't know that either. Sebastian didn't have a lot of shoes because his feet were growing. I know that he was his tennis shoes. His tennis shoes that he did have were too were too small for him. And Katie told me that he needed a new pair of boots. I took him to Boot Barn. We made a nice big you know thing out of that. It took him a while to find boots that he liked, but it took him even longer to find boots that he wanted. He tried on three different sizes, and Finally, he bought the boots that are still at his mom's house, the gray ones, and 
she went and bought him a pair of tennis shoes. So he's got an old pair of tennis shoes there, a new pair of tennis shoes, a pair of boots, and then here he's got his slides and an old pair of tennis shoes that he can wear when we go fishing. I don't know if you can answer that the way you might want to answer that. I know that there was no children at school bullying him. Um, and if he did, he never told me about it. But my son also knew. Uh, that I don't play that game. If he had told me somebody was bullying him, I'd have been at the school. Mm -hmm. I agree. Well, good morning, Dan. Let's see. Oh, you just brushed out. Go to the shoes. Thank you again, Paige. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone enjoy it. Yeah, there's some things he can't answer. He's, he's a good dad. I mean, what vibe? I mean, you're not gonna get a bad vibe. He's answered everything that he's that he's answered. He's answered most every question besides what he can't answer because he's been asked not to. He's not fiddle fart. He's not chased himself around anything. He's come straight up and answered them all. And I bet it. Um, cold case crystal. I've caught him a couple times when he was on YouTube watching somebody play video games. Yes. I don't know how people can do that. Yeah, they but stream yeah. the video games. I don't know why, but they do. I'm not going to criticize them for doing it, but I know people do that uh, and they do watch them. Good morning, Mr. Dan. Thank you, Apple. Let's see. Welcome back, Harms. Mm -hmm. They grow and stink. Oh, my. Let's see. Does he have a concept of land navigation? No. If anything, I tried to teach that to him. I was still trying to teach that to him. But, like, when he was in my truck... He would play on my phone or we'd listen to music and you know anything about 24 up here. Sometimes we're just stuck there. <laughs> I do. I do. And every once in a while, he'd be playing, like, if traffic's taking forever, I'd put in my phone to play Call of Duty. Because I know what it's like to be stuck in traffic and like this, this sucks. Yeah, 24 sucks. I ain't gonna lie. God. He was gonna be a full timer. Okay, let's see. I had and when I did, what I did was landmarks. That's how I traveled. Think about landmarks. Uh, did you miss any phone calls, and that's why you were text? Where am I? Let's see. He, yeah, he was going to be full timer. Let's see what else we got here. Special was supposed to come full time from summer on. I enrolled him in school and everything up here in Clarksville. Amen. Let's see. Uh, it's a construction site. You're talking about the one that's at the, at the uh, subdivision that's next to theirs? There's no security there. Thought criminal. Uh, I had one missed phone call and a text because at work, it's a it's a felony to have your phone inside the jail and i was inside the jail that night what in the heck uh he answered that no he wasn't known to have accidents when he was with him oh that's odd mm -mm -mm. 
That's odd. Maybe that was the dogs, maybe, because she had the pee pads and the pee tray on the train dogs. The yeah, puppies. the bathroom in there. Maybe she meant the puppies because she said that they said that the train puppies had the pee pads and the pee tray. What do you mean seclusion works? That doesn't make what? Where did I miss? I'm looking. Uh, where are we at here? Uh, Mr. Seth, does Sebastian have a concept of land navigation? No, he doesn't. I know he doesn't know how to read a compass. I don't either. <laughs> I don't either. It's bad, but I don't either. Okay, I do. I do I don't know, Mr. Doodlebug, or Mi I don't know, Doodlebug. There was no security guard at the construction site Tuesday. I was there until 8 o'clock in the morning. Agreed, Paige. Does that answer your question, seclusion? Mm -hmm. I did never see a security guard. He had issues, Angel, using the bathroom supposedly at his mom and dad's at mom and stepfather's house. But at my house, no. My house, you're not wearing a pull up. You're not wearing, you're going to, and when, and when he would get here, the first thing I do is, hey, you need to take that nasty thing off and go put on some underwear. No, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to mention his daughter. That's their thing, but if you want, uh, What did she say? Uh, let's see. Uh, well, that's easy, but he well, he hasn't kept one story straight, so somebody's got to be the Jack Ace. Does Sebastian understand stranger danger? Would he talk to just anybody? Or did he ever meet a stranger? I don't know, Peter. I don't know how old Chris' daughter is. I thought she was like seven, maybe, but that, yeah, I'm not, I'm like, I don't want to get involved in that one. Uh, 
Oh, no, Angel. It looks like he left. They're making it seem like he left all of his, his shoes behind. Like, that's the strangest thing. And that's a kid, like he said, that when he kicked that uh, fire ant mount, he wasn't going without shoes ever again. I have that that was the first time that I've ever heard of somebody three way in law enforcement. I'm sorry, he's right. I agree with you. I agree with you on that. I totally agree with you on that one. I do. I agree with that. I'm sorry, Kat. I was down in Southern, you know, in San Diego. And that's pretty much where I was for nine years. About as far north as I ever went was Bakersfield. Bakersfield. Is that California? Yeah. With your experience in law enforcement, is it normal to get a three phone call? Oh my gosh. He was in ninth grade. He was getting ready to go to 10th grade next year. He just needed to finish ninth grade this year, C Star. Hmm. Oh gosh, Paige. If I could answer that, I, I would answer that in a heartbeat. Um, when he's not here, I'll give my opinion. I'll just tell my opinion straight out, but I would never disrespect anybody. What did, what, what did I miss? Is uh, Apple Crescent asked a question and he said it was very unusual that my about my response. Uh, no, she's saying that you responded and uh, well, she should have did a period and very unusual about something it's about urination about the i i don't understand not, not from you not from you no i'm saying i didn't have the problems with him here I you know he would get up in the middle of the night and go use the bathroom but the only problem i had was you know a you should flush and I understand that it's nighttime because he'd walk in there and not turn on the light. <laughs> not laughing because it's not funny, but. Oh, it's not funny when you walk in because you wear socks and you step in something and it's now you've got to take your socks off. Which I would make him go clean up his mess, too. You make a mess, you clean it up. No, I, listen, I, I know how that is. I did have a doll, or, or one that uh, had, um, she, listen, at a certain age, I said, no more, no more pull-ups. And I was like, I'm prayful, but you know what? That little girl would crawl in bed with me. And if you've ever rolled over and, oh my God, and you're really warm. <laughs> Oh gosh. Rachel would lie in bed and sleep with me until uh I wanna say six. <laughs> well and it's just like oh no 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 no. Your hover on it for that sort of stuff. Mine doesn't. Mm -hmm. Right, let let's not do that on top of the pillow top, okay? <laughs> It's horrible. It's hell. And I'm sorry I had to say that, but it's the facts. And it was bad. Whew. Um, 
listen, that's what I was getting at, Napa. I was warm and I wrote over edge of the cold. <laughs> it was bad. It was really bad. <laughs> so be glad. Just be kind of glad. It's not the best thing to do. And I thought, man, at seven when it finally was over, I was glad. Well, all you people in North Car California, I was stuck in South Car California. So um, I wish I could have had that experience. Well, they love California. Hello, sweet war. He appears to like school. Does he not like it? He likes school, does he? Mm. Well, for the most part, he did. I mean, he didn't like. He didn't like homework, okay? Well, oh, I mean, who does? I mean, I never liked homework. I mean, oh, please. I never did. But they just thought it was weird. I didn't mind homework. It gave me something to do after school. Oh, I know I'm here. Hello, sweet cat's rule. I, I, I just did not like homework. What's Sebastian at school? Are you talking about on the Friday before that Monday? Nurse Trixie? He was at the school Friday before that Sunday or Monday morning, yes. Is that I, I was gonna say I think that that was yeah that that was looked into because that I I mean I've I've said and if you listen to any of my the stuff that I've said in the past streams that I've done I've given what I feel and I'm standing by what I feel and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna back away from it. Blue eyes dumpling. Can I ask a question about going on with Chris McDonoghue? I don't know who that is. I, I don't know. Who is this? Uh, Chris McDonoghue? I don't know them. I always trust my gut. Nurse Tripsy, I trust my gut to the poor being and when I don't I'm always in trouble for not doing it so I'm, I trust my gut and I think my gut's on the spot I'm not going to back away from that well I think that what I feel and didn't want it to be it is uh, my gut what I feel I, I mean I'm not saying there's not a valid reason for uh, Miss Dean Miss Terry Dean, it's just to me, it's unusual. I mean, a, a child's missing. I've never heard a three way done. Like, I haven't heard the 911 call. I've or, never heard of a three way one done. That you look up the, I have never heard of one where you're ha No. I, my first instinct is not to call anyone but 911. You know, I'm, if I'm coming out of a bedroom that's Right there, I'm gonna walk by that kitchen, correct? Uh, he didn't get his breakfast. It's not in the room, and I'm going making my rounds right back. I mean, what am I gonna do? I'm actually probably gonna call nine one one. That's I'm not gonna worry about calling somebody else. I'm gonna call the number that needs to be called. No, uh, cold cake. My understanding, he was not scared of the dark. But then again, he does have a flashlight in his room. So that way, you know. I mean, that's, yeah. And the time, did, I mean, if that was at six o'clock and that call come into dispatch at six, 38, 6, That's a big discrepancy there. From 
my understanding, his glasses were not missing. Seclusion worked. The side by side. What are we talking about? The side by side. I'm confused about the side by side. Somebody covered the side by side. Let's see. What behavioral panelist? <laughs> oh, yeah. They could, yeah, bring okay. another crew in. I haven't watched it yet, Karen. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Uh, my nephew has, I mean, he is autistic and he's nonverbal. Um, um, and that, that's something that, you know, my mom and I talked about that last night. And that this kind of scared her a, a lot. Yeah. Well, what did they think about the tapping? I'm just curious. I'm not going to watch them because I've seen enough. Because I won't agree with it. No, from my understanding, his glasses were with him. Their story never is consistent. They stopped reading from a script, in my opinion, in the bushes. That's my opinion, anyways. This is not his opinion, it's mine. I've said this from the go when they started doing these little things. They're reading some scripted stuff. But the tapping and stuff like that, and the looking down with the eyes, a lot of stuff is shady to me. And that's, I mean, I could have read that better. And their story's not the same story. We've added BJ's, we, Costco's, dates changed, everything's changed. There's a lot of things that changed. Story should be consistent. The same. Just the key ring stuff. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, I'd have to disagree on it. Let's see. Uh, story has changed. Remember. Costco's changed from, was it Saturday? Wait, it changed to Saturday when it was Sunday, and BJ's got added in. And uh, samples is the reason they go there, because he likes to eat the samples. That's odd. Hmm. He said that he had a uh, lazy eye. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think he can answer that harmony. Answer what? Uh, let me get down there to that. Uh, I believe he had. A, I believe his vision was nearsighted. Let me get down. Thank there. I know he had the lazy eye, and I know his vision wasn't twenty twenty anymore. That right there. Looking, I'm looking. Where is it? Uh, does the mother and stepfather have a close relationship with any officers or detectives around? I don't, I don't know. Think answer that one. He's more than trying. He is controlling a lot of things, and. From the beginning, he's controlled a lot of stuff. I've watched that. He's very controlling. And that's just my opinion. Again, it's my opinion. I'm not speaking for him. I'm speaking just for myself. What man would stay up all night on, on Facebook <laughs> finding people to argue with and answer questions? that, And he's arguing with these people. <laughs> And I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing because I'm like, what the heck are you doing? This is weird. And to me, it is weird. It's odd. You don't do that. I would think that you would not be able to sleep because you're distraught, you're upset, and you're trying to, to help, you know, console your wife. Uh, yeah, things like that. Okay. Uh, this one is for the Wanda life. Yeah, Naruto is one of his favorite animes. Oh, gosh. Okay, this cat's got to see everybody, so he has to do this every night. You know, it's, it's his ninja way. I, right now, my ninja way is to find my son. I, I told him, I said, anytime you're ready, if any more questions, he, I, he can, I, whenever he's done. Not too bad. To me, he sounds tired, too. How is Sebastian's coordination? Any challenges with motor? Let's see, with gross motor skills? He did when he was younger. But through therapy and like video games is a real good one. Hand eye coordination. He has to be exhausted. This cat thinks every time that this thing is on, he's got to be with it. Say, you want to tell me hi? Say, hello. Say, Mr. Seth, I'm here to see y'all. Say, you got to stay healthy, Mr. Seth. You want to tell him, Kebby? Hey, kitty, kitty. Kebby, he's talking to you. She's like... Cat's like, I don't care. You're supposed to pet me. Cabby, tell him. Say, Mr. Seth, my name's King Cabby, and I'm a pamper. See me? Yeah, I'm a good boy. Okay. Say, you gotta, you gotta be keeping your rest up. Say, you gotta be getting healthy. And eating. Say, have you eaten today, sir? I have a uh, cold case of crystal. Why did I say if he's outside your home, do not let him in your home? Because you don't want to be a suspect right now. If he's in your home, you become prime suspect number one. If, if you see him outside your home, you need to call 911. You know, get him something to drink. Get him something to eat. You know, don't him let him out of your sight. Please don't let him out of your sight. Yeah, don't Call let him out of your sight. Call nine one one because the policeman will take him into custody, and they will take him to a hospital. 
where they can evaluate and make sure that he is physically, mentally, and, you know, good. They will make sure they will do a medical evaluation over him to make sure that he's fine. And then they will literally, nobody will be able to see him until they clear him except police. He's, he's honest about that. And they, they do, they are, they, yes. Um, yes. I think they, was it Navy? I think Navy. Yeah, both of them were Navy. One was a red phone, the other was a green shirt. How are your parents? Uh, I'm going to say his mama's a pistol. I'm going to let you speak on that. I mean, I'll, I'll play I'll play it once once he's laid himself down I will play uh, I will replay what his mom had to say and she spoke very clear I'm just saying uh, the one's coming down I'm not going to have you on here on camera honey Let's see what we got here. Yes, he needs to be eating. Let's see. Yes. with children okay oh gosh if you realize that your child was missing would you first stop my 911 after i screamed if you want my opinion yes i mean i'm yeah, my, my i'm gonna my first is i'm gonna seize up i'm gonna probably go into an anxiety attack that's probably what i'll do and then hit the 911 honestly And that's just me. That's what I do. They're not helping me with my searches, but I have to call and let them know wherever I go because I'm by myself most of the time. If I'm not by myself, then I don't have to call them. Come on, Daddy. Correct, Karen. What, buddy? Mm -mm. Come on. No, sir. Come on. No, I didn't stop I wasn't there. Uh, yeah, I, that I have I have no idea about that. I would agree. I'm gonna want to ignore him. They should be. Yes. yes. I would just, I would slam up on some 911. I just would want the help immediately. <laughs> That's just me, though. Yes, legal search is here. Are the Texas people here, though? Are the ones from Texas here at, from Echo Search? I believe so. I believe they're here, and so is the one from. She's got a 931 number. That's the, the Equal Search Midwest chapter. Okay. I'm Uh, 
I'm going to say that's a question for him to answer. That one. From my understanding, everybody was in agreement with it. And I would think at a certain age, him being 15. I believe uh, it's 13 in the state of Tennessee. Yeah. Here, I think it's uh, around, it's either 12 or 13 that you can choose which parent that you want to, to reside with. Oh God, wait, what? Well, those homes are pretty smack on top of one another. Um, I, God, I wonder if they heard a lot of things. Be interesting to know. That's just my opinion. Do they know if any footage has been pulled around? Um, the areas, the back, the, the sides that could have anything telling that you might know about or know? At all. No, they told me. Uh, I know that they did footage that they're branching out farther to do more footage, but I haven't been I haven't been informed of anything. Those homes are not that far apart, C. Taylor, not to me. I think they're like, what is it, 0.27, the lot size? And I'm pretty sure it's 0.27. I'm believe. a pretty good smack in there. How thoroughly it oh. Mm. Do you know how greatly the neighborhood was searched? Uh, let's see. Honestly, it went, they went everywhere and then they went door to door. But they didn't. They didn't search inside anyone's homes. Not from what I understand. Which and taking dogs, people's doors. I don't know if she did or not. I mean, three minutes isn't a long time to do anything. And the yeah, because I think they got. That call in 38 or 39 minutes that morning. I would have been screaming. Miss Karen, I've got to, I've got to set a look for me. Everybody would have known. Yeah, they searched the storm drains. They had the let's see, they had the bloodhounds out. I know that they did have the horses. They did have some divers that were out. Let's see. Do, 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 do. How would you feel about Nug, who is expert water explorer, come down for a waterway check? I don't know Nug. <laughs> do you know Nug? I don't. But if anybody wants to come help search, I appreciate it. relying a lot on humanity to help me find my son. Mm -hmm. I think that he's going to, anybody that has any 
I'm going to say anything that can help anybody. He's he's open. I think that he's saying he'll take all the resources that he can get. Um, here. Um, There's a lot of volunteer searchers now because that's pretty much the majority yeah. of what it is. What he said, yeah. They do have like the sign out that does say, you know, please, uh, please search your, you know, your land. And it does have his, his picture is on the sign at uh, Beach High School. And it does say that he's missing. Um, so, you know, that right there is there. And of course, people are doing that. They're, and I'm sure people are still searching their land. Miss Culver, uh, Sebastian liked heavy equipment, and there was heavy equipment over there. What's the interview with the mom? It would have had to have been with the mom and the stepfather, I guess. I don't know. I have no clue. I'm local. I believe that was the house that's directly behind them. Hey, are you talking about, um, hold on. Um, let me see. Are you talking about the one that they got the uh, footage from or the uh, I mean, I do have some pictures, but I'm not going to make them. Of what was suspected. Well, that's been, that's, that's been ongoing. I can't listen to that stuff. That, and that has been ongoing. And that's what's digging holes. Kevin, what, buddy? If you're, I think I know what you're thinking of. Uh, I can't listen. They did say that early in the very beginning about that construction area. I know if you're talking about the construction area that is right there, um, it's the new construction is by that subdivision. Is that what they're talking about, Seth? Um, the, the one to the right of their subdivision, okay, yeah. Yes, that is. I thought that they have to be. Okay. Um, there is no security over there. Uh, they did say, and they did say that there was a scent, but I don't know. I don't know what changed. Uh, if you do, you know more than I do. Uh, because I, there's the, they said two different things. They said that the scent stopped out, you know, right at the front door, and then they said the stuff about the construction area. So I, I really don't know on that. And unless he knows, I don't know on that one. That's a hard one there because it doesn't make sense to me. Either. He is a brave man. Fish is a good guy tonight. I'm pr Fish, I'm proud of you tonight, buddy. Seth, you're a brave man to come on publicly like this. I have teens and I know exactly what you're thinking. I don't know how you're holding it together, sir. Thank you, Fish. Thank you. Because he knows he's telling the truth. Hey, KR. You said Sebastian said, Katie said Sebastian growled at her when he was upset. Was that like lately or what? 
That's me, news. That, yeah. I've that, not heard that either. This is new to me. That's never been brought up either. This has gotten crazy. One that was done today on Chronicles of Oblivion. So now he's growled at. See, just yeah. wonder if that was. Yeah, but were they talking about it right before this happened? Two. What the heck? This is nuts. It's been a campaign, I reckon. Huh? It is very. Thank you, and I agree, beautiful butterfly. I honestly agree. I, I, that's the first of my knowledge. Are you aware of this ongoing thing here? That's what I'm trying to find out if they were okay. No, just saying he does that when angry. He hasn't done that in years. What? Interesting. And on his anger. Working on and with his anger since we noticed the anger problem. I had a daughter that hissed when she was three. Is I mean, but she outgrew that. Yeah, I mean Sebastian. She's proud too. I can't say she didn't, but she might have. But uh, why? I mean, Sebastian would growl when we had dogs, and he got angry. I, mean, I just don't understand why are we bringing that. Why would she bring? I don't understand this whole thing. Why would she bring that to light now? Interesting. Get him in like a bear hug. Hey, did you ever have to do anything like this with the bear hug and hug and hold him down? Never had to. See, there's a difference in parenting, I do believe in. That's just my opinion, again. She heard something at 10 p.m., but didn't check on him. That's the first I'd heard of that as well. This is ridiculous. I feel like they're trying to paint her son in a bad light. I think you're right. Yeah, um, I think that that is not true, though. I think that I don't believe that's his, that was his current behavior. I think that the school could have actually uh, validated that right there, um, if that were the case. Um, and I think I just think that more things will come out in the long run, and I think truth always will prevail. Really? That's odd because in that prior interview that she had done, she said that the, everything was fine and they had, had no, uh, what was it, no arguments or no anything. Everything was good that day and that night. If you remember, the stories have now changed to three or four different stories. That's not normal. The story should always be the same. So that's a new thing right there. I mean... Hmm. I mean, he, I remember when he was younger and he would get like, he would get frustrated a whole lot when he was younger. Most kids do. You know, but it, the 
working with him on the night. I just understand. Well, I Gosh. Did he have a, did, can you ever answer this question? Did he have a therapist that you know of? Yeah, he did. He had two of them. Okay, there's something wrong with that. That's well, I take Sea Star. That's my point. He didn't have two, but he had a psychologist that he went to, and they're the ones that had the therapist coming to to see him. But we were also trying to get him ABA therapy as well. And we hadn't got him started on the ABA therapy. So he had the one doctor that he saw that was for medication and then the therapist that they would send to the house, I think, twice a week. No, I don't, Butter. I agree, Kelly. I agree. Depends on if you consider a gecko. I don't see anything wrong with the grumbling under his breath growls. Sorry, I don't. Good question. I don't know if he cursed. Some 15-year-olds do curse, I will say. I didn't have a problem as long as he didn't do it in front of women. Some curse. Just saying. Some will curse. Some kids do. Saying, I told him I didn't have a problem. If he cuts, don't do it at school. Don't do it in front of your mama. And really don't do it in front of your grandma. Oh, Lord. So now it's an hour after she went to bed. Hmm. Yep, sure did. Good week. Weird. So there wasn't, and now all of a sudden we're growling and we're having to hold him down. That's odd. Story changed. That's my question. Oh. So now she hollered and told him, okay, gotcha. So that wasn't what she said prior. I don't think she has it with that camera. Yeah, the truth doesn't change, but I'll have a lot of lies. Wow, I didn't know that either. I don't know anything about that. And I agree with this. That is not how you're going to speak about your child when they're missing. I don't have any information. I lost myself from where I'm at and living. Um, the bowling alley? I don't know who would have followed him from the bowling alley. Yep, he wants to find his son.
see I didn't see anything on there for that. Let's see. I've heard him say that. Two dogs. Uh, they only had the two dogs, correct? Yeah, he had already gotten rid of the snakes, but there was two dogs and Sebastian had a gecko. I do not know. Well, the same way he said he would answer any of the questions, any hard questions, and he said you have to ask law enforcement. They're speaking for us. That's what he said. Yeah, I'm not going to give any of the negative stuff. No, no, no. Any more questions? Let's see if we got anything else. I can't. Oh, my goodness. I didn't know that. We'll get that on me. Do you know why they're being so secretive about the medications, sir? I'm not. This is, I, I have no idea. I, I wouldn't be secretive about anything. I'd be screaming from the rooftop from my chest. Do you know his shoe size? He bought him boots. His feet were growing. Yeah. They should share a lot more than they have shared. They were out on their motorcycle, correct? Uh, do, have you mentioned anything about Asperger's at all, Seth? I haven't. Okay. Do you know if he was tested for it? When he was, when it came back from Vanderbilt that he was on the scale, all the stuff they told us to read about was all about Asperger's. Yeah, to answer your question, it's because they're free and they can shoot off fireworks. I pray it's the same, Claudia. Ten and a half in the bushes. Yes, that's come on, come on. That's ten and a half. Come on. I'm sorry, I'm trying to go. I've got this cat that wants to be on here so bad. You can't. Yes, please keep sharing. <coughs> All right. No. 
questions because I think this he needs to sleep and he needs to eat. You do need to do those things and take care of yourself. Really, you do. And I appreciate you hanging in here and answering the hard <laughs> questions because you have answered some tough things, but you got a lot of things. That, I mean, you got a lot of things. <laughs> But you've done a great, amazing job hanging in here. And I'm thanking you for doing this. And you are a liar, absolutely. And you have a lot of people on your team. And like they say right there, let me see. Uh, welcome, D. Smith. Uh, and Seth, you are admired. And a lot of folks wish they could give you a hug that would make you feel better, even just for a minute facts so you're not alone you're not alone yes he's got to take care of himself he needs to eat yeah I, I'm gonna let him I want him to, to get rest I'd rather him get rest than to continue to listen to any of this and I'll play it, but I want him to, I want him to take himself to get, he needs to eat, <laughs> take care of himself and rest or he's not going to be good for Sebastian. You're not listening, are you? Nope. <laughs> I didn't think so. He does follow that page. That is correct. Was Sebastian in life insurance? Huh? What is that? Oh, do you mean does did he have life insurance? Does he have life insurance? I don't think he's old enough to have a job. Wait a minute. Yes, have you eaten today? I have. Okay, he has. I had a sausage biscuit earlier. It's not eating. Not really eating. Let's see. Yeah, I have insurance on my son. I bought him the Gerber Grow Up Plan when he was like. Two. I had a pot of coffee today. A pot? Huh? What? A pot? <laughs> pot of coffee? Yeah. Oh my God. Hello, Sassy Susie. Yes, I did see where he was on that. You are correct, light and sound. Absolutely in the bushes. He can't, but he's still going. I tried. I told him he needed to go to sleep. <laughs> he needed to eat and rest. Yes, you do take out life insurance policies on your children. Absolutely. Yeah, it doubles when he turns 18 and the price doesn't go up. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't... Uh, you got to get jump through oh my goodness you got to jump through a lot of hoops to get to Seth. i have pr people and i have a sister <laughs> you gotta jump through hoops to get to Seth. 
It's a fact. And I'm not laughing. But it's not funny, but it, yeah, it is a little funny. But yes, um, you have to really jump through some hoops. I'm like, oh my gosh, you kind of do. You got better luck getting a hold of the president than you do me. That's kind of true. But at least I know where I'm at. <laughs> true. But yeah, he's not lying on that one. I doubt you're going to get a number to the manager. Good luck with that one. Well, first you have to join the Facebook page, and then you have to ask one of the moderators which moderator is in charge, and then you have to private message them, and if she approves it, she'll send it to me. Mm -mm -mm. And then it may take a hot while. Thank you, Nurse Trixie, and thank you for being here. Yeah, he didn't go out of window, Samantha. Sweet dream, nurse Trixie. Where's Sebastian's windows? You know, somebody brought the, one of them brought the windows up. I don't remember who it was. Um... And I don't even remember why they were brought up, to be honest. That was the first they had actually been brought up. It was odd. If he knows, then he's going to be able to answer that one. I don't have an answer for that. Do you have an answer for the window? His bedroom windows were locked. Wanda, I think Sim, I think that he's going to be, they're both going to be on vacation, I believe. I, I think both of them are going on vacation. My opinion. They're going to go see their nanny and, and papa. Wait a minute. Did I talk to Karen? No, I don't think I did. I talk to Karen. Yeah. No, I you talked to my sister. Wait. Hold on. You talked to my sister. Okay, because I thought, wait a minute. Did I? <sighs> I can't keep up. I just can't keep up. <clears throat> but they're both moderators. I thought, wait a minute. Um. Okay, I did. Okay, I talked to your sister. Okay. Yes, the GoFundMe is on my community wall. I'm going to leave it there. And there's, I don't, I can't tell how long he's going to be out of work. Because he's busy looking for his child. And he's actually doing that. And if you can, you know what? $2 helps. $3 helps. 50 cents. Anything is something. And it's much appreciated. Let's see. Has school What? Do you mean has the school? Has the school? Is that, what are they asking here? Who chose Sebastian's name? It's a strong man. I did. I named my son Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. All four of them came to me. I do like that. I agree, Kathy USA. Maybe that. 
hurt me, but don't you with my kids. That's the truth. That is a factual truth. It's the no, same as for my kid. It's a strong name. It's a beautiful name. <laughs> a cherry. Oh, I like the peach. As long as it's still hot and I can have vanilla ice cream with it. I believe in crowdsourcing. I'm going to be honest. I do believe in crowdsourcing. Now, if you're throwing out some like really off the wall stuff, listen, that's just, and that's crazy pants. I'm not going to sit and listen to that. But if you make some sense about it and I can understand what you're saying, and we can crowdsource because that's some of the best ways that you can actually solve something is by crowdsourcing, to be honest. Um, you know what? And I said, I'd speak about that. He can stay that way. I don't care. Yeah, he was upset that my sister started it. Mr. Seth, many thoughts and prayers for Sebastian. Much respect, and I'm praying for his safe return. I'd say that's much appreciated. Any thought about interviewing the local Spanish news? I appreciate everybody's prayers, positive thoughts, and if people are helping passing out flyers, I really appreciate that as well. Mm -hmm. No, I haven't. Sonny. But you know what? I'll speak to one of my PR people about that. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad idea. I get a bad job off that man. Send me how his godmother is Cuban. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Yeah, it's not illegal to have a GoFundMe. It's not. His sister started that for a reason. It's not going anywhere. And if it helps him to be able to continue to do what he's needing to do, um, well, it stays. It's not going anywhere. So I don't, and I don't count down the threats anyways. I don't think anybody does actually. Well, <laughs> let, let me explain something, Angel. Because Angel said, Chris said, law enforcement told them to not allow a GoFundMe and that y'all agreed. That's bullshit. He's just mad because he ain't getting the money. Well, law enforcement wasn't involved in it. But, us, <clears throat> but it was agreed that, no, that Chris, Katie, and I would not start a GoFundMe. And I agree. My sister started a GoFundMe for me because my bills are still going. And I had no problem with that. My sister asked me first. I said, as long as it's not anything to do with Sebastian or anything of that sort, because I'm not trying to use it. I'm not using my son as a, as a way for this. And He's not she, trying to get rich. Sebastian's not going to be involved. I said, that's fine. You know, whatever you'd like to do. She's my older sister. Do you think I could really tell her what to do? <laughs> that's like kind of telling my mom what to do. It ain't that happening. That's happen because I spoke to his mom and I wouldn't know. She reminded me of my mother. And I'm a baby sister. And I'm going to be honest. Listen, there's nothing. My brother could never tell me not to do it. I'm going to do it anyways, period. You're not going to ever stop me from doing it. I'm going to do it anyways. And 
as long as he's out there having to do what he's doing to bring his boy home, he has every right to have that. He has every right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And do you think that he should be trying to work at a time where, well, he's got to use his mental. If you think about that and what he does for a living, that wouldn't be smart. That's what I feel. And make sure you can hear us. Let's see if you can hear us. Thank you, Alicia. Alicia. The more flyers, the more the more that Sebastian space is everywhere. That's a fact. If people choose to donate, they will. If they don't, they won't. And that's a fact that well, his own mental health right there. Yeah. And he has to have that to go to work. He has to have his own mental health to go to work. Mm, you're not the only one, Alicia. Ways in all directions seem to be looking for a lot. You're correct. Uh, I don't know if he's aware of that. Are you aware of anything like that? JLR investigators said that Katie had life insurance on Sebastian. I have no idea. I know that she tried to get the, she wanted to take over the payments on the Gerber life, and I took over the payment. Yeah, when you're in, in law enforcement department, his mental health is very important. That's huge. And that's my opinion right there. Uh, and he needs that to look for his boy. And that's, that's a given. That's a factual given. I will be well when he comes home. Yes, you do have to be well. You have to be healthy as well. Healthy. I didn't think about that. New Mexico isn't far from True. Absolutely, he is KR. Correct. Let's see. He hasn't been out joyriding. Nope. No joyriding for him. Yes, he ate a daggone sausage and biscuit. That's what he said. And a pot of coffee. I don't think that's going to work, but. Yeah. I don't think that's the greatest, but I can't force him to do anything. I can try. Any festivals or other attractions? People all could pass out. Oh, let's see. Uh, there are some things. That, yeah, there's some things. 
Well, that's great. Tell him to go right ahead. He can waste it, that money. I must have jumped real high. <laughs> uh, leave all my energy drinks out of this now. Well, which ones do you drink? Monsters? Drink Red Bull and Monster Coffee drink. Oh, gosh. I don't know about that. I don't like my coffee. I like my coffee. I'm sorry. Sorry, I've never had Red Bull and Monster Coffee. Wait, what? I've never even heard of Monster Coffee. Yeah, they make uh, Monster Coffee energy drinks. Gross. Um, yeah, I think I'd have to pass. And I like my coffee, sir. Monster. Oh, I like my coffee too, but you like the wrong kind, Monster Coffee. No thanks. Oh God, no. Oh, I like I like Folgers Black Silk. With a splash of French vanilla creamer. Which one did you like now? With, with what now, creamer? Uh, Folgers Black Silk. Mm -hmm. With a splash of French vanilla creamer. Good taste on that. Here's one Sebastian likes the two. What is that? You're right, Karen. There's water and coffee. <laughs> That's what I it, goes through, it goes through the beans that were planted here by God. <laughs> gets your wings. Red Bull gets your wings. I, I'm not going to wear Oh, God. No, thanks. That's why my back hurts. Ugh. I got wings growing out of it. No, she did not tell me that she heard noises coming out of Sebastian's room at around 10. Never heard of that. How does he cope with high-stress situations? Uh, has anyone asked you that directly? Oh, my gosh. Uh, my, my house is a sanctuary. We do not have high-stress situations. But I would say that we were... He was at my house when the tornadoes hit oh, Clarksville. Wow. Quite literally, he followed all my instructions to a T. In fact, I would say that he was just he was mildly excited about it all. Yeah, they've not announced anyone being clear. Please do, fat boy Babushka. Babushka. Please, please do. Let's see, she mentioned him making noise in his room and she told him she didn't care about what he's doing to go to bed. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if she's changed the story or not, but she's added. Seems the story's changed. I'm going to be honest. The story's changed. Yeah, I don't like being threatened. Yeah, I don't think anybody does. Where I come from, when you threaten us, we normally respond with uh, a hell of gunfire, and then we reload. I just listened to the interview, how I found your channel, it came up in my feed. Well, what? thank you, Shannon. Welcome. Let's see, 
she said she heard. I've never heard her. I've never heard that said. That's the first for me. To be honest, that's the first I've heard of that right there. Hmm. It's interesting. I didn't know that. Let's see. Uh, I think she's going to mention what this said. I don't know if that I'm suggesting. Yeah. I'll read it that one. Let's see. Crying Paula. I didn't hear anything where she said that either. And I thought. I had listened to, I, I've listened to, I think I thought I'd listened to most everything, and that's the first of my knowledge that it had ever had been said. Well, I did ask for five minutes of his time, and you know what? I, I couldn't get that. I tried. I did try. I did. Well, no, he wouldn't. <laughs> he would. <laughs> That's fact. He wouldn't. And I'm good with that. No, I, I'm, I'll listen. I'm not, I'm not against listening to anything, ever. It's just shocking. Some of this stuff is shocking that they, the story changed, story changed, story changed. Story should never change. And he's not aware of this. Any idea why law enforcement were telling them not to speak of the interior cameras? I was not aware that they had interior cameras, actually. Welcome, Swan. Hi, I'm very sorry, Seth. Praying your son is found soon. I also have a missing adult son. Oh, my goodness. Stay strong. Your son did not disappear without a trace. Answer for everything. And I agree. There is an answer for everything. And I believe that he'll be found. C. Taylor says, are you in, are you three in communications daily? I don't think it's daily. More flowers on Louisville Highway and Millersville. Don't think they had interior cameras. That's my point. That's this would be the first. This is the first I've actually heard about these interior cameras. The first I've heard of those. This is honest to God, the first I've heard of them. I, I, she drove around looking for him. I, I had no knowledge of that either. I don't know if he does. Hmm. Yeah, I, I read that, but uh, that's the first of my knowledge that there is any interior cameras
I am unaware of any of their security features in the house. So. Didn't my mom say today that she drove around with him? I don't know. I would that I'm suffering injury out because of my channel. Quick trip and set him away. Maybe they just asked if they had interior cameras and they said they couldn't speak of that per law enforcement and miss and I miss it. I, no, I read it actually. Um, I'm pretty sure that he rode a, a school bus. Did he not ride a school bus? He did. He rode the bus. I did see that right there. Can you file for family leave? I don't know if you can or not. That's something he'll have to answer on that one. Cat, I don't know. And I don't, I don't know if they, do they have that here? We'll have to find out from him. I don't know nothing about any of this stuff. Let's see. Good night, doodle bug. If he, I don't know if they have, if they offer family leave. I do not know. I don't know about him. I don't know about that. It's a good thought, but I don't think so. I don't think he, that he's trying to be a good husband. <laughs> Sorry. The GoFundMe is on my community wall. Underneath my channel on the community post. Seth, are you still with us? He might not be with us. His phone is about to die, I think. Hold on. I think he, I'm going to talk. Hold on just a minute. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, I have nothing. To, I have nothing nice to say, honestly. 
when it comes to those two. I don't. tries to get some rest just in case we let's see let's see he discussed that earlier hold on just a minute I'll be right back and in the process of that I will play what his uh hold on just a minute I will play what his mom is, uh, hold on. What his mom had to say. Of Sebastian, Seth's mother. That's correct. And you have a message. Yeah, I do. Um, first, what I'd like to say and what I'd like to ask him. Everybody, podcasters, everybody is do not refer to Christopher Proudfoot as my grandson's father, dad, whatever. He is Katie Proudfoot's husband. My son, Seth Rogers, is his dad. First and foremost, and people need to quit calling Christopher his dad because he's not. Secondly, I want everybody to know that I don't play around. I'm going to turn over every rock, stone, pebble, rain of sand until my grandson is brought home and whoever and everyone involved are prosecuted to the fullest. Do you have plans to come here to Tennessee? We, we were there for 10 days. We mm -hmm. live in, in Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, and we will be back uh, when Seth wants us to come, if he needs us, mm -hmm. uh, and certainly when Sebastian is found, we will be back. Anything you have to say to the mother? I do believe in Easter, Easter miracles. Oh my goodness. You can and that is, that is the grandmother here. Does grandpa want to say anything or does he stand by what you said? Yes. All right. Thank you. That was that. I'd heard that. Is there anything that you that, that he likes that stands out to you? Oh, Sebastian loved animals. He loves animals. Oh. In fact, uh, when I asked him what he wanted uh, for his birthday, his birthday is the same day as his great uncle's day. His December seventh, the same day as my dad's. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, he wanted books about animals and about plants. Oh. So, um, along with clothing, which I always buy buy for him, mm -hmm. uh, I buy a bunch of uh, books on animals and plants, and he was so excited when he got them. Oh, uh, yeah, and we would talk.
talk about, I, before we moved to San Antonio, I had chickens. Mm-hmm. And, and we were talking about the chickens. And, and one, one of the things that he asked for um, when um, I asked him what he wanted for his birthday, Christmas, was he wanted pictures of my dogs. We have two old Boston Terriers. Aww. And he loved uh, Maggie and Annie. And he mm-hmm. wanted pictures of the puppies. So you love the dogs. Now, when did you ever know him to be a person that, or, or a child that would go outside at night? Uh, yeah. with, how about Absolutely without his not. shoes? Absolutely not. So. Not unless, not unless he was with somebody and he was going from point A to point B with somebody. So, and was he ever a runner? No, never. He had reason to, but he never did. And is there things like? When he was with you all, did he like electronics? Oh, he, he's always loved electronics. He's always loved games. Um, and I would play games with him. He, he loved trying to beat me. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Um, so he likes games. But, but he would be in the kitchen with me. You know, he, he loved to help help me cook, and he loved to help me set the table and, and doing that sort of thing. Um So he's a happy-go-lucky little rambunctious boy. A normal kid. <laughs> when he's with his dad, I can say that, that he is. He's happy. I mm-hmm. mean, he's like any other kid. Yeah. He gets moody. He gets moody. He gets tired. He gets even more moody. You know? And he's not, you know, jolly, jolly 100% of the time. Mm-hmm. He's a kid. Right. For the most part, when, I, when he was around us, um... He's, he was a happy kid. He's a happy kid. Did he ever seem like he worried about anything? Yeah. Being at his mother's house. Would he talk about it? Yeah. He talked to me about lots of things. But I'm, I'm not in a position to talk about Okay, no, me. don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. But most of the time, he was just, he's a happy kid. Most of the time, he's a really happy kid. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, all I can say is when he's at his dad's house, or when he was at our our house. um, That's his happy time. Really happy kid. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Happy kid. Oh, yeah. And he's high functioning. Absolutely. Let's see. We've got Seth, we've got Seth Rogers. This is Sebastian's father. And he's got a message. And you're. I need my son return to me. I need my son to come home. I'm waiting. So if anybody knows where he's at, if anybody, if they have him, he's warning his son. He just wants his son. That's it. got his son let him go he's not yours that's his boy i think he said that loud and proud that's his boy it's his boy that's his boy So, I know that y'all want to, uh, I know y'all want to hear the uh, other ones. 
And it's stuff like that that does give you hope. It is. It really is. Because without that, you, you're never going to have that hope. And if you lose hope, you're, you know, what do you have? And yeah. If you would like to donate, uh, it is on my uh, community wall. How did I tell you how to get there? On my channel, you hit that community post and it go down and you'll see where it's posted there and just click on it. You can be anonymous. You don't even have to, sh to say who you are. If you don't want to say who you are, 50 cents a dollar is a dollar and 50 cents more than what he had before. Now let me play this next one. Because, boy, I hate coming on here and I'm about to start crying or something. <laughs> You know what? I, we were on the phone for a long time. Uh, the first call it was like four hours and 15 minutes somewhere through there, and then we talked more. I've never heard of a parent. Listen. Well, number one, I feel like I've known him forever. I, I don't know. I just feel like I've known him forever. Um, I do. He just wants his boy back. That's it. He just wants his boy back. You know, I, I and I'm saying. I just met I, I, just this morning, you know, no matter how long I've, I've been involved in this, I just actually, but I feel like I've known him. <laughs> I mean, just, I feel like I know him. Speaking to it, <sighs> Miss, Miss Robin, I feel like I've known her. You know, she reminded me a lot of my mom. She's a spitfire and what she said she meant. And she said it with her whole chest. Um, and I think that she, you know, there was a lot more that she, we talked about, both of us. Um, I'm not going to say exactly what we spoke about ever. But uh, that's a parent that loves their son. And all they want is their son home. You know, that's, it's a mean all that, that wants her baby, you know. So it's her baby, you know. And they have fun together as well. And I just, I like a happy ending like that. And I'm praying that this turns out to be one of those things, you know, especially for them. Cat, you need to charge that thing sometimes. Now I'm going to pull up this call. Um, And I hate that I do cry on these things, but it, you just, you become invested and it just becomes real, really, really quick. Hi, I'm going to do now. I'm going to go to the court. Dispatch call went out at 6.39 a.m. 
on that dispatch call, if you were listening to that, he was in a black sweatshirt. I thought that I heard white, but I think it was black. Black sweatshirt um, and black pants, black sweatpants. Um, but then we hear later on that there's white down the side, and then we hear that it's not actually even a sweatshirt, that this is uh, an actual, um, like a t-shirt that has, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Minecraft, it's some character on there, it wasn't what the, was said. Hello, sweetheart, see my girl. I, I, listen, I read both things that he had, had said. The first one was Fufu, I think was the one, Fufu. He said that he passed the daggone polygraph test. He said that. Um, then the next thing, on the next thing he said, I, I never said who took the polygraph test. Well, we know that Seth, by his own mouth here, offered to take a polygraph test. And in my last video I did, I said, I'll bet for him. Because when he was told about his son being miss, missing, just gotten off a 12-hour shift from work so you can't put in there am i wrong or am i right i'm right at the end of the day it boils down to this right here in my opinion we know one for sure but in my opinion i'm saying two two people two people seen that child and were responsible for that child they were in the home together maybe maybe stepdaddy wasn't there can't say he was he got there somehow though real quick uh he made the phone or i'm sorry he made the text he did the text to um to uh seth uh to let him know that his son was missing what a text to get well it is dark out there there are no street lights out there and and there's no nice subdivision like that and homes at the price that they are there are no street lights. That is a fact. Um, you know, I can appreciate, um, you know, just being honest. When your story changes that many times, and now we're acting out like this child's become violent, he's doing all this growling and He's having a different type of behavior. All of a sudden, odd. It's very odd that we're doing this stuff. Just weird. So I'm not buying into that right there. At the end of the day, the responsibility was hers. I've showed the inside of that home. I, I did a walkthrough with everybody of the home. Everybody, y'all seen the walkthrough. Who built them? Um, hold on, I'll tell you exactly that. Who built that one? Give me just one second. I'll grab that for you. I, mean, I don't know about all of the homes, but I know about that particular one.
And in my opinion, sometimes I believe a narcissist can pass anything. Just saying. I don't, I'm not buying into that behavioral panel crap. Is it growing, Wanda? Great. Good, 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 good. I haven't looked at it in a minute. Correct, Apple. No, listen, my, my daughter, just one of them, I'm, I'm losing it. I can't imagine. I would just, no, I can't imagine it. I won't, don't want to imagine it. I, I, no, when you speak to people that have lost a child and I've always said this, they, they are in a, they, they joined the club they didn't ask to be in, really and truthfully. And there's many of them, and it's horrible. And they have to live the rest of their lives. The parents never were supposed to ever bury their child or lose their child. And I'm not saying that about this shot. I'm saying with past people that I've talked to and spoke about let me pull this up here so i can tell you who built this place hold on uh let's see belmont homes llc is that one there Belmont Homes LLC. You all heard of that place? Uh, if he did, he did. That's on him. You know, nobody's going away. This is not going away. I'm not going away. There's things that are going to be upcoming that's going to probably should worry people, you know. It's not a threat. It just may happen. Stuff happens, you know. It just does. Yep, that's who did build that right there. So Belmont Homes. There you go. That's the builder. I have never heard of it in my life. But that's the building. Yeah, you're not required to do that at all. You don't have to. But I will say that he did offer. He didn't have to offer. He did. I know I seen that earlier and I was cracking my butt up. But I, I need to behave. I'm like, I really need to behave. All I kept saying was, I really got to behave because it was like, man, 
he was up all night long. <laughs> That's not a lie either. <laughs> I shouldn't even laugh, but I'm laughing. But yeah, uh, <laughs> he had he had him. I think he had a little skid mark in his drawers because he had him all over the place, and it was kind of funny. <laughs> Especially when he was trying to explain why he would not, he would not be going on here. <laughs> Guilty people will lie. It's better to be honest now. Just saying. I would, I would be honest now and just, it, it's just best to just get it all out now and say what you have to say. Thank you, Miss Artsy. Love you. And I don't think that they're going to say anything like that. Or it would already be out. It would have already been told, I believe. I think they would have already said something. That's just my opinion. Again, I believe in having opinions. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Somebody said that Bullhorn Betty was going to be here too. And I said, oh my. Oh, no. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Do y'all know who Bullhorn Betty is? I agree with that, Alicia. Listen, when I heard that, I said, oh, my. Oh, no. <laughs> I did hear that about the old horn, Betty. I said, oh, my. Mm -mm -mm. Well, Brian Paula, I'm telling you, I heard that, that the bullhorn, Betty, was going to be Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes. I can't keep up. <laughs> well, I understand. I understand you can't keep up. Yes, do you know who that is, Napa? Well, I'm telling you, when I said, oh my, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Yes, it did. Originally, it did. It did. Um, from what I've been told, it is changed. Um, and I've kept up with every story. And I'm like, you know what? That didn't didn't happen like that. That's not how you said it. Oh, wow. Oh, man. I've already said that, Wanda. I don't hold back on anything. And I listen, I think that everybody's allowed to have an opinion or a thought. Not everybody's going to have the same opinion or a thought as long as you're just crowdsourcing. And that's what I call it. I call it crowdsourcing because you know what? When you toss thoughts and opinions and, and ideas around, sometimes you find the answer within that right there. Um, yeah. A lot of times you do. And sometimes you find a missing puzzle piece and you can link it. Now, if I said what I really felt, I'd probably get pushed out of here. Um, kind of kicked out of here probably. And yes, welcome, Alicia. So I won't go that far. Um, but yes, I did ask um, for uh, Step Daddy. Sure did. Sure did. 
I did ask for him to get, I mean, I just wanted five minutes, five minutes. And I was only going to ask really one question. You know what? It's sad when a weasel won't face a real woman. <laughs> it's a shame. And I'm not going to chase that jack leg all over Facebook or anywhere. Mm -mm. I'm not going to do it. I don't need to do it. I'm not going to do it. It's not worth my time to do it. Then I'm not going to argue with him all over Facebook because I've already won. He's already lied and shown who he is. Please. So I'm good on that part. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I seen that earlier because I was like, oh lordy. I seen it. Um, have you, have you not, have you seen the street at night, uh, Shannon or no? Have you seen the, the neighborhood, uh, Shannon? I'm just curious if you've seen it at night. Listen, it's pitch black out there. It's dark. Uh, let me see if I can grab a snippet and download it. But, I mean, I put some stuff on members only because, listen, I'm not about... Let's see. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. JLR cracked me up. He was chasing him all through Facebook. I thought, I'm not going to <laughs> Hello, here we go. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, I keep my lives up. I don't private anything. I don't do that. The only thing I have that I put in, like, membership and stuff like that is some stuff that I think that need, needs to be, like, if I like some of the videos and stuff like that, um, I will do that of me driving around certain areas and looking at certain things. Yeah, um, who's going to pay for that attorney? I mean, he's already got the attorney that he's having to pay for. Mexico. Oh, you're welcome, Wanda. Wanda, I mean, you know, uh, we're friends now. Um, <laughs> we are friends now. Let's see if I can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
the dolphins. Let's see. Let me see if this shows it. It's not going to show all the police. Well, See if this will help. I'm gonna try to help you, Shane. I'm, I'm doing it right now. This is when it was raining. You know what? Hell with it. You know what? We're going to help you like this right here. Hold on. I'm just going to hold the damn phone up to you. Excuse my language. because You know what? I've been doing great not cursing. But you know what? I'm going to fail a little bit tonight. I said the D word. We're going to do this one, Shannon. That way I don't have to download this mess. And I'm just going to hold this phone up to you, okay? All right, Claudia, you behave. And thank you for being here. All right, so let's see if you can see it good. Or this phone does that. All right. Don't you die. No, no, no. It's raining, so it's going to be a little. It's going to be bad. Does that give a little perspective? A little bit. Thank you, Miss Wanda. Thank you. Or no, maybe the glare. That ain't going to work either. I'm promising there's no light. No. That's actually my headlights, I promise. Let me see. All it's getting is a stupid clearance. No, it's gonna let me do that. Now, is that better? Yeah, the only thing that's still up there is the homes. That's just the homes that are lit up.
and I can give you that was the first and then we got let's see how long does this one go I put on some miles on this. And now I want this one. I've got every day. And then Knox County left in the third, because that's when they were driving out. That's when they were leaving. Let's see if you can see them leaving. That's when they were leaving. Which night? Um, uh, let's see. I'll tell you which night on that one. Uh, let's see. On the first. You're trying to get my action. Let me see. I see what you're doing there. Hold on. Well, some was later than some time. And, um. Kind of just seen it. Uh, some was maybe uh, ten o'clock. Some was eleven o'clock. Some was maybe two o'clock. Um, some was maybe three o'clock. Uh, some was at seven. Let's see. Some was it? Let's see. Let's see what else we have. See what we do. We have some early morning ones, five and six. And we got some, uh, let's see, six thirty. Got some AM footage. We got stopped until I got this much. Kept going. He's been missing for a long time. I mean, what? I wasn't gonna stop. Um, mm -mm. And we got more. This is more daytime. Let's see if you can see the daytime there. I like the street lights is I don't know I wouldn't want I couldn't live like that that's just me though he does thank you the wonder life appreciate that uh -oh, it's bedtime for Friday and Paula uh, they, I do and I'm going to go back and look at it Listen, I don't understand it. I do not understand why they would not have street lights. I don't. I really don't. When a child's missing, um, they don't have medicine. I think they do have their medicine. So, yeah, I did what I had to do. And I've got some FaceTime footage because, I mean, of course, I, there was times that I was told you shouldn't be doing that by yourself. And I thought, well, maybe you're right. So I thought, I'm on FaceTime. I'm going to do it on the FaceTime. It is, it is very dark there. I will be honest, it is dark. And I probably was a kind of a nut job for that, but I don't care. I think one is right on that right there. 
But it was pitch dark out there. It was dark. Uh, that right there is Hendersonville. Well, the uh, subdivision that's that is uh, being built right now that is right next to it, they have street lights. Mm. Yeah, I agree on that. I do. I, I don't want us to agree on it, but I mean, what am I supposed to do? Facts are what they are on some things, but I mean, I do like to hold out for hope. I just, in my feels and my feels, I just want to have that that feel of hope. Just because I need to have that feel of hope. And I still am not sure on the camera footage. I'm just not. It's a three car garage, actually. It's a three car garage. Um, you can do a, I did the, um, I mean, I, I don't care. It's public record. Anybody can do it. I did the uh, actual, um, <laughs> I did the, what do you call it? The in-home <laughs> deal. It's a nice home. I think they paid too much for it with such little land. But, uh, I mean, I took me a tour. It's free. I think we can do it together. Hold on a minute. Let me get that pulled up. Just one moment. I'll pull it up and we can just do it two together. Oh, Mona, that's not true. <laughs> that ain't true. <laughs> I promise. Yes, they are in public. Hold on. I'll get that. Yes, they are. Uh, Okay, you want to see um, the garage? Is that what you're looking at? The garage? The garage is on the side. I'm not taking it down. And some of the furniture, like I said in my prior video, they kept some of this furniture. Okay, so we're just going to, let's open up the stream yard part over here. Hold on, let me show Stain, going over here. Do a little this, a little that. Let's get all images over here. Oh, And I agree, Alicia. We've got one lady that is, uh, she, she truck drives with her husband, and they are going to be circulating some on every stop that they hit. So let's just do a little bit of this. I'm going to go all 40. They got one of those step in. What are those? The uh, safe step tubs? Come on, come on. All right. So the side is right here. See, there's three car garage right there. I think that house has been searched and searched and searched, to be honest. I think when the hounds were out there searching, that house has been searched. 
let's see. See, now the off over there is where she put herself off where her bedroom is when she said that he might have been getting his breakfast. Well, she would have walked right by him, honey. Remember, when he's getting his breakfast. You're getting your breakfast. You're walking right by. Just saying. Can't, can't pull that bull. Can't do that. Mm. Let's see. So she placed herself first. See that bathtub? Did y'all not see that safe step bathtub? It's right there. Y'all know what that is. It's a safe step bathtub. wasted space. Take us a big old tour, girls and boys. Yes, they did. Well, hold on just a minute. You know what I thought I was doing? I thought I was sharing this. Let's do that one more time. That was kind of a dumb move. Hold on just a minute. We'll go back in again. This was not very smart of it. No, hold on just a moment. Can you not hear me? You can hear me. Okay. That was not very bright. Let's do this again. <laughs> <laughs> that was not smart. I was like, what the hell of beans is going on? Uh, we're going to fix that. That was dumb of me. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I don't want the music to play. I was like, what? Y'all are not seeing what I'm seeing or am I crazy? Feeling kind of dumb. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb, I need to feel dumber. Listen, I didn't get any sleep, okay? I've been busy. Yeah, it's safe step, baby. That's like a $12,000 plus dollar tub. Now, she took herself away from that door. Remember that? I'm just saying. She did. But she put herself right there by that kitchen. Just saying. Which we don't know that for sure, Apple. Don't know that for sure because it's contradictory. Hello, chicken beans. But when she took and put herself there, right there by that uh, kitchen, well, if he was making his breakfast, Hello, what would he be doing? She'd see him. It's 
common sense. Oh, they're expensive. I wouldn't pay that for that home. That's too close to the home next door. No, ma'am. Uh-uh. No, thank you, ma'am. Not today and not tomorrow. And if we have to start calling TVI, hey, you got to hammer away somehow. Uh, sometimes you have to put the pressure on some people. It's a beautiful home. I just wish it had land. Land. Uh, yeah, the, her bedroom's right there. The bedroom's right there. Oh, I'm sure he would be sure to let everybody. Did he ever, did he pass the psychological evaluation? I need to shut my mouth. Oh God. Oh, yeah, I've already been. I've already. I'm not even going to get into that. I'm just not going to do it. Mm -mm. I'm not going to do it. Damn it. Let's see, I trust you. It is a beautiful home. I will not say it's not. It is a beautiful home. I would be a liar to say it's not a beautiful home. It is a very beautiful home. The only problem I have with that house is it's smack dab up. Listen, uh, you got to have at least, uh, in my opinion, you need at least three, two or three acres. Thank you, Wanda. I just, I'm just me. I mean, I like, I have, I mean, when I made my channel, everybody has an opinion and everybody should have a voice. So I said to people that their voice was taken, you have one here. And everybody should have, it, I don't call it, what do they call it? Uh, not speculation, but uh Whatever they're calling it, you know, people are coming up with this, this, and this. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. It's called crowdsource. It's, it's sourcing. You crowdsource. You put the stuff together. Find that missing puzzle piece. And you'll find what you're looking for. And when you get to know a family especially one that's hurting they become your family you, they and you hurt with them um yeah everybody has an opinion they have a thought i mean as long as people are kind and respectful to one another that's it i mean and if you don't like somebody just block them that way you don't have to see them that's it And we're adults. Most of us are here, or I'm sure, are all adults. And if we can't do that, then what are we teaching our kids? <laughs> now, if we were over here coming up with some off-the-wall stuff that some aliens abducted the whole family or something like that, then I would think that we all need to get some help. That's not what I'm saying we're doing at all. Crowdsourcing is a lot different. You're trying to piece together something. And when you're doing it together, you can come up with what might have been this or that. Like I said, I figured out Friday night. I wanted to know about Saturday and Sunday. And I think I've about accomplished that, I think. But I like the way that he... His father allowed him to be himself and gave him structure along with that love. He didn't treat him that certain way. He had a certain bedtime, a certain this. 
and he was allowed to be a child, you know, a 15 year old. There's no, I mean, he wasn't in the military. Shannon, some parts of me, I don't know if I, I don't know. I don't know, Shannon, if I, if I could say, um, I don't know if that's the time in my mind or not. I don't know yet. I'd like to say it is. I don't know. I agree, Alicia. I agree. He needs him home. And he allowed him to be himself. And we don't have to put a label on our children. We don't. We shouldn't have to. And he allowed him to be a child. Why are we locking down all this stuff? If we have a phone, Listen, I can understand certain aspects of locking some stuff down, but to the degree that that stuff was locked down is insane to me. I don't understand all that. I mean, a control issue, maybe? Sounds like it to me. If somebody really liked to have control of a lot and had to be in control. He didn't go outside. He couldn't have friends. When he, what did he ask for for Christmas? Friends? I want one of you all to tell me how many of your children have asked for friends for Christmas. I'll wait. I've never, I've never had a child at Ask me for friends for Christmas. It's a day that control crap is crazy. Let him be a kid. Kids are going to screw up. But like his dad said, and his daddy said that to me this morning, actually. My son is perfect. And I, cause I said, there's no perfect kid. He said, no, there is mine. And I was like, oh, crap. I stepped in that one. And I said, well, if you're going to say that, then I guess I better say mine are too. Uh, dang it. Oh, because he got me on that one. Oh, thank you, Miss Mona. Thank you very much. And I appreciate that. Thank you. But it's true. We, I mean, kids are only kids for a little while. But when he said that, I went, my God. <sighs> yeah, fish. And yeah. But that mm, fish, trust me. Uh, if I, I don't even want to say it. Did she look you in the eye when she said it? Mm -mm. And that was my other thing I was going to hit on. Let's see, I said it the, the past stream. I've already said it in the past stream what I felt happened. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, and I did say what I felt. I, I don't think that his phone, in my opinion, left Memphis. I don't think that phone left Memphis. I don't. Mm -mm. I don't think she was on the phone with him for three hours either. And I stand by my words because those are my opinions. And that's how I feel. That's what I think. Because all of a sudden, he told her to go to bed. I thought you tucked your son into bed. Because you said in the beginning you did. You said it in the beginning. Well, you know what? Not only she. He. How easy is it for somebody to leave their phone. That they are allegedly, supposedly speaking to you on. For those three hours in Memphis.
that story has changed we're on our third story y'all better get a book and start writing that crap down if you're gonna lie and if you're gonna be picasso you better paint that b the best way you can it's your painting because them lies my god you have splattered that paint and it looks like poop <sighs> Well, they're in it together. So whichever way it is, it is. There you go. Why do you do it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She tucked him in, though. I hope so, Julie. my gosh i can't handle it this right here when you know listen when a person is not lying and they're honest they speak i spoke to a grandmama and a daddy that did not waver in their truth didn't waver in their truth listen this stepdaddy wants to vet me vet me okay well vet me i told you who i was i told you exactly who i knew and how i knew them that's vetting enough that you're i'm sorry you're being harassed that's because of your own stupidity not mine you do that to yourself. Stay off the internet. Easy. It's that easy. Absolutely fish she does. My heart goes out to Seth and his family. Tucked him in my butt. Wanda, she didn't tuck nothing in. Next now, now she's hollering at him because she heard a darn noise. Next thing we know, he'll be chasing aliens. This woman, I cannot. Mm -mm. No. Yeah, and she thought he was making him some breakfast, but she would have walked right by him. Yeah. And we've got excellent puppies. They're potty trained, right? That's why he couldn't have gotten up and let them out to go to the potty. And the door would have locked by itself. The door didn't lock by itself. Anyways, you lying heifer. It does not. That's another lie. And y'all's dogs ain't potty trained because you got piss pads and a piss tray. What is wrong with y'all? Am I the one? I'm sitting here going, wait, you said your dogs are potty trained? They're on a schedule with piss pads and a piss tray? I'm confused. Y'all can help me out here. I'll listen. And I'm serious. That's not trained and scheduled. No. Nor did she ever mention anything about this growling and then the hugging. Nor did she tell us anything about, we didn't even know if this child was verbal, nonverbal, when the Amber Alert went out. Did y'all know? I didn't know. Hello, Stephanie. She didn't tell us nothing. They didn't tell us nothing. Yeah, we learned about the breakfast. I forgot. We did learn a new fact. She made breakfast. Forgot about that. You're correct. But now we've got animals, these puppies, that didn't bark the night that that this whatever time whatever happened happened they did not bark and we've got but they're trained they're on a schedule that he wouldn't have done that he wouldn't have gotten up and walked them because they're on a schedule correct uh yeah they're on a schedule but they got piss pads and a piss tray what are you talking about sir what kind of schedule and training is that? 
I'll wait. All she asked for for Christmas, their words, and he is not, and I'm, I'm going to stick with the grandma that said, that's not his father. I mean, it's not his father. Oh, he had chores, Fish. Did you not hear? Oh, he had chores. That that was a highly, uh, d just, uh, I don't even know. Like that man, I don't even know what kind of dominating thing that he was trying to pull over there, but that was too much. But no, the dogs did not bark. And how convenient they didn't bark. They're on a schedule. They're just on a schedule. <laughs> but they were in the crate. I'm just I'm just confused by a lot of things that he said in the contradictory bull crappers. Uh, and especially if those are actually and he was calling them Morkies, by the way. Morkies. I'm for real. And and, a P, and he said a piss pads and pee, a piss tray. So they wouldn't have they wouldn't have uh, done it that and he wouldn't have done it. He wouldn't have went out there and walked them. So I thought, what? Can you help me with that? But now I've heard those dogs bark. I bet they're cute. I heard those dogs bark during those interviews, but they didn't bark. At that time. Well, they those are. Well, I don't know what they're doing, Stephanie, but they must be doing it wrong, baby, because they are trained. They're on a schedule. They got piss pads and a piss tray. Yeah, that right there is 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 real disgusting um, insinuations. Um, yeah, I don't get down like that. He's trying. To, that's when you do it. That diversion crap. I don't. That is that makes me mad. That stuff like that does make me mad. Just like he lied and said he was the petitioner. No, you're the respondent. Your ex is the petitioner. I can read, sir. And you also said that you, I had those sealed, liar. I'll call you what you are. You're a liar. They're not sealed. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it's not sealed. That's the lie. Stop lying. You shouldn't lie. Oh, I bet they are adorable. I'm not saying that they're not adorable. I bet you they're the cutest can be. Yeah, I could just, that's why I said I probably won't be able to watch that, baby. I can't watch that. My mom had, yeah, my mom had two Yorkies. Oh, I know. And let me tell you, the one that she did have was a miniature, the first one. He lived to be 19. And my brother's one wife that he had aggravated that little dog. And that dog would get, he'd get her back. Now, she would act like she was going to flick his nose. And she never would do it. She would make the motion. He waited till she would turn around. And let me tell you something. He would jump up so high, he would bite her rear end. And it was like he took a bite out of crime for real. He is not playing with her. And that was the miniature one. He was bad. But he meant business. He was not playing with her. He didn't put up with nothing. And then she got another one. And Bailey lived to be a 15 or 16. But it wasn't a miniature. She wasn't. 
but she was a good girl. She was she was a she was a good baby. And now she has poodles and uh, Belgian Malinois. Mm. You know, I don't know, Shannon. I don't think that um, I don't want to say this. In English. I don't think mm, I'm gonna just go and say, it. in my opinion, I don't think that. Uh, she was cut out to be a mother and sometimes in life uh, women should be um, spayed yeah mm -hmm. and that's one that should have been spayed i said it and i mean what i said and i have a reason for why i say that and i'm gonna stand by why i'm saying it. and i don't care i'm not scared of her And I'm sure she'll know why I'm saying that as well. Some people are blessed with children. She never had to raise hers. Let that sink in. And I'm going to stand by my words. And I pray you never have another child, ma'am. And I mean that too. And of course, I do have my reasons for saying that. And people may not agree with me for what I'm saying. And I mean what I'm saying. Because I have reasons for why I'm saying it. Uh, probably, yes. Allegedly. Maybe. Sure. She's been known to do it. Why not? Uh-oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, did you ever ask yourself, how did he get with her? <laughs> Just saying. Hmm. I self-sued by rocking. That's one of my go-tos. I self-sued by rocking. I really do. That woman has not stood up and screamed from the pits of hell. Bring my baby back. Nothing. Ma'am, you show nothing. And you are disassociating yourself that far. There's something not right here. Mm -mm. Well, how about the way he said it right here? How about this? Hold on. She's never said it. She's never shown that she's got any emotion, in my opinion. No, Wayne Kitty. Let me get this one. It's a tool. It's not an entertainment device. Um, I mean, we, he had his struggles. He with had his struggles. Doing basic, simple things. Simple things. And I mean, it was a constant reminder, a constant this. And, and all three parents have been extremely positive and, and constantly trying to get him, like, hey, we got to do this, but we got to do. Question. I do have a question now. Did y'all understand that right there? Did y'all understand that right there? Did y'all understand what just happened? Y'all need to hear it one more time. I said it. I sure did. 
I said it from my chest too. I'll look you right now and say it again. With no problem. You know, is that what it's for? It's a tool. It's not an entertainment device. Um, I mean, we, he had his struggles with doing basic, simple things. And I mean, it was a constant reminder, a constant this. And, and all three parents have been extremely positive and, and constantly trying to get him like, hey, we got to do this, but we got to do. Why are you disassociating yourself like that? That, you know, you're talking in the third party, all three parents. Like he is, yes, like he's mentally uh, challenged. Like he's very mentally challenged. He was talking about the cell phones. Uh, he was talking about the phone. That's one thing he's talking about. Hello, Debbie. He was talking about the cell phone for one. Uh, and now he won't be on that cell phone, basically. I uh, wasn't being fresh, just making sure I heard right. My... Oh, I do. I've got that too, baby. I've got it too. Don't lose hope. Never give up. He talked to the third party. Did you not? He had his struggles. He had his struggles. What do you mean? He had his struggles. He had his struggles. That's the third party. And you're acting like you're not even his stepfather. All three parents. Well, three parents. It took three of y'all. She didn't raise him. Prove me wrong. I didn't invite her up for a conversation, but I guarantee neither one of them would step foot up here. I would drop a link right there because I don't have nothing to hide. I've never harmed a hair on my kid. Not even be nice. Not really. Leadfoot, where are you? I would wait for him because I'm sure he's watching. Unless he's in another Facebook site and he's arguing with somebody. I'm not scared of that dummy. You are, what, seven minutes from me? I'm not scared of you. Not scared at all. Disgusted that people aren't standing up and speaking the truth and saying things. They need to start talking. But I would give them a link right there. They could click the damn thing and we could have a conversation. I don't care. Oh, Katie. Christopher. It's talky talk. I'll talk to them. I don't care. I'll talk to them. I'll talk to them. Y'all are welcome here. I'll talk to them. I have nothing to hide. I don't. They do. They have everything to hide. Everything to hide. Acting like that they were best on best terms and best friends. Let me say this. I'll play this right here one good time. Pay attention, please. If that were the case, this sweet lady right here would never say this. The grandmother of Sebastian, Seth's mother. That's correct. And you have a message. Yeah, I do. Um, first, what I'd like to say and what I'd like to ask of everybody, podcasters, everybody is do not refer to Christopher Proudfoot as my grandson's father, dad, whatever. He is Katie Proudfoot's husband. My son, Seth Rogers, is his dad. First and foremost, and people need to quit calling Christopher his dad because he's not. Secondly, I want everybody to know that I don't play around. I'm going to turn over every rock, stone, pebble, rain 
is more home and whoever and everyone involved are prosecuted to the fullest. Do you have plans to come here to Tennessee? We, we were there for 10 days. We mm -hmm. live in, in Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, and we will be back um, when Seth wants us to come, if he needs us. Mm -hmm. uh, and certainly when Sebastian is found, we will be back. Anything you have to say? to the mother. Katie, I want my grandson found. And if you have information, I don't care who tells you not to, you need to tell what you know. And for my grandson, if he is able to hear this, Mima loves you. Papa loves you. We want you home. Oh my God. We want you home. So you can come to Texas this summer. And I do believe in Easter. Easter miracles. Oh my goodness. You. Whew. And that is. That is the grandmother here. Does grandpa want to say anything? Or does he stand by what you said? Yes. All right. Thank you. She's not playing. Did you hear what she said? That's a grandmama that meant what she said. And she said it from her soul. And I can't even get, I can't get that jack leg to click a link. I mean, why are you scared of me? I ain't going to hurt nobody. I just want to ask you one question. Just one little question. I do want him to be home. I, I do. Listen, I wish he was home. I wish that, that that right there, I think that would be amazing right there. That came from her soul and her gut. And that's why I said, whatever we talked about in between that, it, it will forever stay in between that, between us, um, between me and him and myself and, and her. I'll never say a word. Ever. Never will. Never. You know, and I, I'm even still pondering the, the possibility. What if? I mean, there's other things. What if, say, a family member on that side, meaning the, the lead foot side, what if? Just what if? What if they are hiding him? I don't know, but they could be. Sweet dreams, Shannon. I pray so. And that's my prayer right there. That is my prayer. But I think that he needs to be home, and I think that is the best outcome ever because nobody's going to stop. Nobody. There ain't a soul that's going to stop here. That's my point. I don't know. And that's that's something else. I'm just looking at all avenues for every possible thing. What if? Because, you know, it could be, well, I know he wants to be with you. But, no. I want it my way. You don't know. We don't know. Not fully and truthfully, we don't know. But it is an avenue to explore if you think about it. 
You know, that's just something I, I, mean, I kind of thought about there. Could they do it? I'm sure they probably could. I think of everything possible that, that could happen, every which way possible. Kevin, come on, kid. You know, he loved cats. Why didn't they have him a cat, a kitten, you know? A lot of things, I just sit here, let me get this cat in my, and I'm like, why didn't, you know, why didn't he have his own little baby, you know, she had her kitties, why didn't he get to have a, a or she had her puppies, why didn't he get to have a kitty, you know, he deserved that. I agree, he's going to his daddy, but, you know, if she got puppies, why didn't, why didn't. Why didn't he get to have his his own? You know, he needed a kitty. You know, he had chores. He did his chores. He did everything that they were telling him he had to do. And if kitties were what he, were his favorite and that made him happy, would you want your baby to be happy? So why didn't they give him a kitty? Just that's 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 been a question that's been in my mind. I've got a lot of questions. And I'm not saying I'm even right there on that one. I don't know. He loves kitties. So what, you don't give him a kitten? But y'all can have puppies with pee pads and friggin' pee. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> I cannot. But do you see what I'm trying to say? Pee trays and all this weird stuff. And I shouldn't even laugh at this. Well, I mean, Kevin, no, sir. I mean, and then I think, well, five marriages, you know, my goodness, that's a lot of marriages, you know, in my opinion. Not judging, no judging, I'm just saying. Uh, five is a lot. That's a lot of time. I mean, five marriages. And they didn't last long. I mean, were they all controlling and such as well? Don't know. Do any of us actually know? Yeah. Actually, it's, oh, no, hold on. It's not that. Let me get the actual date of that because I already pulled that earlier. Oh, hold on because they changed all that mess. And I think that it was used. I think his, uh, being missing was used, in my opinion, as an excuse, but I'll pull it back up. Hold on. Cat, what are you doing? Yes, nap a baby. Yes, honey. And those were quick. Uh, no. Uh, actually, her name is on the deed first. Um, if you're talking about um, Leadfoot and company, um, her name is on first. They got a uh, VA loan because they were both in. Not really. I mean, he likes, I mean, he has flashlights. Who doesn't have a flashlight? My kids had flashlights. Um, he has a flashlight at his dad's house. I mean, it's not that he, like, has a, a love life with a flashlight and has to have one. But just because the flashlight's not in the room because she doesn't see the flashlight um, doesn't mean that he was with the flashlight. Does that make sense? I don't know. That's just like um, he just told us about the money that was found after a week of him being missing, um, that he had stashed. That was cash. And, uh, I'm sorry. You, oh, I don't even want to get started on these daggone cameras because that's going to pee me off bad. Ugh. Oh, God. Um, 
Yeah, you don't have cameras in your home, but you got them outside. You're, you know what, sir? You're weird. You're really not normal. Uh, yeah, I've, I've tried to go through that and just go, what? But this right here, is it this? Yeah. I'm not reading that out loud because I don't like the words, and I won't. But that right there is what led me to what I was looking for. And that was when I went, what in the world? That's when I did that right there. But let me go pull that real quick. She claimed it, but she said that the only reason that she said it, if you recall, is because, remember, if you remember, it wasn't in his room because she didn't find it in his room. It wasn't because she knew for a hundred percent fact it wasn't there though she said she didn't see it in his room well that doesn't mean it wasn't there you can't say just because you didn't find it it wasn't there did you look did you really look i mean there's a lot of things i could say you know did you really? Did, I, mean, I don't know. I can't say for a fact. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Let me pull this thing back up. Um, listen, I don't know about that because I'm still, I'm still with that footage. I'm still sorry <sighs> on that footage. I'm sorry. I'm still in my bottom of my gut. I don't know. I'm not dismissing that footage. Sorry. But that footage, I'm still not going to dismiss it because something about footage makes me think I don't know I don't know what to say um, they could tell you anything but I just mm, especially when you see that full part and then you scale it out mm, I don't know I don't know and I think I'm with you I don't think he has one either I don't think you ever had one. All right, hold on. Let me put this right here. Well, thank you, Alicia. Look at this. Come on. Oh, here we go. Petitioner is, and I'm not going to dox that woman, her respondent is him. Hmm. Just saying. Oh, so let's go through this. Yeah, and if you remember listening to his dad. He would never have went out there without those shoes. All right. So we got three twenty one. We're going to have a Zoom and vacating hearing on three five that's been reset for four eighteen at eight thirty on Zoom. So like I said, it's been reset to four eighteen. And it 
vou bem via Zoom. It is a public hearing. Well, Wanda, sometimes it's not a bad thing, honey. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> sometimes it's not a bad thing, Wanda, to, to go to court. It's not, Wanda. Um, Mm. Mm, mm, mm. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it's not always a bad thing, Wanda. Well, I mean, sometimes, you know, um, if you think about it, you know, well, Napa, ah, let me think about this for a minute. <laughs> well, Napa. <laughs> Sometimes it's okay, Napa. But I don't know if they're actually, um, who knows what's going to happen here. We don't know exactly what's going to happen. Let me see what else we got here. Let me find it. Uh, doo -doo. We got the special master. About respondent, we have the affidavit of Miss Proudfoot. We have the emergency ex parte motion for modification of custody and psychological evaluation. Oh, this has been going on for too long. Just throw them all out, but hold on, let me look at this real quick. Oh, I wouldn't really throw them out well. And they reopened that there. And that was the petitioner that reopened it. He had to take a 12 hour high conflict behavioral skill training. Let's see. He had to also do um, certificate of parenting skills in high conflict. What in the world is all this mess? A lot of orders on this. Uh, I don't think he does. You know what we need to find out? Let's do this. We need to find out what you got over here.
Um, on that, Alicia, I don't know, but I think that um, I think that something's going. I don't know. Something's going to be happening at some point, though. In my opinion, uh, that'll be kind of checking things out in areas. I don't know when, but I'm pretty sure that it'll be at some point. You know, and when you have family that have property because they might, might be builders and stuff like that, then they own things too. It's also beneficial to do the same there. Yeah, I think that uh, some things they just aren't going to say it out loud like that. That's just my personal opinion when it comes to that right there. They're not going to say it out loud. So over here, that's disposed. I think Christopher, you owe fourteen dollars. Is your balance due? Um, let me see on your filing uh, for your divorce. Here, just let you know, sir. Summer County, by the way. I would say you probably need to pay that $14. <laughs> it's not too bad, buddy. It's due. You need to make that payment. But I'm just being real. He owes fourteen dollars. He should pay it. You don't go on there trying to get you a divorce and don't pay it. That's ridiculous. Pay up. He owes fourteen dollars from twenty seventeen. He needs to pay his fourteen dollars. I don't care. He's paying it. Pay that fourteen dollars. Now let's see what else you got here, bud. All right, let me check though. Should be going around here not paying that. It's ridiculous. Huh. Won't pay this fourteen dollars. Y'all better let him know he owes that $14. That's not a joke. It's for real. He's got to pay it. Be okay on that, there, buddy. So if you owe that fourteen dollars, damn shame you won't pay your fourteen dollars. Napa, can you give him fourteen dollars? 
2017, I think. Hold on, let me pull that back up. He owes it. He got to pay it. It's that round foot. <laughs> Your balance due is fourteen dollars. Let me see if I hit make a payment and see it. Please note the balances are updated daily. I am paying that for you. Okay. Your last pay date was on November 16, 2017. You need to pay that fourteen dollars. Try to help him out. I don't care. Okay, so there's that. So there's about all there there is on that. Let me see if I can get that there. So that's about all there is. Let's see if there's anything else. Paying you stuff. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, and paper clips. <laughs> I've got that comment, by the way. I, I've already read that comment. Hold on. Let me read the comment again. I've read that comment. You can erase it, but it doesn't go away forever because I already got it. Hold on. That, that comment was the dumbest crap I think I'd ever read. I would never, ever put something like that out there. And, yeah. Law enforcement said I cannot. Okay, let me see. I did not tell you that. I guarantee you did not say that. Here it is with them dogs. No, man, the dogs are on a schedule, and they also have potty pads and trays in their pen. Or dogs are small morkies. And I repeat, or dogs are small morkies. When it comes to the locks on my door, that is something that will not be answered due to ongoing investigation. Oh, Kudoki. Yes, I got that one, too. Hold on just a minute. The semen, yeah. I've 
got so many screenshots of getting hits. All right, here we go. Yes, I am confirming that the dogs had a scent that led to the construction site. No signs or evidence reveals Sebastian was there. Please keep in mind that dog tracking isn't as credible as you think. Wow. Okay. The idea that someone hurt Sebastian and threw... Sir, you spelled through T H R O U G H. Please. And threw him into a wet, fresh paved driveway. It's funny. Really? Okay. To bury a body in concrete, it would need to be at least 12 inches thick. Secondly, you have to smooth out the concrete and finish it before it's dried. All of that is done while the concrete is poured and being set. Really? That's weird. Who says stuff like that? I've never even thought to think about concrete. That's the concrete crap. That's when he's talking about the concrete. And not all there. What? Um, I'm good. I don't want nothing from him. Yeah. I'm going to pass. No relationship advice. I think I'd become a nun first. Appreciate it, but no, no deal. Mm -mm. <laughs> I would never. It's an embarrassment. I don't know, Napa. That was my question. Why do you know that? And how? Who? What? When? Where? Why? Why? Yes. And I, I mean, I would never write anything like that, period. I wouldn't even think to be writing that crap because it wouldn't even cross my mind to even think about that. I wouldn't have that in my head. It's not even thought processing in my mind to think that way. But you just gave all that mess. I'm like, what? Sir. You are you know, <laughs> got me perturbed a little bit. Welcome to lab. Uh, that's the wackiest, just scariest um, I don't know how I what to call that but that is not normal that that is really um that's something that, that would terrify me, to think that somebody would put that crap there that come from somebody's actual fingers and thoughts in their brain well what what the what they have there no no thing I hope they checked every Dollar General store, every Fred for a burner phone because I bet you he bought a $10 burner phone like he was a DB survivor. Get now. Um, just saying the truth, in my opinion. And got him a cheap little $10 card to make it to that driveway. And I said what I said. Welcome, Ava. That's one sweet lady, and boy, is she strong. I enjoy speaking with her. She said what she said. And she did not back down from what she said. I don't think he researched that cat. I think that just come right up out of his, his fingers. That was what he typed. That come right on up out of there like nobody's business. That man, 
was up all night arguing and answering mud on Facebook. Why are you so intrigued and fascinated? I, I'm, sir, <laughs> you are arguing with strangers on Facebook. <laughs> Because they're calling you out on your lies and you are becoming unhinged. And it shows. And you know what? You sealed it for yourself. Yeah. Just tell them that you just got just tell them what you gotta tell them. I mean, I'm not dumb to what they're probably doing. I'm not playing that game with these people. They got them a little ten dollar flip phone, a little burner. Down there to the Fred's or the Dollar General store. Got him a $10 car. And that's what they seem to have done. Listen, he does. Um, that right there, I understand why his, his dad says that. His dad said that due to the fact of you don't want to contaminate what could be DNA evidence. I got why he said that. Exactly why Seth said that. Don't let him out of your sight. Absolutely not. You can give him a blanket, but you get law enforcement involved really quick. I do understand why he said that. Have you seen crime scenes? actual crime scenes that have been contaminated because people have done the wrong thing even people that are well in law enforcement and they've screwed it all up didn't even properly bag a hand or two hands or scrape it under their nails or do a r kit I have. And you can't go back and get that back. You don't get it back. Once it's done, it's done. I knew exactly why he said that. I have a reason. I got why he said that. Oh my God, Kat. No, she don't. Oh, be right back. After hell work. <laughs> yes, and I can't wait to watch it. Well, no, the next thing that's going to happen, Stephanie, is the next, the fourth story is they were abducted by aliens. No, listen, I know he can't eat. I know he can't. I spoke to him for a long time. Uh, oh, what? I knew you were going to. Oh, God. No, I have not, and I will tomorrow. I just am not hungry right now because I'm too busy. I'm just busy. Oh, no. No. Yeah, and I, and I understand that. I get, and I do, but, and I get it, he can't swallow, and I do, I understand that. I know it's tomorrow, I know. I know. I know. I know. Oh, did you have to? Thanks. I had coffee. 
black coffee. Well, Lab, do you want to come up and explain a little bit of it or no? I know it's tomorrow, Wanda. I'll get it. I'll drop the link. I was trying to get uh, Flatfoot up here, but he won't answer me a question, so I don't want to talk to him. I wish he would. Oh, listen, Alicia. I'm kind of known for long streams, honestly. I know I'm horrible, but I'm really known for long streams, and I've kind of started cutting them down a lot lately. A whole lot. But this one here. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, it just. You don't stop. I don't think you can stop. So I get it. All right, baby. Thank you, Apple. And I do, I get it. And I want y'all to know that his, uh, I did put the uh, GoFundMe on there. It's on my community wall. Just in case anybody wants to donate. It does. And when you're local, you're local. When you're here, you're here. Thank y'all for donating to him. Cat falls asleep outside. She actually does. She can sleep. Let me ask. Oh, are they still here? Is the lab still here? The lab. The lab, the lab, the lab. What what did they think about these individuals? What's their take on this? I want to know. Tracy, I'll play it again if you want me to.
mother of Sebastian, Seth's mother. That's correct. And you have a message. Yeah, I do. Um, first, what I'd like to say and what I'd like to ask of everybody, podcasters, everybody, is do not refer to Christopher Proudfoot as my grandson's father, dad, whatever. He is Kate Proudfoot. My son, Seth Rogers, is his dad. First and foremost, and people need to quit calling Christopher his dad because he's not. Secondly, I want everybody to know that I don't play around. I'm going to turn over every rock, stone, pebble, rain of sand until my grandson is brought home and whoever and everyone involved are prosecuted I love to the fullest. Do you have plans to come here to Tennessee? We, we were there for 10 days. We mm -hmm. live in, in Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, and we will be back uh, when Seth wants us to come. If he needs us, mm -hmm. uh, and certainly when Sebastian is found, we will be back. Anything you have to say to the mother? Katie, I want my friends and best. And if you have information, I don't care who tells you not to. You need to tell what you know. I do believe in Easter. Easter miracles. Oh my goodness! You yeah. and that is that is the grandmother here. Does Grandpa want to say anything, or does he stand by what you said? Yes. All right. Thank you. She said that from her whole chest. She didn't squint or blink. She meant what she said. She said she said some more things. And she meant what she said. And I hope they heard that. All of it. She's trying to keep us safe. Have a good night, Alicia. Yes, it's off of six. Yes, that's correct, brother. That's where it is. You've seen it. I would say that it's not easy. I, I can't even place myself there. I, I don't even know how you could try to transition into that. And, and put yourself into that place. You can't. You can't. All he's asked for, listen, is to please put the flyers out for the TV out. Put them out there. You know, get them out there. Keep putting them out there. 
and I've got it up at the it's pinned at the top and you can uh, Google I think it map it to where you're putting it now I guess where you're not overlapping and that is like a big help right there that's a huge help a major one A major one. It's an. It's for. Um, it's a. It's a, a sex offender registry um, for people that do bad things. Uh, we have those here, um, Mona. Um, I don't know if they have them in your country, but they do those things to children. I don't want to think like that, but I. I need to look that up too. I'm looking, I'm going right now, I'm headed that way. Yeah, unfortunately, it have Mona. It happens everywhere. You might not know it, but in your country, I'm sure that you have the same. Um, I read something, but I didn't know if it was confirmed. But I want to go look now. Now, of course, I'm interested to see if this is what it is, and it probably might be. There's one there. Oh my no. No. Personally, no. I don't.
I'm reading some of these charges. I, I'm looking at them, baby. Um, okay. These people look scary as crap. I'm sorry. It scares them. They scare me. They look scary. And they have been quiet. That is a fact. They have been very quiet. That's not a lie. That's true. Yeah, he was on this panel for a long time. I was hoping that man would... I was hoping he would get some sleep. <laughs> but he knows he's welcome here. I welcome everybody. This is home. Always will be. Whisper, whisper, why not? Hello, Smiley Story. I'm not, yeah, I'm not saying, yeah, I don't believe that part. I don't think that he walked out the door. That's my opinion, of course. That's just my opinion. I've always said that's my opinion. I don't want anybody to misconstrue anything because I, I just, it's my opinion. Sweet dreams, Alicia. You have a good night, sweetie. So we do have one that's going to show up. Yeah. Um, I know that uh, someone that I'm very close to, uh, I'm just going to say that uh, they would never, uh, just because that's, that's who they are, and they would never leave without their shoes on. It's just, I think a texture part of them and, and their function, and they would never go out without their shoes. And the one thing is, I can't speak for Sebastian. I can only speak what I, I feel from what I've heard. And I feel like in my heart of hearts is the factual truth. 
I don't think that his family, as far as his father nor his grandmother, would like. I think that they've been the most honest out of everybody that that has spoke. They haven't had to flinch or go up or make up, you know, some outlandish Picasso painting they've done slung crap on at all. They haven't had to lie because their story hasn't changed and it hasn't wavered. Period. When you've got three and four different narratives running and you're adding to it, listen, y'all are spinning stuff that doesn't make any sense. That's my same question, Tracy. I wish I understood. Why, why does she not? I don't understand that either. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I wish I did. I would think that if you're working there, that um, you would get three as far as I was under the and understanding when you work for a, a security system place of any sort like that, you get free security systems like, you know, for your home, home security. That didn't pass by me either. You're, you're getting free stuff like that. But you're not getting it. Or you don't want to use it. I don't know. Because now that's changed as well. No, your story just it stays the same. You know? And you don't speak of your child in the past tense. And, and the, you don't speak of yourself in the third party. You know? None of that stuff. That yes, no, yes. <laughs> does not make any sense on that right there. I'm not buying into that. Mm -mm. Truth never changes. You are right. The truth never changes. Never does. There you go, Wanda. I'll be right back. You got it, Wanda. You said it. And you're a one family home income. We're going to do Wanda later. We're going to do a piece of For ADT, yes, they should that in the two year footage. What is it, two years of footage there? Right. Oh. 
in my opinion, you can't. That's how I feel. Because he wouldn't know anything. Am I wrong? On that. I think that they did say that. Um, I do believe that they did say that um, there is proof of that, I believe. Yeah, he's put he he literally. I, I'm I'm sure he is spent, but he he answered. Oh my gosh! I don't think he missed anything. And I know that he was spent. He was here for at least five hours. I would be scared. I'm going to be honest. Now, I'm going to say because runner, because when you say runner, right? That scares me on that part right there. When you say that, you know that. It would make me probably want to kind of set up maybe some kind of, I don't know, security to kind of make sure that, you know, because my brother's little boy is a runner. So I would want to make sure that I had something in, in place, something some kind of system. But see, Sebastian's not a runner. He's not. Plus, he's verbal. He speaks. Yes, many prayers. Let's see. Yes, thank you for studying. Now, how many locals do we have? Or do we have any locals left? Any locals left? It's okay if we don't. I'm just wondering if we have any locals left. You're Alabama. You're Alabama. Let's see. Yeah, Alabama. Else we got. What other states do we have? I don't think anybody followed anybody. That's just my personal opinion. I 
I don't think that anybody followed anybody home. True. Go to spell and do it. You local butter? Well, I know you're California, cat. Absolutely. I mean, and it is worldwide, it's all over the place. That's honest truth. <laughs> That is true. Oh, we've got Australia still. We still have Australia here. <laughs> we still have Australia here. Australia is still in the house. I would think so, Kat. I would. I would literally think so. I agree. Yep, we've got Apple is Australia. What else do we have? Okay, butter, I think butter's saying that they are, butter is local here, I think. Yeah, we have us an Aussie, we, actually in Bella Marie, that she's not here, but she's an Aussie too. Now, is the Australia person still in here? Besides apple that has snakes in the yard. Just kidding. <laughs> yes. It's on the my community page here on YouTube. I do have the GoFundMe link posted for anyone that would like to show their support while he is still searching for his baby. He's not alone in that search. He is never going to be alone in that search. Good morning. Welcome back, Red Wings. It is amazing. Let's see who else do we have. Yes, Bella Marie. I gotta find Bella. Do the bug Tom. Awesome. Uh, you know, my uh, Papa Fred lived in Thompson Station. And I still have family out there. That's awesome. And it's actually beautiful out there, to be honest. And I've got a thing for your cat, cat too. I gotta look at that cat again. Sorry. I do have a thing for cats. Not like that, but you know what I'm saying. So I have to put it up there where I can see it. Really good. <laughs> Anybody that knows me can look at my shorts on here and know that I have a thing <laughs> for cats. I'm not the only one though. 
Oh. Yes, Apple. Oh, my God. Uh, Doodlebug, have you seen my kitty? Kathy. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, you got a pretty kitty, too. Gabby. Gabby. The Wanda life. Wanda is Australia. Y'all gonna have me all confused. But I do like that cat. Wanda's Wisconsin. You're a cheese head. Oh. oh. I don't want to get off topic about my kitties. A lot of love, but I'm just saying. Oh. I have my own cat. I have my own cat. Napa's got a, a plethora of kids. She has hers, too. She has one cat that does weird stuff, and you'll have to discuss that with her she has a cat that smacks its head around on the, the wall or something what does your cat do again by the way it slams its head around i think it's neurological i don't know it's it's a pretty cat though i can't remember i forgot yes i got well i need to be quiet Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Let's see. Yes, you're a cheese head. Got it. Okay. So we're, we really are around the world here. And to think that one little boy has brought well, a lot of people together. See if I can download right here. Hold on. Let me see if I can get my life. Yes, her cat's a headbanger. Hold on. Hold on.
I'm gonna make sure there's anybody in here that does not wish to see the camera footage. If they don't, let me know. Kevin, I'm sorry. Yes, thank you, Seth. Yes, share the info. Gotta pay attention. On this one. Give me just a minute and I will show him. I wonder if this is going to be too big.
go this way. Oh, I do. I do. All right. Now, remember, that base point is three days off. Yeah, I'm not going to do this. Now, okay, that right there is uh, the homes that are being built there. does look like individuals there. I cannot discount that does look like two people right there. If you look right there, right there. To me, it does. I can't discount that that looks like people or I'm crazy. exactly where they are right there that's not, i know where those vehicles are okay that's the home where they reside and then there's that camera see that shot i kind of see that there's merit to this and maybe i'm crazy hell i don't know anymore but i mean if you can't see that there is a camera there which they did a good job putting that. Let me see something else here. Hold on. Let me go back over here for a minute. Y'all, do y'all see what I see? people um i might be a little nuts uh here and there and, and corny that's people
Oh, that's the protocol that. Oh. Hey. Hold on one second. This is the receipt there. That sweet boy. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Let's just tell Sir here. Oh, we can look through. They pulled that from that camera. I'll show you all these real quick before we go back. Alright, hold on real fast. Um, I'm confused by that too because it's new. So that's something that doesn't even make sense to me to be honest. I don't think they're releasing that identity because I don't think they know who that is. Just saying. Now, of course, they know who the footage is. Uh, hold on, and I'm right here. Hold on just a second.
Yeah, that's what's kind of confusing there. Right, I have that one. That one's left. That one's left. Let's see. That one's left. That one's left. See, that one's left. Another one of those. That one and that one, and then I have a couple of more that I haven't posted. You're doing the work, but you need to stop and go to bed. See, I never heard that right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I do ship, by the way. But why is she just now saying that now? I'm going to have to go back through all of her inconsistencies again. She mentioned the door lock, not in trouble. Oh, I can't find that. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, that's my thing. I, I never heard that. We could all go back and um, we could all go back and do this all over again to the beginning of these interviews. I know I've done that before. I'm just saying but we could and contradict each one because all the crap that's been added to it's got to stop at some point i thought she was falling asleep at that time on the couch I'm going to be chasing another, I'm going to be, going to be in a rabbit hole again tonight, just looking things up and trying to piece this together. I have not either, Napa. I've never heard the story, and I, I just, I, I haven't. And that does bother me a lot. Because you've got passionate people that love this child. That's their son, grandson. Listen, nothing's changed if they said they're still looking. These people haven't done anything. They stayed at the house. That's not normal. I agree, Apple. And yeah, I don't know. Um, I could say, oh, well, she's a hard sleeper. Ah, mm -mm. you're a mama. Listen, hard sleeper or not, when you're a mom, <laughs> that goes out the door, out the window, and everywhere else. Because when you're a mom, you start sleeping real light. No idea. But like I said, I stand by what I did say. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And I, the fact that who was responsible for him at that time, I can bet one person that I will stand up and say, I bet him. That's his father. My point right there, what you just said, that's my point right there. It's over when you have babies because it's no longer about you. It's not, it's not about you anymore. I hear everything. You ain't getting by me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I think I'm going to do some little snippets and piece some things together to try to put this the way I think it needs to be. I'm going to figure it out. Listen, I, I, I tried. If I could, I would. Uh, I kind of asked that right there to myself because I was trying to figure out, wait a minute, he got off that bus on a Friday, reported on Saturday. I started through Monday. I'm sorry. That's a long time. But then I had to start asking questions and start crowdsourcing, as I say, crowdsourcing. And I did to see who seen him this day. You know, when was he seen on this day? Because you have to ask the hard question. And am I a law enforcement? No, I'm not. But I am a mother. And you know what? Sebastian is somebody's son, grandson. He is a child. He's a human being. And I would pray to God, if this was my daughter, y'all would be doing the same thing right here. And I say, I say that and I stand by every word on that part. Rapper, don't you start. Do you even know how to spell today, buddy? Uh, my thing about the Costco was, um, well, how BJ's was thrown in and the date was changed. If that makes sense. Hello, Meta Mom. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. You know, as far as um, it was a Sunday for uh, Costco, then it changed to Saturday. And then we added BJ's. Do y'all recall that? How that flipped or no? He wouldn't. In my opinion. That is just in my opinion. I guess I'm going to spend some time piecing that together a little bit here and there and going back through that and seeing if I can try to figure out every little different story. Whew, I, uh, that's going to drive me crazy. I don't believe that, that I don't believe that, that that's what happened. I just don't. I think that he was eating pizza there. If I'm not mistaken. I think 
got the right. <coughs> I think everybody has a right to uh, have their thought. I believe in crowdsourcing. I do. I'm not going to change that. It's not a strange case. It's a, it's just it's I, I don't want to say strange. It, it, I, I can't say strange because I guess I've never lost a child. I can't say strange because the only thing that's strange is the lies. Sorry, that's what's strange. The fact that you've lied <clears throat> more than once. And and that's what's strange. Sorry, but that is what's strange to me. Um, otherwise, that, that's what I find the strange part of this. It's that part. All right, Apple, my friend. Oh, my sister. Oh, my gosh, I didn't realize it was that late. Oh, we were getting this way. Oh. Here we are. And it looks like that he has gotten some great donations. And I'm thankful for that. And I know he's going to be really thankful, too. Because this right here will help him be able to continue to keep searching for his child and actually still be able to pay his bills. And I guarantee you, he and his family will be very appreciative. He should have been picked up on the cameras. If they had cameras, and I do have, hold on. You know what? That's strange. Let me grab that. Because there was... Hold on. Let me get this one clip I do have. Yeah, he has gotten some nice donations. And I know that he's going to appreciate that. And it will help him a lot. Because you have to remember his own mental health. Especially with the job that he does. You know. This is nothing that he's doing to gain from it. This is to survive while he's searching for his baby. But let me find and get this real quick. That one has my heart broken, actually. I met a mom as well. Um, Madeline, I, I, I already got my theory on that. And Riley, I it's just all, it's all across the board, but you can't, I mean, I got to finish one and then finish, and then I have to have that finish. Oh no, I have done some videos, if you want to look at them, and I'm going to start, like I said, I've added I said, I've got one. I'm going to start continue putting on my members only some of my driving around like a lunatic probably when, well, he was, when my Sebastian was first, you know, reported that he was missing that, that Amber Alert, I did what that they said we should do. It is very sad. You should see what's already on the Amber Alert that's still there. It's been there for over 13 years. But I think that we can make a difference. Let me find that one. Let me grab it. This one, let me 
Let's see, it's this one. Now, can y'all read that right there? All my members, but uh, let me see if I can find that thing. I always have a problem with that thing. Do y'all remember this right here? If you read that, they were supposed to be cleaning that up. Thank you, Napa. Put that right there. So they said that they have footage right there. They say it. They were supposed to be getting that cleaned up right there. It faces the front of their house. She said it was too dark to see anything, but she knows he didn't come out of the side of their home, their house. Their floodlights shine down on that door. Oh my gosh, Napa, 15 months I've dealt with you. Thank you. I'm actually coming up on my two years soon. Can you believe it? To the ones that said I'd never be anything. Here I am. That's, well, there is something wrong, Butter. There is. You are right. You don't, you can scream it. I allow it. Say it. Say it loud and proud because it's disgusting that we have so many people TBI, you have to do better. Mm -hmm. That says enough right there. And that was there in the beginning, if you remember. I appreciate that, Apple. I think sometimes it's you got to believe in yourself. And there was a time that I don't think I did. But that right there spoke to me. So there's that one. Oh, gosh. Oh. Um, you know what? Here's what I'll say, Tracy. And I'll say this. I believe Seth before any of those I'll say that just like they one of them took a lie detector test between the two of them uh, he said it was him and all of a sudden it wasn't right welcome to members Wanda and thank you for joining and supporting this channel and keeping it going thank you very much I appreciate that I really do more than you probably know I really do um I think I trust Seth and I would trust his mother's word before anybody belonged into that circle. Yeah. Do I believe that? I don't know. I think there's some sketchy stuff going on with that because then I have to think about, I know that uh, Nick put it out on one of those sites as well. Uh, uh, yeah, Seth was, as he said earlier on here, um, 
he he offered to take one himself. He offered on his own accord. Um, yeah. He offered, and he hasn't taken more. Um, so you've got, well, I don't know. Do I believe anybody's probably taken one? I don't believe the others who have taken one. No, I don't. But if they have, they have. Do I believe it? No, I don't. Because I think that he just says things for shock value at sometimes. I don't know. Because at this point, uh, he's just, yeah. He likes attention. See, that's kind of what I thought right there. But I have to remember some things, though, now. Hold on just a minute. Like, where it's at in Summer County. I see. See, I went ahead and said it. Uh, Summer County. So I, I said it. I said it. Uh, I don't believe they would pass. I'm going to agree with you. I don't believe they would. I don't. I think they like the shock value. Yep, that's correct, Napa. Come on, Bubba. Come on. Oh my goodness, what? So you're gonna have those attention seekers, and I think that, that maybe he liked attention as a as a young and I don't know. Or maybe he needed to thank it or something. I know. Let I me mean, help him. Come on, buddy. You gotta stop. You gotta stop it. So, no, I don't believe that they did, and I don't believe that if they had, that that would be put out like that, or they, I, or they would have put that out, right? And he said, "Shit, the DVI thing. Where is it? Because if you can find it on there, I'll be glad to actually look at and read the whole thing through." And I will. Yeah, here he is. Here. Here. Say hi. Hi. You want some sugar? You want some sugar? Yeah. You know what he wants. I'll do it in a minute. He will come back. Um, We'll be through this in just a minute. This is ridiculous. So, yeah, he'll be back. It's all for this. It's ridiculous. But uh, I'm going to go back and grab this up. <laughs> it's just for this. He wants some of this. Oh, my God. You don't belong here right here. No, this is my dinner. Remember we had to talk? I'm going to show... Um, or something. I gotta talk to you. No, no, no. You're not. You don't play here. Um, here, look at them. Look at them real quick before I can talk. Look at, look at them real quick before I can talk. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Okay, here, 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 here. No, no. He wants to tell y'all. This is ridiculous. This cat. I know. I'm sorry. He likes it. He likes it. All right, so we're, we're done for now. Okay, so we can get back to this. He's got his cheese. Oh, good. Okay, he has cheese. Okay, let's get back to this. So let's go back to those. Good Lord, how much? Okay, let me go back to those. Where did I find those? He loves string cheese. Okay, we 
got that. We got that. What was that one? What is a hard question you want to ask? Now that, I believe, he was on McBarris's page, writing his mess. Okay. You remember this, anybody? Now, I did show the front door. I'm not going to lie. I did. It might have changed by now. Because to me, if you look at that door, that's a storm door, two locks. Then the other door. That's a lot of doors to get through. Just off the front. It's not bad. Okay. That's that. Yes, it is. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Okay, we got that. Let's go to the next one. Yes, that was when the home was up for sale. That was when it was up for sale. No, they're not. And that was my other thing right there. Okay, let's get to the next one. Yes, they are. And that's my thing. Those, that's two locks. And remember, he's not 120 pounds. He's more around 100, 100 and 506. y'all want to talk about TBI, what they had to say. Okay. They say numerous search warrants have been ex executed. Let me see if they say anything about this other stuff. Cell phone data has been analyzed and any other 
available digital evidence has been collected, searched, and documented. Information was collected from Sebastian's gaming system and has been analyzed. With help from the FBI, vehicles that were placed in the area at or around the time of Sebastian's disappearance have been accounted for. These videos and all the electronic evidence that has already been reviewed is often also being reinvestigated. And that is what that says. That's the system they're using. They are too bad. I see it. That's that right there. Oh, no. Is it bad? Gosh, I'm scared. I didn't. How bad? Yes, can you give a summary? He might not be listening. Do you know anything about StreamYard, Wanda? No, Kevin. She say it was. Peter. Uh, it's Peter. I. Twitter. And it's Peter Hyatt. Did she say Peter Hyatt? hours ago this was a rhetorical question posed by stepfather it did not come from the interviewer nor the audience audience member asked about meltdowns a word stepfather used previously and it was stepfather that posed this question in his own wording. Wow. In their bro, in their bro, 
put in their silence media interview. Oh my goodness. The stepfather and mother used coordinated language. This suggests a delay in reporting him missing. Likely discussed in the link. Oh my God. I see the videos. Phone calls. And the recent live stream is the same. Both know why Sebastian needs to get away from them. Sebastian's Is it the one that says 7.59 a.m.? What time is it where you are? Okay. The withheld information from the mother is about a significant argument altercation due to an autistic behavior, perhaps associated with puberty. Mom called stepdad, who either put Sebastian out without shoes or, or demanded mom to call his bluff. If Sebastian threatened to leave, lock the door. Mom fell asleep, explored for alcohol, drugs, Rx, woke up to panic that he didn't return. I think she locked the door, not Sebastian. They talked for hours and decided to go on, the, went to wake him up. 6 a.m. for school story. Oh my goodness. The I love you mom inclusion in her story is a betrayal. She wants to be viewed as a good mom, which signals guilt. Um, I agree. This is bad. Stepfather is very distant. Avoid Sebastian's name. Given the status of missing, this is most unex well, this is most unexpected. Mother uses we and us repeatedly, which due to the extremity of the context of missing is unexpected. Maternal instinct is powerful. Expected is I, as that instinct takes over. The need to share a is normal in step parenting language, but it is not normal under this extremity. Good morning, my sweet kids. Stepfather is highly defensive and avoided Sebastian's name. I don't think it was a good relationship. This is also this is this this is a hypothetical. This is his, this man here. So I'm not going to put an allege on any of this part. I'm not because it's not my alleged. It's this person's. I'm reading what I'm found on here and he looks credible on what he's doing. Mm -mm. 
putting it out as he states it. I will not. I'm saying it as it's stated. Now that he's speaking out more, the priority remains on defending himself. This isn't normal. And I believe that that's correct. It's not Because it's not about you, Leadfoot. This may explain why no, be on the lookout, description from them was immediate as well as the waiting a week to break their silence expected. Parents immediately give a physical description including specific behaviors of a special needs child. They did it. And they did it. As to the polygraph, it's important to know what questions were posed. Do you know where Sebastian is? Did you harm Sebastian? Instead, using the subject's own language, I'd focus on that afternoon through the night before reading him missing, or reporting him missing. Sorry. If this hypothesis is inaccurate, is accurate, sorry, getting all choked up, it indicates that there was not intent to harm him. In that language, oh God, it's guilt, but it's not in a vacuum. It is coupled with distance in language. This is so true. It is not ordinary guilt. Both mother and stepfather have a need to persuade that all was rosy with signals that it wasn't. If Sebastian's alive, mother and stepfather may have concerns as to what he was saying. Was he afraid of stepfather? Was the stepfather capable of handling behaviors or was he abusive? Did his mother like him? I believe they dealt with very difficult behaviors and that the social isolation may have been beyond their control as behavioral issues were the cause. Some parents may have not wanted their children with Sebastian. Consider the stepfather's statement about all the friends who will be present when Sebastian comes home. Well, they both said that. The stepfather and the mother. The public statement to him asked first by the interviewer. You're not in any trouble, suggests, along with the portrayal of how great the night was that there was significant trouble. Something precipitated Sebastian going out the door, and this emphasis by the mother and stepfather may indicate that they know this to be true rather than just believing he walked out the door, but not truthful about what happened to cause him to leave. Are you thinking the mom might have meant to unlock the door for him at some point and fell asleep? Possibly, but what if stepfather on the long phone call insisted otherwise? It's unusual for a mother of a missing child to use the pronoun I and Sebastian's name so in I, that you're, well, they continue, Kales, to say, you're not in trouble. Huh? You're not in trouble. Why would he be in trouble? But here's this, Peter. What if she's not very maternal in any ways and never was? How about that, Peter? Just saying. Never know. Well, about Mama B, he's actually, they kind of delayed that because I believe he got it delayed due to Sebastian being missing. So it's going to roll over into the next month. Sadly. Yeah, if we were fighting, what did y'all fight all the time? Mm -hmm. 
And this man does have a control issue. I'm sorry, I think he does. And it's awful weird. His dad didn't have these issues with him. They had a total different relationship. He let him be a kid. He wasn't on lockdown like he was in the army. Not that being in the army is a bad thing, but he's a child. He's still a kid. Classic language of manipulative control abuser beginning at one hour and 20 minutes. Stepfather's language gives insight to the life. Let's see what this man does. So has he done any stuff on YouTube about this? Yes. That's my point right there. Listen, I spent a long time speaking to Seth. And I'm telling you, their relationship is totally different. Totally different. Right down to the grandma. How long is it? I want to see how fair use it is. I want to see if it's a fair use of I haven't watched that yet, but I'm going to. Because I'm going to start piecing all these lies together. Every story. <laughs> I am. Shouldn't be telling these fibs. Peter Hyatt, is that his YouTube name? Peter Hyatt? Let me find you, Peter. Peter, Peter. Listen, it ain't hard. CP is Christopher Proudfoot. I call him Lidfoot. Well, I do too, but I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to go to heaven. Is he under Peter? We'll find out, Peter. Peter. Oh crap. So he's got okay. Which one would y'all suggest from Peter? Listen, that was funny, Kells, because I was reading those DMs when they were going down prior to that video. <laughs> he comes over here. I'll, I'll take him down there. That's not true, Butter, um, at all. That's not true. I only wanted five minutes with 
<laughs> no, he don't only live. No, it's not just women. Oh no. <laughs> Let's see which one of y'all thinks the better one. There's missing. I'll tell you, they did one 10 days ago. And so we got 10. So, is this one? Seven. Tell me which one would y'all want to do? Oh, I was going to ask him the hardest question. Okay, y'all want to start with uh, the seven day ago? Seven day ago on then. That's exactly right, Tracy, and, and I won't have that. Okay, I think that there's a good one. I've got a fifty seven, I've got a thirty and all of them. Uh, the shorter one I'll see is thirty seven minutes. Let's do the thirty seven call. Well, fair issue, buddy. In the name of Kells, we'll speak. Uh, microphone. Hopefully, improving things a bit here. We'll As speak. Well, a screen that has uh, Sebastian Rogers' picture there. I want to make sure that's going through. Okay, so it looks like it is going through good. Um, what I'd like to do is first play the um, the short interview. This is going to be about a 15-year-old autistic boy who was gone missing. Um, I believe it was February 26, the morning of the 26th, when he was reported missing uh, by his mother. The uh, Just before Warren, the, the video uh, is highly edited from the media, and I'll have some uh, comments on that as well. But let me see if I can show the video first, and you'll be able to, to hear things for yourself here. County described to us exclusively how they feel on day eight of their son's disappearance. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Maury Spade. And I'm Warren Lowry. Sebastian Rogers is 15. He was last seen by his parents on February 25th in Hendersonville. Sebastian has autism and he's gone without his medication this whole time. And since then, authorities have searched by air, by foot, and on horseback. Helicopters, drones, and dive teams have also been brought in to try to find him. Today, his parents spoke exclusively to our Holly Thompson. She's live tonight in Sumner County. Holly, I imagine it was quite an emotional interview. Uh, certainly was. Try to keep this man's face off of here, baby. Doing the best I can to do it the right way. All right, sure, that screen keeps me from getting screwed. It's hard for any of us to imagine the emotions that this family is going through right now. But we know one thing is certain they remain positive, they are holding on to hope that their son Sebastian will return home safely. Can you walk us through what you're thinking right now? I don't know where he's at. Mom Katie broke down several times in our interview, but says her hope is strong that her son Sebastian will be found safe and return home. He's gonna walk through that door and the street will be flooded again with family and relatives all waiting to hug and love him. And Stepdad Chris says it's been an emotional roller coaster that all started Sunday night, February 25th. Pretty normal. He was playing in his room. Um, when I told him to go to bed, he did. <laughs> Um, he said, night, Mom. I love you. Katie says she went to wake up Sebastian around 6 a.m. Monday for school, and he was gone. Within minutes, Katie says she was on the phone with Chris, who was working out of town, and they quickly called 911. He's not a runner. He's not a runner. He's never run away before. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why he walked out the door. He's a good kid. He's not... He's not a mischievous child by any means. Katie and Chris say Sebastian is not on social media. While he loves to... Hold up. Did y'all just hear that? Not a mischievous child. Except y'all heard what I heard, right? Cut 
to now we're talking about he's having growling outburst. Remember that. Thank you. Play Minecraft. They tell me he does not have any online capabilities. I asked if there was any reason he might want to leave. We've been coming over that day and even the weeks before he went, and I don't, I haven't been able to figure it out. Everybody wants to talk about. It. He's um. He's not a mischievous child by any means. Katie and Chris say Sebastian is not on social media. While he loves to play Minecraft, they tell me he does not have any online capabilities. I asked if there was any reason he might want to leave. We've been coming over that day and even the weeks before he went. And I don't wait. I haven't been able to figure it out. He's um. That morning he was laughing. He was joking. It's as if Sebastian vanished. No sign of him on any video throughout the community. Thousands of miles logged by law enforcement, canines, helicopters, even dive teams, and no sign of him. Chris and Katie tell me they've been harassed. People pointing fingers at them. You're not in this situation. You don't quite understand. Um, I wish people would step back, take a different wide open view, and not assume what they know. It's just better to stick to the facts. Are you both in the clear? I can tell you that Thank you, mom, Napa. myself, I and the father you very have worked much. very fully and cooperatively with you. all Thank agencies all across the board. And we have this. anything that they want, we have provided. What do you want to say to Sebastian? What do you want him to hear from you right now? That we love you so much, and we want you to come home, and you're not in trouble. You're, you're not in trouble. Why do y'all keep telling this baby he's not in trouble? Y'all have got to stop it with the bull butter. What kind of stepfather are you? Stick to the facts, right? Just those old good ones. Hello, Shauna. Welcome, welcome. Now, Katie did tell me that even though Sebastian does have autism, he is a smart teenager. He is highly functional. They say, if you see him, say his name, yeah, say Sebastian, and he'll respond. He'll at least acknowledge you. And I can tell you, this is my home. This is my community. And the people here are strong. They say they will continue to search. They will continue to hope and continue to pray for Sebastian's safe return. And by the way, you can watch my full exclusive interview with Sebastian's parents on our WSMB4 app. Live here in Hendersonville, Holly Thompson, WSMB4. Bye. Okay, so that was the uh, news blurb. Um, you may have noticed the, the interviewer I think was uh, somewhat theatrical, um, giving a, a perhaps even an exaggerated facial appearance that uh, she's concerned, um, necessarily moralizing. It doesn't help facilitate the flow of information in an interview. Uh, I recognize that it's on television and ratings matter and audiences matter, that sort of thing. But in terms of gathering information, uh, that itself, even that type of demeanor can uh, influence answers. So I'd like to uh, talk a little bit about that. And then I'd like to also contrast that with the, um, I'm going to call him exactly. bio dad, the biological Thank father. You. Thank you. Because the one we just saw now is the stepfather. Boys, and some of the things that, things um, like that. They I think were a bit concerning regret. from what the uh, parents, uh, the mother and the stepfather had to say there. So it's, it's very edited, so we have to be very careful, and we have to consider the context. And the context starts off with, we have a, a teenager. And that is, of course, always uh, an area that can, or at least we should explore for the possibility of arguing, temperamental, um, highly or acute hormonal responses Thank but in this case Apple. we're looking at someone much. with autism do kids with autism Thank do you. run away uh, kids with autism are drawn to water and so those are, are things that are concerning um Thank you, and i'd like to look at some of those external factors before we get to the language Thank so that's you. a concern and um the mother described how he will respond Thank to his name all. so that suggests that the autism is more than mild when we look at a missing child Thank with you. special needs in spite of age 15, I don't know if he's capable of self-protection. I don't know if he's capable of, of obtaining food for himself, surviving out there, that sort of thing. I don't have the answer to that. I don't know uh, much about him. Because you need to speak to his father. Speak to those that really raised him. I'm just saying, speak to his, speak to his mom. Speak to her. He liked her food. He liked to help her cook, too. What I do know in behavioral analysis is that this heavy responsibility of having a special needs child may increase the odds of some form of abuse and neglect. It just, um, and this is not about this family, this is in general itself because uh, parents get worn down. They can lose their temper once and something can go wrong. They um, may have a difficult time getting breaks for themselves to recover. And none of this I know regarding this family, what it's like. All I know is from a few short quotes and a little bit of behavioral analysis. So number one, um, where there is a, a high need child, acute need child, there's always a risk. And that could be from whoever is watching him or her at that time. 
anyone can lose their temper. Um, it takes a really special person to, I think, navigate some of these difficulties. Secondly, just going by statistics, stepfathers get looked at. Stepfathers and boyfriends are often found to be more abusive Agreed. in these type of cases. I don't know if that's the case here or not, but just one of those things that's going to factor in. It's like trying to think of a 15-year-old who is missing without thinking of the factors around the 15-year-old. It's difficult to do. And I'm not sure about the wisdom of it. We, we need to listen and we need to pay attention to the context. The next area of behavioral analysis is um, this particular station said that this is an exclusive and the quote to introduce it, the story was um, the mother or the family breaks their silence. So one of the questions I have is why would you be silent exactly. if your high needs or special needs child 15 is missing? Thank you. Scream him how is back. it that you're able to quench the instinct to call out to that child? Scream or what appears to be about a week or so. Agree now. Why would you need to break your silence? Why would you be silent? Why would you not immediately call out to the child? Uh, interesting, we saw the father, the bio father being interviewed. Um, he was speaking to his son and giving him his advice about how to run away. That's expected. That's a norm. But this delay uh, concerns me, and I'd like to look at a couple of the statements that they said. So the bio dad spoke um, and said that he was on a roller coaster. When you hear roller coaster, um, it means up and down, up and down. Perfect time for an interviewer to ask about that. What are the, what are the lows like for you? What are the times that are up like for you? But no such question was asked. Um, he talked about coming through the door. I was concerned, you know, just a little concerned about in terms of how that plays out with an analysis. I've heard in other clips, and one of the ones I, I had cited, I, I believe I cited uh, through social media, was with drop pronouns. I'll pull that up for you. The drop pronouns um, are always a concern, and, and here's uh, what he said. So dad said, Bio dad, if someone has you run, call 91, grab to anybody. That was good. That's something that's expected. Um, the, the million dollar question, if you, if you saw that quote, the million dollar question that he asked, and many other, uh, was fascinating to me. Helpless and hopeless, and many other emotional and one that's a never ending world because doesn't stop. And I'm stopping until he walks through the door. My son doesn't run, he's not a runner. Okay, I think it's a different clip than I apologize. Um, million dollar question is, where are you? That's a question that, that I would ask and reach out to him. Uh, that would work well. So the stepfather and the mother have both insisted that he left on his own accord. That, uh, and he said, well, you know, how do you know that? As a parent, if you wake up and find your child missing, your mind is going to race in every direction. You're used to caring for the child, not something you can't. And so instinct is going to be engaged. Would you assume that the child ran away? Well, if the child has a history of running away, yeah, you probably would go there. But according to the mother, there was no history of that. And the stepfather, in dropping pronouns, he went right to the point. In fact, I'll, I will read that. He went right to the point of the door. Thank and you, that was Shana. concerning. Thank you. Oh, we won't stop. Thank you very much. And I do appreciate that a lot. I really do. And in the point of the door, uh, and saying he walked out, or actually said walked out, would you know for sure that he wasn't taken, that he wasn't kidnapped, that he wasn't coerced, or that he wasn't persuaded? He didn't say you know, that. would you right, right go on his own, that no one was influencing him, that sort of thing? And he was asked about that. And he said, because we found the door locked in the morning. So that, that inclusion is a little bit concerning to me regarding how that is, is stated and how that's worded. And then there was another statement the mom was asked about that day. She actually said two things about that in the interview. You caught that. Several things, but uh, about that day. It was pretty normal. Yep. Pretty normal day. There so there's nothing normal about a day when a child goes missing. There's nothing normal. What is concerning about that is that there is a need to portray something as normal. As normal. And there's a few other things that she said there that are very concerning. We really don't want people to think of feeding food like ours as spoiling their dogs things that we, we cover routinely, unfortunately, in these cases. So normal, portrayal of, a, of a, something is normal. It should put investigators on alert that what has taken place is anything but normal. 
the need to normalize something that is just way out there. I once had a case many years ago um, where a man was accused of sexually assaulting an adult with developmental disabilities. And my job was to investigate that. The referent said to me, you know, before you get out there and, and investigate this, I need you to know that the guy that's being accused is a great guy. He's a retired medical doctor. Um, he's in his 80s. He um, has a long white beard. He plays Santa for the... Everyone loves him. He's a great guy. And I said, okay, thank you. And um, as was my habit for these things, when I do an investigation, I don't let anyone set up an appointment for me, or at least I didn't. I do it myself. I make that call. It's very important because the first thing that someone hears... It's going to be important. Now, this uh, man that I was calling to set up an appointment to speak is not supposed to know about the allegation. He shouldn't know. And that's very important. I, I want the cleanest response. I wanted to say, I didn't molest so and so. I didn't touch him. When I introduced myself and told him where I was from, before I could get another word out, he yelled at me and he said, I am a normal man. The word normal when someone uses that way, they're telling you something. They've either been considered abnormal by others or they may consider themselves abnormal. It's the need to commit that. And I knew right that the first sentence, I knew he did it. The, uh, the victim in this case had gone weeks without showering. Um, he was more outgoing and then suddenly he wasn't. You know, he, he was suffering and will suffer. So I knew that this man was concerned about being portrayed as abnormal. And he was giving that away. So th to understand that, what I sometimes do in, in a seminar is I'll say, okay, children, let's gather. This is interesting. Once upon a time, I wouldn't have thought about this. it was a day like every other. And you will naturally see kids sit up a little bit because they know what's coming is not like every other day. It won't be boring. So when someone portrays something as normal, it's always not. look for the opposite. It's not. Always ask, why do they have a need to portray it that I way? Agree, no. Mom went further. Mom said it was pretty normal. And so I looked at that. And now I'm concerned as anything but. And then she said, um, I told him to go to bed and he did. So she's, you know, obe he's obedient. I'm not sure how many 15 year olds uh, obey that well, but remember, this is normal. And the 15 year old said, good night, mom. I love you. And that is in context, a concern in, in con has to be only in context. And here's why we find this in domestic homicides and domestic violence, other problems where someone says, I said, good night to my daughter. I love you. Have a good night's sleep. And the need to include that I told my daughter, for example, that I love her, while giving a statement under duress of a missing child or of an investigation Not that we know is a sign of something very wrong. Now, why is that? Minecraft. Think about it. If I said, <laughs> raise your hand if you tell your children you love them when you put them to bed, everyone does so. It's the need to tell police. It's the need to tell an audience while an investigation is going on. That is the alarming. And I had covered this once in a, uh, in a seminar where someone objected. And so I, I, I attempted to explain, I said, no, it's not, it's not concerning that you tell your child that you love him or her. It's concerning that during an investigation, that, that unnecessary emphasis is given. Well, no, I don't care. Uh, I want people to know I love my child. And that particular person um, had just been reported to child protective services. So there was an alarm there. So it, it was provocative. We've also been able to, at times with statements like this, I saw my girlfriend, I said, I love you. We'll see you later, babe. A term of endearment. Pointing to the time of death. And I'm not saying that, that Sebastian isn't alive. What I am saying is I am very concerned about the need to portray the day as normal. And then to have the, to verbalize him telling me, the mom, that he loves me. In other words, I'm a really good mom. I'm a good person. My 15 year old tells me. He goes to bed right when I say so. And he tells me he loves me. Now I want every 15 year old to obey his, uh, her parents and uh, go to bed when they're told to and get a good night's sleep and say, I love you. That's great. But here coming from a mother who has been silent for a week, who used the word normal raises concern. And he was not a runaway. Nope. Oh, by the way, she also said uh, she went to wake him up for school or, or a day like that. She gave the reason of why she's waking him up, which catches my attention as well. He's not a runner. I don't know why he walked out that door. How do you know you walked out the door? The fact that this is coming a week or so later is really concerning. If she had said it in the beginning, I don't know why he walked out that door. It's an assumption. I agree. And he was a runaway. Welcome, Clint. And he was a, experiencing teenage angst, for example. 
That might be fitting. A week later, he hasn't been found. The search has been tremendous. And you're still making that assumption? I'm now really concerned that he didn't walk out that door because of the language. And by the way, I'm, I'm glancing at the comments when I can. And someone wrote, my son is nonverbal, so very vulnerable. It's unbelievable for people on the outside to understand that, how vulnerable they can be, including as adults, which was um, a case I cited earlier about the molestation of an adult male. Those that are nonverbal are, are open to all sorts of abuse and anger and outrage and everything else. So I don't like the assuming he walked out that door. Uh, then we have the interviewer, again, with the theatrics and the... Um, just not a clean interview, but uh, she asked them about coming under that suspicion. He didn't want to be judged. He wanted people to be quiet about it. Um, yeah, and he didn't issue a denial, which always concerns me. But this is not just my opinion after listening to them. I don't think things were good the night before he went missing. I don't believe it was a, a normal, peaceful, loving household like that. So at best, at best, I think he ran away because they had a fight or something went wrong. And that's just my opinion. If they want to persuade me uh, how good things are, it, it alerts me to the opposite. She said, the mom said later, regarding that morning, it was good. He was laughing. My question is, when did you hear him laughing? Oh my God, I thought he was one of the paper. <laughs> I was scared the crap out of me. So I have concerns about the environment. Now, worst case scenario, which I, I hate to entertain, but of course it's provocative, is that we'll see a further investigation into the uh, stepfather and the mother. That's worst case. So I go from, at best case, he's found, uh, he ran away because of what happened that night. And the worst case scenario I'm about is to slap uh, these the possibility of mother and stepfather facing criminal charges. I, I said that, Sean. Any I questions? I, I know there's very little to go on in terms of the statements and the, the heavy editing by the uh, media there. But any questions Sorry, on that? I didn't mean for that to happen. I just hope it take a few minutes just to uh, in case it's of any value. Um. Karen Tesson, I thought he said, I think she's speaking of the stepfather. I thought he was out of town. I believe he was out of town. He's distanced that morning himself or something. hardcore to be out of town. I it it wouldn't, in my mind, it wouldn't include him. Why are you still sure he walked out if you weren't there? That sort of thing. Whatever, and my, my timing could be off, whether it's the, the night or it was earlier. You know, that will probably be something we found out eventually when Sebastian is on. Um, I believe that something went wrong in the time period before she said uh, that she went to wake him up and he wasn't there, that's her quote. He was missing up and he was gone. The door was locked, it was something they both repeated. Um, Molly, good question. The dad saying the boy isn't mischievous, is that alarming? Um, I don't know, I, I need to hear more without those heavy cuts, I'd like to just to hear them speak on their own. Um, it's a positive linguistic. Um, but is that part of the same boy that, that I love you, mom, you know, this good boy. Um, the mom chuckled after saying he was going to walk through the door. Is that odd? Uh, said that chuckled as well. Um, I don't do a lot of body language analysis, but you never know with someone being nervous. Nervous. Uh, I'd like to know why, um, why it took so long to come out. Most uh, people, I think, have the expectation that parents are going to be right out in front of that camera, right out with police. Pleading. Well, law enforcement. Not waiting, not silence, not having to break silence. Told them not to speak right away. Um, wouldn't I expect mom to be giving away more signals? She gave away a couple signals that there was trouble right in away. the household. Um, but uh, no, based on the very short and highly oh, edited video. Well. I, uh, someone mentioned that uh, mom and stepdad sat down for an interview with a YouTuber. I haven't seen that. I'm able to find it. So if someone has, you can send it to me. I'll be able to get more insight with that. Um, could their words be tainted by any backlash they're receiving from the public? Um, yes. Most, I think, parents will say, I don't care what anyone says. Find my son. Find my son. I would scream it. I Mom also said, I don't know where he's at. I don't like that expression. I've seen that in other cases. Where he's at is, is um, where is he? Where is he at? And sometimes, sometimes. 
be used at a, a, almost like a psychological description of where someone's at. They're happy, they're not happy, they're in a bad space, they're not in a good space, that sort of thing. So, yeah, I look forward to didn't find it, but I, I would like to see that. I'll take a look. Yeah, um, another good point is that there was a, um, a young autistic boy who ran away but actually was found hiding or stuck in a, a chimney. And he was alive. Uh, the problem is that if he wasn't a runaway and he wasn't on social media, as the days go by, then where would he be at? What? And they're combing the place, and they've been combing the place. Uh, what person would he have to count on that could help him survive? Um, Lana, thank you for finding that link and send it. That would be that would be good. Um, someone is saying that on the channel, the step, stepfather, I assume, spoke about being strict. Again, that is something that is being brought up, and I, I think the, uh, the person commenting there is correct about that. He, being strict said, without anyone asking. Offered while he's missing. He, well, he keeps Offered while he's missing. Not true. Remember, everything has to be put in context true. there. Try to remember saying goodnight, I love you to your kids. You probably don't have a need to respond back to me and say, hey, wait a minute, I say good, I love my kids. Because you do, and you don't have a need to persuade anyone. It's the context is what is most important with that. Um, interesting. I like to see that too. Uh, someone wrote the stepdad said that they all had a good relationship with the real dad, but the real dad was asked and said he wouldn't comment on that. Uh, and I don't blame him because he sounded like um, uh, it, I got that like what most people would sound like. Sebastian, thank you, Sean. If someone has you, I'm, run. I'm with you. Get to the first adult. Call nine one one. Grab anyone. Totally with you on that. It's kind of a normal response that we would expect, everywhere. rather than attempt to portray something as not ride my heart. Remember, we're not dealing with reality, but we're dealing with people's perception of reality through their words. Oh no! Smelly garbage disposal. And I would attend a vigil at least down the street three minutes from my home. They knew better. Any more questions on I'm this? I'm grateful. I'm hopeful, and I have to. I may do another video. Uh, I have to have able a to hear faith that here podcast. Today. And have some more quotes that I, I'd I like to look at. To have faith. So just, my conclusion is that just, mom is withholding information I think they, about they, what they went wrong prior to his going missing. Because they were with him. And that stepfather's comments, particularly um, the claim about the door, I is concerning. For him. And um, it's a little more nuanced than, than my time to explain, but when oh, uh, uh, after the amount of time that has passed, just, that he hasn't been found, mm -hmm. I don't for the stepfather I just need to have that. Uh, and or the mother to talk about the for boy the walking back in it may be a subtle blaming of the victim now if he was a runaway and that was said on day one I, I would consider a, a subtle blaming of the victim remember human nature is such that the more that you accept it for what it is the better you could be at criminal analysis but human nature is such that we will do anything in our minds to justify guilt to mitigate guilt, yeah, I mean, to alleviate guilt if we can. We've all been given and one of the things, things we look for in, life, uh, in know, criminal we, we analysis is a subtle shifting of responsibility over to the victim. Hopeless and sinking. Uh, By saying that when, when he walks back in the door, not back. when he's found, but when he walks back in you the know, door, very concerning. Believe in God. Mom and okay, stepfather had a three-hour phone conversation what? the night before. Don't. Interesting. Um, someone wrote believe. about the phone conversation. Check the route to Memphis. Very good point. I'm sure they're doing that. A uh, great question from Karen. When was the last time someone else saw it? Sebastian? I know. I appreciate Friday that. Night, and I'm, and I'm sure the Sunday. investigators will look at that. Collaterals, teachers, pediatrician, uh, coaches, everyone gets checked with. It just by routine. So I, I think we're going to see probably some um, re-interviewing happening. Uh, I think so. Uh, and one other announcement. I'm hoping to um, perhaps cover the case of some of the language of the nurse who uh, at the border of Mexico said she was sexually assaulted and um, okay. some of the things that are in the news of late with that one. And uh, if you have one, All right, you... let's see. We got that one. Okay. Yeah, I want to hit this question and answer one real quick. Welcome, everyone. Uh, I keep joining. I wanted to give an update on uh, missing 15 year old Sebastian Rogers. <clears throat> He's someone with autism. And it's been some, Let's uh, try this one. I think a significant development that we'll start with. Y'all have it subscribed. Uh, and then do a little bit of behavior Peter analysis. Hyatt. Take your Peter questions, Hyatt. although I don't uh, think. Peter, where did you go? I kind of like, like his. Uh, but also your theories on what like happened it. to him. So let me begin by uh, this short update from this morning where the biological father 
uh, has spoken out. And I think once the, the floodgates open, we're going to hear a lot more from him. So if you want to follow that on the news, but here that is, and I uh, please let me know if you can hear it well. He's the one that's actually searching for his boy. That's honest. I agree. And thank you. I agree. And I'm trouble getting on there. Okay. If not, I'll be able to, um, it, it was short, so I'll be able to share with you what, um, he has some technical difficulties here, I guess, what he said. And that is what I think I'm going to do that. Um, maybe you'll be able to play it elsewhere here. The father said he has concerns about what took place. And um, this was the gist of, of his point here was that his son would not have left unless something had taken place. And so what I wanted to do was to, uh, besides take uh, any of your ideas and um, your thoughts on the case, was just to explain a few things. And Ursula, you would have been helpful with this part, especially um, regarding my opinions of, of their interviews. Uh, first of all, thank you to everyone that um, sent in different links for me. I, I'm very much appreciative of that. They were um, helpful. And I, I apologize, I can't respond to everyone's uh, emails, but I, I do appreciate it. And I, I appreciate the, the kind words thank that came through as well. Thank you. So two weeks ago, a 15 year old boy with autism went missing. I posted one of the comments from YouTube with the author's permission, um, and it was excellent. What she said was after teaching uh, autistic children for so long and knowing some of the uh, seemingly uh, odd or unusual or unexpected behaviors from them, I don't think Tanya's here, but uh, she would have expected that not only were the, the mother and the stepfather, those were the caretakers, would be out front of the cameras immediately giving a description of Sebastian but her point, which I think was excellent, was why weren't they out there immediately giving the idiosyncrasies of his behavior? How he'll respond? Is he verbal? Um, where would he be drawn to? And that, that's why I referenced Tanya, an expert in autism, uh, of an autistic child being drawn to water, for example, or being uh, shy around people or not liking noise, um, all those things. This should have been immediate, just right off the bat. And then when the media reported, I guess it was about a week later, the mother and stepfather broke their silence. I mean, would you need to have your silence broken if your child was missing, special needs or not? And one of the things that was concerning to me was their emphasis to improve the volume here. Their emphasis upon him walking out the door. And um, some, some of you and, and uh, a couple of journals have pointed out that um, there could be some significance with the, the use of the word door, and, which I agree, but it's beyond the scope here. But they repeated it, and there was a certainty about it. Now, now consider this. The police and the services and the public have thoroughly searched. And they're out there for a week. A week has passed by, and the father and stepmother are maintaining that he walked out the door. Realistically, when he wasn't found within a few hours, I think any parent would have an imagination run amok, kidnapping, uh, a type of coercion, persuasion, someone else talking him into this. But they didn't budge. And I think any of us would entertain any possibility. They stayed with that he walked through the door, that he left on his own accord. And so, you know, of course, I'm concerned about the possibility of victim shaming. But let's begin with the premise that they're telling the truth, that what they're saying is true. So the first question is, how do you know that? If you were asleep, how do you know that? Then there was the offering of the portrayal of the day, which is very concerning. This is prior to him leaving. And I, I said on the last video how that can be indicative to the contrary, that the need to portray something as normal often indicates in context that something not normal took place. For example, if, if I asked you about how you were last Thursday, I don't know, it was a normal day. If there's no context for you to go to attempt to persuade me of anything. When someone uses the word normal about a day when the child went missing, this is a hyper hormonal response. This is something that, in other words, it's going to be etched in your memory. The last words, the last everything that was said, uh, the last thing that was eaten, and whatever enters the language is going to be important for us. So when the mother portrayed it as normal, my first thought was, uh-oh, what happened? What happened between mother and son? If indeed stepfather was away as we think he may have been. Also, the timeline can shift either way. I don't know about that as well. That's more to, more to be done. But the need to portray something so extraordinary as normal. You know, if she was asked, was that a normal day? That might be different because now you're influenced by the interviewer's questions and interviewers need to be careful. Um, others have commented on the theatrics and uh, it just gets in the way of information. 
and I'm not sure if it's in other cultures like it is in ours, but in ours, uh, even crime news broadcasters really turn on the theatrics. And I, I think that theatrics should be safe for the theater, not for um, news stories like this. You know, I understand they have to reach an audience, but um, at times it will uh, influence the subject and how to respond. So the need to portray it as a normal day, especially given the extreme context here, is persuasive that it wasn't normal. And um, the mother didn't wasn't asked, hey, so what was the last thing that Sebastian said to you? Instead, she offered, good night, mom, I love you. And those of you that have uh, formal training may recognize that I love you sometimes comes up in domestic homicides as the time of death is, is sometimes revealed. I'm not saying that's the case here, but it is concerning. Here's why. And this is a, a small view. In this context, after being silent for a week, after not describing ways that could help the public find her son, what she wants us to know is that he told her he loved her. In other words, she must be a good mom. So the first suspicion from her language that is raised is this wasn't normal. Whatever took place between you, was it normal? And the second He's point of suspicion is about their relationship. The need to portray as good often reveals not good. Some of you will remember the case of Lacey Peterson and Scott Peterson and when he was interviewed, a classic manipulator, when he was interviewed and he was asked about their relationship, their marriage, he said it was glorious. Hmm. Now, if there are two human beings under we the same roof and both have a pulse, it's not glorious. Reality tells us otherwise, except for Heather. It's not glorious. It's ups and downs and good times and bad times and we get sick and we have good things happen to us, et cetera, et cetera. But he said times. this while under suspicion. <clears throat> Um, that's the type of talk that a, 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 an abuser and a manipulator would use to persuade his audience. And his voice inflection changed. He was good at it. He was good at it. So the mother's need to portray herself as a good mother. Some of you may remember this from um, when Haley Dunn went missing and Billie Jean portrayed herself as a good or great mother. And it's a signal. When someone does that in one of these types of contexts, look for involvement. Look for allegations of abuse, neglect, exploitation from family members, from friends, from neighbors, look for it, it's out there. It's the need to portray one. Um, I have found this to be in mothers who gave birth to children who went through drug withdrawals, babies going through drug withdrawals. Oh, no. They will almost be in a race to say, I'm a great mother. So the need to cover guilt, cover guilt. Now they have asserted and asserted with repetition that he walked out the door. And then we learned an added detail that he went without his stuff, without um, is restricted, we're very strict with that, step on his phone, without his shoes, without his belongings. We are by nature possessive creatures. So that would tell us that you were saying your son, who has never run away, she said, that's not him, has, and he went without shoes in Tennessee, which he never did, and you which would mean if you get dirty. And that it was a normal day and he loved me just prior. And she's screaming, it's not my fault. No one said it was your fault. And is this why you've been silent for the past week? So I'm very concerned that something may have happened to him prior to his leaving. I believe the mother is withholding that information. She's being deceptive via hold, withholding information about the relationship. And no one would expect it'd be easy to have a teenager, but more so a teenager with autism. That's high stress. I didn't like the stepfather's statements. I, I'm unable to discern at this time from the limited uh, of what he's given us. But I believe he knows more than he's telling. I just can't tell whether he's backing uh, the mother. And if he is, why? There would be a reason behind that. Or if there's something more nefarious. So as I said in the, in the, a couple of days ago, my conclusion is they're withholding information about what happened before he went missing. And, and I stop at that. But I, you know, of course, I do have suspicion about other things. So let me see if you have any questions or you'd like to, to have any of your theories put out there. Okay. That wasn't part of her initial statement going forward. Okay, then we have the dad. Uh, the dad, which is really interesting because people say, why would the dad be silent all this time? And that I, I want to say little. He was searching. I choose my words carefully. She did from that. Uh, he may have been asked not to. That one call she did. Because of suspicions and not on him in that sense. And time has passed on. Passed passed on here and we're two weeks out and he's he appears to be no longer 
being quiet about it. And, you know, there could be other reasons why I didn't speak out, including um, maybe a disconnect from Sebastian, that sort of thing. And I don't think um, their portrayal of this wonderful relationship, I don't think is reality either. So let me see the, uh, some of your comments questions. What do I think of the stepdad saying, I'll give him that in the Duchess? Um, Jude, if you can elaborate on that with the, uh, what he said, what that was in context to. Um, it was unusual going to a, a YouTube blogger yeah, answer questions like that. That was strange. Oh, I see. Referring to Sebastian's characteristics. There was a mix of positive linguistic and negative linguistic uh, in the same, um, for the same people, depending on context. And that is, you know, human nature being complex. And I'm just going to, to throw this out there just for consideration. Sometimes we have people giving a positive linguistic disposition towards a victim, even if they're guilty of the crime, because it might allevi alleviate some of the guilt. You know, we do, as humans, we do everything and anything we can to uh, justify, rationalize, or even simply minimize the guilt we experience. So I, you know, I, I listened and, and uh, for the most part there was present tense language. And so what they may not know is if he is deceased, they may not know that, or at least the mother may not know that. Um, what I believe the concealing is at this point is from what caused him to leave, if he, if he left, from when they find out that he didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, good question. Why would they want uh, the responsibility on him for walking out the door? And I, I, I share the same question. It, it may be a sense of victim blaming. Um, a young man shakes a, a baby to death no. and blurts out, the, the baby wouldn't stop crying. In other words, it's not entirely my fault because the, the crime was getting to me and that impulse and to silence the baby by shaking. Um, it's a way of, of even mildly justifying. Otherwise we live with this mirror in front of us. That would be difficult to survive. I had um, referenced on my Twitter or X account, a case here in Maine where a 10 year old boy was um, malnutritioned and brought to the emergency room without a pulse. And he lived with his mother his father and the mother's mother, the grandmother, the maternal grandmother was present for whatever happened to him at least. And it, it quickly became a case where, where this was a battered child syndrome and he died. And the affidavit, it says that when they brought him in, he didn't have a pulse. When they were able to through CPR, bring back a pulse. The charge nurse went to the mother and the grandmother and said, he's got a pulse. If you're a mother and a grandmother, you are rejoicing. If you're a stranger, you're rejoicing. It's a little bit of hope. He reported to the police that the mother and grandmother's response was this. He's a liar. He lies all the time. In other words, and this is really a horrible thing to consider. If he recovers, he's going to tell what we did to him. People go a long way for self-preservation, for self-protection. I mean, look at the, the McCann circus all these years later. They're still keeping it up. They don't appear to care if some innocent person gets blamed, judicially innocent, gets blamed for it. They're keeping it up. Self-preservation is very powerful. And even at the point where nothing should have mattered except that little boy, the 10-year-old, they wanted to protect themselves. They're, they're under arrest for his killing. Mother of Sebastian should have been out as early as possible. When, it, when they found out within the hour that he's not local here, we're not finding him here. She should have been out in front of media saying, okay, here's what he's wearing. Here's what he's like. Here's where he may go. Here's the best way to communicate with him if you see him. Please don't say such and such thing. Please do say this to him. Use his name, don't use his name, use his nickname. Whatever it may be, the strange uh, and unexpected that could be accompanying his behavior with autism. This is what you want to address so quickly, besides a, a description of what he's like, and that's absent behavioral analysis. I don't feel very strongly um, having dealt with autistic children, interviewed them, seeing the, the, uh, the explosion of autistic that children, listening to the lie that says, oh no, we're better at screening. When someone's visibly autistic, we would see one or two when I was a boy more than 50 years ago. So this is quite challenging there. And I understand the stress. You know what? Speak it out honestly. Speak it out honestly. You're, I don't expect to hear offering saying, you know, he was really difficult to deal with, not while he's missing. That's just full of regret. I should have not yelled at him that night. I lost my temper with him. I told him to go to bed now. People would respect that type of honesty and no one would condemn them for it. But they're hiding something there.
Um, Jack, if you email me, Jack's looking for one of the Manchester statements. It was a really interesting statement. It was a teenage girl or young teen, somewhere around that age, whose father came and picked her up. And uh, within the same statement, she goes from blaming her father for being late to he's my hero because he picked her up. Really interesting. And that, which is a normal uh, teenage response, um, father to daughter. Uh, but email me at hyatanalysis at gmail.com. I'll find out where that is. Um, behavioral panel found in the cans were authentic. I wonder, um, I disagree, but I wonder if the simple constant repetition of a story, what does that mean? It means I'm no longer working from experiential memory. It's too painful. I'm working from the memory of what I previously said. And that's going to impact my body language. It's going to impact my voice. Um, I'm not going to, this, I'm going to make this announcement. I'm not going to uh, publish analysis unless the uh, subject keeps it up. The uh, nurse who from Texas who said she was kidnapped by a homeless Mexican, taken to the Mexican border and raped and strangled, kidnapped, et cetera, et cetera. If some of you are familiar with that, I put it on, on uh, Facebook and upon X. She put out a video on TikTok. And it's really, her video appearance is the, uh, the mental health issues. So police did not ignore her cries. They didn't reject having a rape kit test done. They didn't believe her for good reason. People take the why the silence, but I, you know, I have a suspicion on that. Um, sure, good question. If your day is normal until a point and something happens, why is it suspicious when stating it? If I ask you what your day was like, you might say it was a normal day. Okay? That's in response to my question. But that's not what they say. If you offer it, if you offer it, it becomes different. Now, there's another uh, point A, point B to this as well. So we have a context of a missing child. And someone might say, I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. Things look fine. I explain that. Um, that she also goes to the term of, the, uh, of love. Mm -hmm. Adds to that. Oh, this is why um, statement analysis precious. checklists don't work. I love that. You have to be fluid. You have to understand context. You have to have back and forth. It, you know, it may be popular. Someone has a ten-point checklist. It'll lead to lead to error. I love that. So, good question. With Nurtech ODT, I can treat and prevent. Bill is a financial operations no. platform. Bill gives you real-time visibility no, into Bill company expenses all in one place. Statement analysis Bill. checklists don't work. <laughs> that would be um, Bill Red Redwine case. I think that he died defending his mom's honor with his father. We don't know Bill. You're going to a so do, uh, good person. You know what? Just step back and ask questions. Let them talk. Let them talk. So I was concerned about that. Um, some of you remember the... Uh, account I have spoken about of Dr. John's special cough medicine from many years ago um, in the child abuse world where uh, I interviewed him and he wasn't a monster drug in kids. He made an ethical decision that cost him his license, but he said there are kids that are under abuse. The investigators, myself included, can't prove it. You may know it, but you can't prove it. And he said the kids get it worse when they don't go to sleep. And so he had cough syrup with a little bit of codeine to make them sleep. Now, there, are, there are health repercussions that aren't spoke, spoken about parents. So you don't feel statement analysis is as reliable as a shorter back and forth dialogue. No, in, in fact, when I interview, uh, I, I consider myself the most boring interviewer there is because I say as little as possible. I don't have the information. Now, if I have a statement ahead of time, I certainly do. But I like to let the person speak for himself or herself. They have the information I need. The more I talk, the more I miss. Now, in law enforcement, that's going to switch at a certain point where it goes from interview to interrogation. Now there's accusations of guilt uh, coming from law enforcement. Um, but I, from my perspective, I begin with that legally sound, open-ended questions. Tell me what happened, what happened after that. I use the subject's own language whenever possible. I don't introduce a word that he or she is not familiar with or not part of her own dictionary. So I reflect that, um, but I like to listen. Um, too many times we can really teach someone how to lie by the way we word questions. And when um, in law enforcement, when someone is thrown into the role of an investigator, they learn very quickly. They often have excellent instincts. They can read body language really well on the fly and adapt themselves to it. It's very impressive. So the other questions here or, or you know, theories you want to bring out. You know, so I don't, I don't know stepfathers, I'm watching the comments here, stepfathers involvement. I, I am suspicious, I'm concerned. Um, even over the phone, that long phone call, did he give directives? Did they match a story? 
I think um, most of you that have seen the video have probably commented one way or another how he kind of takes over. He's clearly controlling. And this is a time when you want the maternal instinct mm -hmm. engaged and her freely speaking. Amen. He's stopping her at times from speaking. Yes. She be screaming. I don't know, um, I sort of conflicting reports about whether dogs hit or not, or one did and then nothing end up there. So I'm still following some of those news things. So, yeah, I'm concerned. Um, Smiley Stories World, what do you feel about the three hour phone call? I feel alibi. I'm concerned about the same thing. Um, matching stories, coordinating thoughts. And investigators know all these things. Um, I'm only commenting on this because it's a public case. I have no involvement with it. If I'm involved with the case, I don't talk about it at all. I think it's bogus. Um, Lottie, good point about uh, doctors trained. We have one present here um, in statement analysis. We go right to the, uh, no, the truth there. He's been posting that on after. And it's weird. It's creepy and it's weird. Stepdad gives somebody off the Don Wells vibes. I reposted the... Um, the short interview, the short interview, the short video I did on Summerwell's mother. You know, I, I've done uh, some analysis on the father, but the mother, her account, uh, obviously the similarities. She wasn't telling the truth. She didn't tell the truth about the time before Summer went missing. She was deceptively withholding information. So I put that up on on Twitter slash X. Dad restrained him violently when Sebastian tried to leave. How would you know that? Where do you get that from? The phone call, I think, would probably be interesting, um, and it should be something that uh, we may hear more about upcoming. Yeah, and um, Jude pointing out some of the language of the stepdad, he mentioned uh, discipline, restriction, whatever the words he was using there, while Sebastian was missing, why, while he waited a week to talk about it. So that was kind of a, I'm a real good stepfather here statement. They had a need to um, present themselves in a positive light. When I think that uh, parents would probably all agree, we don't care what you think of us. Please help me find my son. I never should have gotten into it with him. I never should have. They, you know, they blame themselves. Remember many years ago, um, a young co-ed was murdered, and uh, I had interviewed the father on radio. And the father was looking back over years and said, if I had just refused to take that job in that state, she'd still be alive today. That is a normal, loving response, uh, father's response. So I haven't yeah, done Madeline Soto case yet. Call. I just got transcripts someone Agreed. sent to me, which, by the way, thank you if you're here. Agree. And I hope I get to it. Um, how do you discipline uh, an autistic child? I think that it's so unique. The damage that's done to the child is, is so specialized that um, I think it's learning on the job. It's not the, the same. They have uh, a, a heightened, they, the, the parents, have a heightened sense of more than discipline, but how do I keep my child safe? Now, we all feel that, but the risks go higher and higher. And our minds can conjure nightmares of possibilities that can happen to our children, how much more so those with special needs. So, yeah, they're really, I, I uh, Rupin got a great uh, point. They're, they're different, and each is individual. Um, 23 year old daughter with autism, nonverbal. Um, that becomes a, a nightmare of worry for parents because the nonverbals are so easily exploited. And one of the technology te technology advances that have been really quite in the, in the favor is uh, cameras. Cameras that actually do pr help protect, especially in group settings. Oh, yeah, you, not only you can monitor, but what, um, what I'm yeah, thinking yeah. of is in group homes, in residential homes, in congregate living, I think that's really important that there are security cameras going because uh, the nonverbals are the ones that are targeted. I once had a case of a sexual assault of, she wasn't nonverbal, but she was close. And a lot went by her pointing and the forensics became her voice. And you know, people get very upset that prosecutors don't go after this more. Um, do you put someone like that on a stand? A defense has a right to go after them. And so when we were able to, in the case I'm thinking of, able to get a resolution of some justice, it felt like quite a victory. Yeah. Um, so did the mother and stepfather change the description of the clothing and that sort of thing? I, I haven't listened that carefully, but consider this. Your they child did. is missing. The hormonal response is acute and things become very strong in their thoughts. 
um, the bio dad said he, he talks to the police all the time. Because what he'll do is likely pick up the phone and say, I just thought of this, I just thought of that. The clarity is generally very high. Very, very high. And that means it's a good, strong memory. Um, Maggie Jane, I'm, I agree with your comment in the sense that um, the hard line can really backfire. And she's uh, a suspicion on the, the one who decided to, after his stepson was missing for a week, to talk about discipline and a great father he is. Yeah, so the, the Facebook post from this morning about bio dad, what, what I think is a floodgate, and we'll see if that, that proves to be true or not, is that he said something had to happen for my son to leave. So either he doesn't believe his son left of his own accord, or he believes his son left because he was very upset, highly agitated, so uh, maybe under threat himself, that sort of thing. And this is coming from the dad, and I think we're going to get clarity. I'll, I'll be listening for that today. Yeah, the, I don't think the stepfather and the mother gave any anyone confidence. So I think the mom is afraid of the stepdad. I didn't have enough um, from the language part to have a strong opinion on that. It's a great question. But I, I wonder, and I guess uh, I have to admit that with the body language, I'm a little bit suspicious of that. The interruptions and I'll finish your sentence for you type thing concerns me. Thank you. This show. That's a really tough question. Do you think there is an almost conservative international input by government to assume that 90% of teens are considered runaways? The script, the As manure. you see human trafficking taking place in a greater scale and, and in terms of um, non-overt slavery, I don't know that we've ever seen I this agree. type of movement. I, I understand. And Sean, with this movement, I do. Um, there is human trafficking of sex abuse because there is the trafficking of fentanyl. It's not like anything we can compare. He, he would, so um, to answer that question without wanting to sound too much like a conspiracy theorist, yes, I do. I do think there is a vested interest in elected officials not owning that. Um, what I ask people to consider is when you're trying to decide if something's true or not, a report, does it fit with human nature? Does it fit with human nature? With our 10-year-old uh, boy that was killed last week, and it's brutal. People meet them. And then the second thing they do is, um, with these sort of cases, is they look for more government control because they're afraid. And that generally makes things worse. So I'll take away your rights because this horrible person did this to their child. And it's not the answer. Um, Kit, regarding the step dad being out of town, I think the investigators would need, good, you know, good point, would need to know, is this regularly scheduled in terms of the job? And I think they'll uh, cross their T's and dot their I's quite well. I'm sorry, I can't get to all the questions if they run by pretty quickly. Stepdad said I'm a black and white type of guy. Um, it did concern me. Um, a couple things that, that were similar to that as well. Meaning that children exist oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes in a gray world. Um, you're not allowed to walk in the street. That's black and white. It's just a, a line of demarcation. As a three-year-old, you're not going out by yourself. It's your will against mine and you're going to lose. You're not going out there. However, that shiny red ball that's in the street, I'm going to go get that and bring it out to the safe place behind a, a fence. In other words, we move into to gray, understanding. When someone is very much militaristic and not able to uh, use discernment, this can, can be an emotional thing, I don't think it bodes well for an autistic child, a lack of flexibility. So uh, yes, Linda, that did concern me. Rigid, overly strict, better descriptions than mine, um, may not be the best person to deal with kids. You know, and I understand regarding the um, the restrictions on a phone because someone that vulnerable that could fall prey to someone else. In terms of, I don't play video games, but the uh, they're interactive and live with other people. Um, it was his need to brag that while his son was missing, while he's been silent for a week. That's what concerned me. Not his son. You know, I saw uh, some people um, with the ten year old murder here in Maine um, coming out against homeschooling. It's like. Um, all these people that are loving their children and providing education and uh, trying to keep away from some of the cultural influence that's coming, let's punish all them because one person used that as an excuse to conceal the victim from the eyes of others. 
And that, you know, that's how the a mob reacts. It's, uh, it's very sad. That's just not critical thinking. Any other questions or any other comments you wish to? I'm going to begin to close here. Yeah, and I certainly understand the idea of community. Um, and, and we see that I think across at least our country here with the homeschoolers, they seem to be always involved in several layers of communities, co-op, uh, teaching, field trips, that sort of thing, neighbors caring for each other. Hey, the wish came in earlier, but here anyway. If you've been following the case and have anything you'd like to comment on as I'm closing here, we'd like to take the comments. Um, Tina's question, with all the talk of walking out the door, walking in the door, is it possible that one of the parents during an argument told the child to leave? Very much so. Mm -hmm. And if he went and committed suicide, if he fell into water, if he befell foul play, uh, Tina, that um, that would give the mother cause to not speak and to, to deceive over it. Whereas the better thing would have been, I told him to get out the door if he wanted to. Because he's you know, a teenager. I never should have said that. I've caused this. I'm responsible. So please help me find him. Here's what he looks like. Here's how he acts. Here's what behavior you might see that's different than other kids if he's in a crowd. Um, so that was a really great question or comment. I don't know the custody agreement. I um, I think we'll, we may learn more today if the father's speaking more and more. Yeah, someone brought up that up recently, Jude, about Harley Dilly um, a couple of days ago. I, you know, I, I, um, I can't help but to conclude that he suffered something, whether it be emotional distress or physical and emotional, something before he left or he was taken or he went missing, maybe the best way to, to word it. Um, well, thank you, everybody. I'll, I'll come back on again if we get some updates on news of this case. Um, you can see from people's response, not only in social media, but locally for those in Tennessee, um, they show a demeanor and a language that shows more concern for Sebastian than I've heard from the all right, he's good on that one. Where did she go? Do we have any other good ones like that? That was good. That profile I'm not doing. Yes, Wanda, you got it going on. You really gave us some peoples here to look at. Do we have any more? Oh, thank you, Wanda. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome to membership, guys. That one knows. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that a lot. Very much so, a lot, a lot, a lot. Is he still posting? Wait a minute. Is is he still posting? Is that what y'all are telling me? This man's still online? Wait. <laughs> thank y'all. Thank y'all very much. I really appreciate that. I really do. Um, are y'all saying that he's right now on Facebook posting? Mm, 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 mm. I hope that he's not. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, sugar. Like right now? Hold on. Fruitcake is on there now? Hold on, let me go check that for Luke. Oh, dang it, son. Can't you ever stay off of here? Let me look. Is he doing yeah, listen, he was up all night into the morning last night, all the way through it. Listen, I was watching this man do it. He's, That man right there was pretty good. Oh, that concrete car dog. Oh, that thing, listen, when I first seen that, that, that just hit me. With, that, didn't, that didn't sit well with me at all. There's something wrong with that all the way around. He posts crazy stuff. I mean, you're going to start reading this shit through you? I hate to be a cursing. If I can find him, let me see if he's posted tonight. Or I should say last night. Uh, he gets on there and gets to going like a loony tick. Let me go. Where you at, loony boom? Looney tick. Let me find out where loony tick is. Let me see. 
That fella ain't right. You want me to give him the link? Hold on. Send him the link. Is he still going? If I can find... Wait a minute. Let me go see if he's still going. Did y'all see him still going? Hell, I'll do it right now. Is he still going? I'll tell him to click the link. Hold on. Let me log into my Facebook on here. Is he still going? Good morning, my sweet Sally. Well, I don't care. Watch. I'll do it anymore. He should have clicked it when I gave him the opportunity to give me five minutes. Well, we'll find out. I'll just see this because I, I would like to ask him just that one question. I, I should think that he would do that. All right. Thank you. Let me go over here. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Facebook. Hold on. I'm going in. Y'all going to get me in trouble. <laughs> I don't care. He shouldn't act the fool. Sally, I know you're going to handle me. Hold on. Let me get him that. Hold on. I should be ashamed of myself back in my face. Hold on. Here you go there. Post. Post. Yeah. I, I did it. <laughs> Thank you, my Bella Marie. I did. I sent it. I try not to. Been very, very behaved and cooperative and kind. Let's see what happens. I'm looking. Says I'm trying to remember which one of these groups he is in. I'm good. I'm being really good, Sally. It, it's been a rough one. Um, uh, I gotta remember which group this man is in. I can't, shouldn't even say that word. Conversation and opinions on air pods and construction. Wait, what is this? He's usually going to grab the phone. I think he's in the one that uh, the Facebook group. I think he's the, in the one that uh, which one is that your aunt buddy? Hold on. Uh, which one are you in? Hold on. It's not the. Is it the where Sebastian? I think it's this one. Just the facts. I don't want to go back. All right. Let me see. Uh, let me see which one you're in there, bud. Let's see. He's in which one? Uh, finding Sebastian Rogers. Is that the one he's in? Just that one? I think I 
see it. Liam behaved. Okay, let me see. If he's posted anything. They got. <laughs> Let me close this. He ain't gonna click that link. He's scared. Respectfully, why are stepdad and mom not going to visuals? Let's see if he's deleted anything. Uh, I don't think he's gonna. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Twenty-two hours ago. Why didn't he answer this one? Didn't. Let's see. Okay, they're talking about that flashlight. Let's get into that. Have y'all read that one? Hello, Delphi. No, that's not true. That's a lie. Well, listen, that's a lie. It didn't happen. He's a liar. Tell him to, to produce that, please. If he'll produce that, Seth said earlier, like he said earlier, he offered himself, and he didn't need to take one. He offered himself. Now, that man originally said, and that is Mr. Leadfoot, he said he himself had taken one. Whoever Fifi is, is the one that had that convo. He said, and, and they said, the results he passed, and that was for himself. Now it's changed. So he needs to either pony up or stop lying. That lying stuff is crazy. The lying stuff is absurd. It's overwhelming crazy. Okay. okay let's see if he answers any of this stuff about the other ones. I bet he goes through here and starts deleting all this stupid stuff he's wrote, though, because he does look like an idiot. Let's see if he answers to this because it's the facts. Seth has been going out and doing all those things as far as searching, putting out flyers, everything. They've done nothing. Good morning, Harmony. Now let's see if he answers this. Oh, look, Chris Fine. Let's see. Why would he need to clarify? Yes, sir. Seth works for the sheriff's office in the jails. I am not saying if he is a deputy sheriff. I don't know what his title is exactly. I would reach out to him for that answer. Are you kidding me? Good morning, Ancient Ruby. That is what he did say um, on one of his posts as well. He did say that. Do I believe it? I don't know. He does not go out on patrols, if that's what you are asking. I hope that helps. Let's see what else he says. He is going to spread false information. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. He didn't want to give any false information. They're not 100% clear. That's not true. No one's 100% clear. Let's see what else we got.
if it's that dirty one, oh, good. Yeah, they have not been. No one's been cleared. That's a lie. talking about the interviews that the Proudfoots have been doing. Let's see what they say on this one. Because he's got to answer everything, right? Let's see what he's doing. I'm looking to find out what Mr. Proud foot has put up on here. Thirteen hours ago, he answered. Hold on, let me get this real quick because we're going to dive in. Well, he straight out lied because no one, no one has been clear. Because he's a liar. Let's see what he's done here. Right, this is the last one. So, okay. Day 22. First time I'm hearing this. The day I learned that an hour after Sebastian went to bed, which she reports is 9 p.m., got on the phone with Chris around 9.45. Then she yelled to him, I don't know what you're doing in there, but you need to go to bed. And also that when she discovered him missing, she jumped in the car and drove around the neighborhood and school while on the phone with Chris. And apparently law enforcement. Now let's see what this says here. Okay, because you know he answered. Got his name in that, so let's see. Found it yet? Have y'all found anything on that yet? <laughs> this is like a lot. They're like a hundred and some odd ones. Uh, Kevin, no sir, get down. It was down on his and knock on the door. <clears throat> Kevin, down. Good morning, Rusty. Thank you, sweetie. Catching up on Kevin's listening. Work. Well, good morning and thank you and thank you for that too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, this was, uh, this right here is a, the latest post, and I put his name right there for the results to be in that, where he's commented. So I've got to find where he's commented in this one. That's a lot to go through. They put a recent picture of Sebastian in here. They noticed that Chris does not wear a wedding ring. Let's see. Maybe that got him out of the bushes on that one. I don't know. This is 
is a lot to go through with these things. They got these three. Oh, I found him. What do you think law enforcement is going to show the video to first? Or who? I'm sorry. A news anchor or the family of Sebastian who can actually answer questions? I promise you we know more than Nick Barris from Channel 5. Then I got him pissed off. He's pissed. That was nine hours ago. Oh, please. This one thing has <laughs> Christopher Proudfoot. Can you, mom, dad, and neighbors look around dumpsters or Costco or Sam's restaurants? Many people dumpster dive for food. Sam's Club. Let's see what this says here. If he answered anything on this one, I don't think I don't think Chris is dumpster diving. Has anybody seen him dumpster dive? Oh, yes, honey. He's not happy about any of this. <laughs> He's big. Somebody. Nick is not getting get that interview. <laughs> God, he's not happy about that. <laughs> I don't know if he knows what he looks like doing all that. <laughs> Back to that cell in the corner. It's too weird. He said, I love you to the puppies and to her went to bed. That was the original story. Let's see. Because the dispatch call was released and it wasn't until the dispatch 639 so she's trying to do damage control oh shit they're gonna have him wired up in the morning <laughs> this is gonna be rough he's gonna be all over the place I don't know if he's dumpster diving, but they turned to go dumpster dive. <laughs> you got to get through all 176 of these. This is just off of one post, y'all. Jesus. Oh, my God. <sighs> Do you got anything else on this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did post on that. He got pissed off and he left. It's like a hundred and some odd paint. Yeah, 176. Yeah, he's pissed. <laughs> I can't imagine him dumpster diving. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see if he answered this one. I think he must have. Oh my god. <laughs> he gets mad. Have y'all ever seen anybody do this that gets this mad? I think he does make excellent money. Um, um but other than that I don't know. Oh my gosh. Christopher Proudfoot, this goes out to JLR, has asked for an interview. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Y'all are wrong. Yes, that one's the, my, yeah, I would, that right there. His mother, his father, his sister, yes, I will say that right there. Because they are truly hurting. This is not a game to them at all okay i don't reckon he's gonna hit that link for jlr at all 
this is a lot to go through. I can't get through all of these. But I'm sure he's on here P.O. <laughs> uh, did you all see the one with him, though, that he did say, um, I'm not going to stop. He said, I'm not stopping. And I was like, what? <laughs> Yeah, I said, this is crazy. And they were going back and forth. That is true, too, Alicia. That is true. But I'm going to say, though, with their, uh, their Navy career... You know, they got that VA loan, of course, for their home. Uh, I'm not saying that they're wealthy. I'm not going to say that. I'm, I'm probably going to say that they're not. Well, they're probably not hurting. I had a five. Uh, or, I mean, at least four X's. I don't, I, shoot, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't know. That's another thing. They have nice things. I don't know. Uh, and see, that would have to be, part of that right there would have to be in, I'm not, a, I mean, I'm personally not at liberty to talk about that. Uh, so I would say that uh, what you're saying, mm -hmm. you might have a point on that. In truth, you might have a point on that. I mean, he's hardly home. You know, he lives in that camper. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, I know that he has to make great money. I've, I've heard that from several people, but I don't know. It, it might be, and I, I don't know. And I've missed something. I don't know about that, though. I just have heard, I've heard that he's made, he makes good money. I don't know what he makes. It's, I'll say this, you can't take it with you. You just cannot. And, and that's a fact, you can't take it with you. I don't think he's in it. Hello, my Gracie. Do they have nice vehicles? Absolutely do have nice vehicles. Uh, could they be financed? They could be. I don't know. They're all, they're, it, they're new things. But is it something that's going to impress me? No. I wouldn't have paid for that stuff. But that's just, that's me. That's the difference, though. Give me some, some mesh and some decorations, and I will make you the best wreath ever. Um. And I could sit here and also, of course, start crowd, you know, sourcing and figuring out some stuff. You know, in some ways, I see what you're saying, Quinny, but here's the thing. I don't know how he was going to be a burden because his father has never not wanted him. His father booked it here to live and got here within four months of them moving here so he always had a place here with his father if that makes sense so he would never be a burden to them at all and he was going to his father's uh he was going to his daddy. 
And that was something he did want. I wonder if, do you think that JLR would get mad if I played his stream? Also, I don't well, but what's EFT? I don't know what EFT is. Again, the phrase. There's some things, and I'm sure that'll come out later that I'm not, I mean, I'm not at liberty to speak on and I'm not going to, uh, because it, I'm just not going to do that if somebody, uh, they says something to me in confidence, and that's that's something that we've spoke about. Um, I don't want to hinder anything, and I think that when the time is right for anything to come out, it'll come out on that part right there. Would he be okay if I played his video? Okay, thank you. Because I want I want to play that. I just want to play the one. <laughs> Where oh my god, he is the, the man ain't right. I'm sorry, the man ain't right. But it's funny. Some of it's funny. Uh, and I agree with every single thing. I, don't, I mean, but I agree with most of it. He's funny. Love you, Miss Bella Murray. Yes, uh, he has. He's had that Gerber life insurance policy. Let's see, where is that one? He had, he had one up today. Let's see. Uh, I want. If, if he's on his way here, wait. What happened to the one today? I know there's one today. Thank you, Rusty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome, Megan. Thank you, Rusty. I don't know, but he's, he had that on him, and he actually stipulated how long he had had that on him. Which one was it that he did today that made me mad? laugh. I was kind of laughing because it was funny what he said. Is it this? Wasn't a very long one. Uh, yes, he was young when he bought that. this one. Let's do it. Well, I always say, uh, my, I'll post one. I'll post it myself, too. Hold on. Because I always say, a mod post his uh, channel. Hold on. Uh, I'll do it. Uh, paste. That's for JLR. Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? I think I did. All right. I think I got it. Yes. And if you haven't watched JLR, listen. He pops on, and it is kind of funny when he starts in. But I was following him when they were uh, arguing, and it, it was funny. Sorry. He's, yeah, he is. Welcome back, welcome back. 
And this was kind of funny because he had him really like you could tell he was butt was uh, his butt was the squaws on this one. I could tell it. It was either this one or it was the other one. <laughs> but they were duking it out in <laughs> Let me try this one. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, Gracie, thank you. Okay, once these commercials go through, we'll put it on. Yes, and if you have not subscribed to JLR Investigates, you need to check it out. Oh, I didn't miss. I think I missed this one. Right there. Come on. I can turn the commercial on your back. I can get that commercial. Let's get that one. Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, everyone. And we are live. JLR Investigates, come on in. Got a lot to discuss. A lot to discuss. Sebastian Rogers' case. It's three weeks now. Three weeks. Three weeks since this tragedy happened. Where is 15-year-old Sebastian Rogers? The parents last night actually spoke on a YouTube channel. Did you guys listen to that interview? One thing I my take on that situation is, Man, no oh man, the dad seems to be speaking on behalf of the mom the entire time. Why in all these interviews the dad does most of the talking? True. Can anyone explain that? Christopher Proudfoot responded to me too, by the way. I'm going to show the oh, correspondence. Yeah. Trying to get him to come on JLR and <laughs> investigates to come share his side of the story. <laughs> I flat out was honest in, um, with my opinion about him, feeling that him and Katie are involved with what happened. To, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I told him that. I also said, but, you know, he said to me, uh, you know, it's, I'll be profiting off his son and I should profit off his son or whatever like that. But guess what? What happened to the uh, live they went on last night site when all those cash apps and everything like that was being circulated around? Katie Proudfoot promoting the channel and sending the cash app around to donate for certain causes. What about the other channels that Christopher Proudfoot spoke to? The bigger networks that have all the big sponsors and advertisers. You, you don't think they profit? The journalists? You don't think the journalists that interviewed Chris Proudfoot have done it for free? So what I gave him was an actual proposal. An interesting proposal. Listen to this. I definitely see a guilty conscience in Christopher Proudfoot's mind. I'd like to hear more from Katie Proudfoot, but it seems like lately it's it's Christopher overtaking the conversation yep. and shielding and protecting. He wants to argue. Um, another thing I'm a little disappointed is, uh, you know, I know a lot of people, and I've been seeing some people in the comments, and people, we're in a big Facebook group uh, to help find Sebastian. I'm going to show right. you the Facebook group you guys got to join. It's a great group. Uh, we're very objective. You know, we allow people with all opinions to share their insights about Sebastian. Whether you feel like the parents are not involved, whether you feel like there's a kidnap or whatever the situation, wish, we allow all types of conversations. But last night, a little bit disappointed in the chat uh, on this live where people were asking Christopher questions because it seems like the moderators were very, they were betting and weren't allowing certain comments. We got timed out for simply asking simple questions like, you know, can anyone bow for Christopher's alibi the night in the 25th or the 26th? Or questions like, uh, is Chris 100% uh, supporting Katie? Just simple questions, not disrespectful. And I've heard other people make um, same complaints that they weren't getting, you know, they're, they're, they were getting timed out. If we want to find out what happened to Sebastian, I think all conversations, all theories are on the table here. And you should allow people to have a healthy discussion and ask the tough questions. Yep. Not like in a like like a safe space, you know, and it, it you know, I hope this doesn't turn into a situation where the Proudfoots hang out on channels or hang out on certain areas where people are coddling, enabling them, uh, you know, shielding them. It's, it's not it's not productive. I don't think it is. I don't think it is at all. But we're talking about Sebastian, folks. We're talking about Sebastian. And I just read that local community members have uh, contributed $3,000 into finding him, local businesses collectively. But we're talking about Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. It's a very unique name. I like that. Wayne Drake Rogers. And you do realize that this young man has family members that have uh, actually have uh, money. So I'm curious as to why uh, just being honest here why business people you know around here and there are donating and uh, they're not throwing in a big hunk if you get my drift I don't know whose interview this is I don't I will. I will. Just saying. Just saying. 
male, white, 5'5", 120. Very uh, contagious smile. Uh, I told Christopher in the chat that the whole world is watching. This is not just a Tennessee thing. This is now a national interest case. This is now a national interest case, right? Last scene, uh, around the parents' home, Stafford, Hendersonville. Uh, what's going on here, folks? What's going on with this case? But a lot of people have a lot of insight about you know, uh, their thoughts on the whole situation. Because it's now three weeks. How long is this going to go on? How long is this going to go on? But I did have a conversation with Mr. Christopher. And I'm going to share that first. I'm going to get this conversation up. Let me actually get it in my chat. And then uh, we'll have a conversation here. And we'll share what I talked to. Because I reached out. To him. He finally responded to me after I think a lot of people put pressure on him to say, hey, JLR is willing to speak to you. JLR actually spoke and reached out because Chris claimed that, um, you know, I didn't reach out to him. And I'm trying to do what every other journalist, whatever anyone else could do. Uh, you know, trying to get answers from him, trying to reach out, I'll offer an olive branch. Yeah, I have my opinions about that, but I can put my opinions aside. Definitely can have a conversation respectfully. We've done that before on this channel when we spoke to suspects in the case. Never, uh, you never get me losing my temper or arguing with people back and forth. No, I just want to hear them out, ask questions, hear them out, let you guys, the viewers, ask questions too. Uh, you know, non censored. I mean, as long as they're respectful, not, you know, but here we go. Here's the conversation. Here's the conversation I sent to Chris Proudfoot. Here we go. So, uh, and look, he's active 10 minutes ago. So, We'll talk. Let's talk. Let's see what this is about. Hello, sir. I haven't seen one photograph or video of you out there searching for your stepson, Sebastian. Have you not searched for him? Let's search for him together. Are you down? JLR. And I sent this March 6th. I love it. So I sent this, uh, what was it, 12 days ago. I was actually out, out in New Mexico, in Texas, and was willing to go up to um, Tennessee to help and assist. So then finally this morning, I get a message, 5.08 a.m., now, he was up late last night. Him and Katie were up late last night talking on a YouTube channel called Duchess. Uh, good morning. After reading your message, what does a picture or video of me or my wife searching for our son got to do with this investigation, <laughs> with his investigation? I mean, what? What I have or have not done to search for my stepson is what business of yours? Well, I mean, he does have a point. To be quite honest, sir, you're asking me questions is absolutely hilarious. Why is it funny? Why me asking questions is funny? It should be the other way around. How are you going to make videos about me and my wife and say some of the things you have said and expect me to entertain this? Interesting. Why? So I respond at nine o'clock this morning. I got up a little late this morning, but I got up on Facebook and I'm like, oh, look, Christopher responded to me. Hello. Here you go. Thank you for finally responding. Yes. I 100% believe you and your wife, Katie, are involved in what happened to Sebastian. So does thousands that follow. I also spoken with your neighbors, community members, and unnamed sources that provide me insight about you and Keith. I know a lot, Chris, more than you think, and gathering more intel as we speak. Giving you an opportunity to set the record straight. Come on my channel. Where is it? Come on my channel to speak. Clear the air. I'll be respectful in questioning and hearing your side. Your lack of information and word salad to the public puts you in a negative light. This is not going away, Christopher. Yep. And then I responded again. Everyone just wants to find Sebastian. I'm sure you understand. He should. And then what happened was I didn't get a response, but I saw his little, I saw that little uh, mark here in the. Here at Papa John's, we know our stuff. So try our garlic epic stuffed crust pizza made with our icon. He read it. He read the he read the messages and he didn't respond. So I respond again. Hello, sir. I see you're reading my comments. What's going on? How do you feel this morning? It's been three weeks now. Was told you and Katie were riding motorcycles around for a joy ride over the weekend, and that's what I was told. I'll tell you a little secret. Your own neighbors are watching you. Every move you make, they are documenting everything. Wouldn't surprise me if they have been tracked if they have tracking devices on your vehicles. If you are the lesser of evil in this, I strongly advise you to cooperate with authorities for the best deal. Do you know what happens to people who go to prison for hurting a child? The inmates are animals. Also, Seth is L.E. This is involving a child of L.E. Bad move, pal. Then he responds. Very interesting coming from a convicted felony. 
I would like to say thank you for all the attention you are putting towards our son's case. At least you are keeping it fresh. Well, I appreciate that. And I respond back to him. Yes, I am a convicted felon. I've served my time and now I live productively and successfully with a big platform. That's chat, Chris. My audience wants to find Sebastian. He responds, chatting with you so you can profit off our son's case is not something anyone should condone. Here is the real good question for you. Since you are speaking out on your channel about us, what evidence do you have that makes us guilty? If what you have or know is so strongly strong, please report it to law enforcement. I respond right here. Get it here. The platform you already spoke to on spoke on profited. Channel last night you spoke on, your wife was promoting their cash app. People were leaving super chats. I don't make much money on YouTube, Chris. That's not my primary source of income. What we can do, though, is you come on my channel to bring awareness to Sebastian and any money made from that interview, I will donate it all to charity like St. Jude's Hospital or a children's cause. This is not about making money. This is about finding truth on what happened to your stepson, Sebastian. He responds, you still haven't you still haven't addressed what evidence you have against me and my wife to assume that we're guilty. What evidence do you have? And if you have any, why haven't you gone to law enforcement? I respond. I don't have any evidence because I'm not L.E. I'm an investigative journalist spreading awareness and keeping my viewers informed. Get down. Sorry. I was actually on the southern border covering the migrant crisis for the last two weeks, but I felt obligated to covering Sebastian's case because my audience cares about finding Sebastian. A lot of my viewers are from Tennessee. This has now turned into a national case. No response. And he saw this. This was hours ago. So maybe you'll respond. Maybe we're not. You know, we are speaking on the record. I would like to speak to Chris. Um, it's interesting. He's asking me what evidence I have about the case. I don't have any of it. I got the same amount of stuff that you all have. I'm not, I don't have anything. What I do have though, is a lot of inside information about them as people. What I do have is people communicating with me from that community. What I do have is people communicating with me from New Mexico. What I do know is a lot what you all know. And right now it's a mystery. My opinion, I think Christopher and Katie are involved. I will say I tr have trust and faith in law enforcement. And if law enforcement comes out and says the parents are cleared, then we'll put out the parents are cleared. Now we'll have to believe the law enforcement. But they haven't done that. And, you know, we cover cases on JLR Investigates. We've covered the Moscow, Idaho 4. Notice something from the beginning with the Oscar, uh, Moscow, Idaho 4 case is they flat out said roommates not involved, hoodie man not involved. Ex or boyfriend, Jack the Cord, not involved. They flat out said it from the get-go. Not involved, not involved, not involved. So that's whether you want to believe that or not, but the fact that they did that. But with this particular case, why isn't law enforcement three weeks into this flat out saying parents are not involved? We can exclude the parents. Let's move on to other possible stuff. They haven't. So until, until they do that, I feel like Christopher and Katie are involved. I don't know if you guys feel the same. I'm with I don't know if you guys feel the same. I agree. I think there's a guilty conscience going on, and I think there was a little bit about him worrying about what I know. But each video that we make and each time we bring awareness to the situation, more people from that community are coming out of the woodwork, and they are sharing information with me. And I appreciate that. People centered. People know this family. I know more than he thinks I know. But as far as a crime committed, I don't have any evidence. I have no evidence that a crime was committed. I don't have any type of that. I mean, to me, there's a lot of fishy things. I would love to know Mr. Proudfoot's alibi from the night of the 25th into the 26th in the morning. I want to know what time Christopher Proudfoot arrived home on the 26th in the morning, the 26th. Supposedly this call was 639. Also, some people are like the mother noticed Sebastian missing around six. It took like 40 minutes, 30 something minutes for her to even call and report. I'd like to be on the fly on the wall and listen to the conversation where Chris claims he called Seth to tell Seth what's going on. I like to know these things. What time Chris, what time was Chris? Where was Chris whereabouts? Great. Where were you? I want to know, I want out of Chris's mouth, does he believe and support Katie 100% and vice versa? I just want to know these questions. I mean, law enforcement is putting out what's going on with this case. We have a right as the public because it's your taxpayer's Brilliant. money being used out there. And that's just part of this. We have the right to, to, to speculate until there's a resolution. We have a right to bring awareness to this case. And we're not going away. We're just not going away. But there's a lot of other things that are like weird. One particular, did you hear his response yesterday to the polygraph? They did not. Take because he was pushed a little bit about the polygraph. He's but it seemed like to me it was like word salad. Now, we got a group. I, I want you guys, if you guys get the chance, 
please join this group. We got a great group. We got a great Facebook group. We got great admins. We got truth seeking sleuths. The best in the biz in this chat or in this group. We have a group called the Mysterious Disappearance of Sebastian Rogers. I'm an admin in there along with many other people. And we ask the tough questions. We dig deeply. We got sleuths all around the net that know a lot. And we go from old photos and old posts and newest and latest and developments. I show, we, look, we even compare Chris to Don Wells. <laughs> Is this starting to turn into a Don Wells? <laughs> well, we got a lot of things in this chat. And I strongly recommend all of you join. We got 4,000 members. It's growing. So screenshot this. Come on in. Let's get a conversation going. If you're local in Tennessee, come on in. We want to know. We want to know what's going on. We want to know who's doing what up there. We want to bring awareness to this young man. But this was a question that was presented. This was last night when they were asking Chris about the polygraph. He said some things, and then the question was asked upon him again, and this was his response. This was his response. Chris has been dodging whether or not he specifically took a polygraph test. Finally, he was pushed to elaborate. This is what he said. I didn't specify who or when. What I can tell you is everything has been vetted completely. Polygraphs have come back as passed. What does that even mean? Did he take a polygraph or not? No, he's lied. Who took the polygraphs? Uh, Did he take well, a polygraph or not? He offered. He offered. This, this one here. I see Smiley's talking. World in, in the chat. Smiley's World, thank you for everything you do in Tennessee. I saw you were very passionate and a little bit angry yourself on that interview last night listening to Proudfoot. I know you take these cases seriously, particularly Summer Wells. So I, I, I saw your video. I saw kind of like some other people making videos to respond to what the Proudfoots have said. You could hear Katie Proudfoot speaking a little bit in that in that interview last night, but it was mostly Chris that's doing the talking. Is he really like covering for her? My friend Jay for Justice, I like Jay for Justice. For Justice. I don't know if you guys know for Jay for Justice, but she put an interesting post yes. out. What's your take that. on this? Nail. Are these nail marks on Sebastian's I dad's that, arm? I was wondering about that myself. They looked like And it. this oh, was in that interview. We um, saw that interview, right? But apparently, I don't know. Guys, review this interview. Did you guys see anything on the arms there? Now, the interview would happen, what, days after? They they didn't speak for days after Sebastian went missing. We didn't even know what this what was going on in this case to about, about five or six days later, right? When they first publicly came out and said what was going on. And I asked Chris a valid question. Any photographs or videos of him searching? Now, he was asked that last night, and I heard him say something about handing out flyers. Not him. But is there any videos of mother or stepfather no. going out in the trenches, putting their shoes no. on, and going out through the woods, through the no. neighborhoods, trekking through the construction area behind their house, anywhere looking for this young man? Because None. I haven't found any. I don't believe they did. I believe they let everyone else do it. I didn't see him. I didn't see him search. Why? If they didn't search, why? If they searched, they stayed home. I'd like to know because I think that's important. His father did. I think that's important. Well, I'm sure TBI has their behavioral people and they, you know, they're probably building a circumstantial case. And I really do think this is an investigative case. I mean, they are investigating, right? They were at the house. But why does he dodge these type of questions? Uh, Here's some other things that were presented in this interview. Yesterday. Things. Here's some more. Yes, right here. I follow him, actually. How did you know that? Bro? Interviewer asked Katie if Sebastian takes any meds the night that might make him sleepy. After a pause, Christopher responds that for HIPAA reasons, oh they cannot say what meds he took. Liar. This is not how HIPAA works, by the way. So is that, did he say anything about the meds? And then say, for HIPAA reasons, they cannot say what meds he took. They can say whatever they want to say. Here's the thing about it is, who is strangleholding the Proudfoots in saying that we can't They're say this or the other? Any of the individuals. Who's telling them and making them? Uh, what, I mean, Smith, don't you think Marksville, if your child was missing, you would give the public every single meticulous detail and talk to every single platform you could possibly do? Live three You'll see any local politicians rallying around not the Proudfoots. Matter of fact, there was a city, there was somebody locally, uh, I guess a city council member or something like that, doing a vigil. Doing a vigil yesterday, and the Proudfoots weren't even there. That's the third vigil that the Proudfoots did not attend. There's another one. That's the third. As well. Three vigils thus far. And I want to show you something. There has been like an excuse on each and every single yeah, one of them. They didn't excuse law enforcement. Not to attend. 
And this is Christopher Proudfoot's excuse for not attending the vigils. Remember, there was one at the school. Trash. And I'm, the, I'm going to judge him. And I'm gonna this is his excuse. I feel. I'll, I'll, and I put this out on my Twitter account like at JLR Investigates. Christopher Proudfoot finding excuses not to attend any vigils for Sebastian Rogers. Well, I know of three vigils that have taken place. One, we were dealing with the law enforcement agency. Liar. Number two, one, because of security. Liar. And three, one, we were not informed of it, and it was in Clarksville where the biological Liar. father lived. So he's claiming he didn't attend the three because, one, at the time, the first one, he was dealing with law enforcement. Two, for security reasons. I don't know what they mean by that. And three, the other one was by the biological father, which is within an hour drive, right? Not so hard to drive an hour to make a difference and show awareness for your son. You know what? Your stepson. I got to stop him on that one. It's not his excuses. His his excuses not to go to vigils. Excuses not okay, they, dealing with law enforcement. You know what? His father was there. His father drove that hour. He did. His father drove the whole hour. His father hasn't stopped searching. They haven't searched him once. They live three minutes from the high school, Beach High School. Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Hold on. Hold on.
not to go in the public, but you can go in the public and ride motorcycles all weekend with Katie. Joyriding, probably your last joyride before something happens, I think. But get those joyrides in. If they don't have motorcycles in prison. You might be making motorcycle plates if you're convicted, a convict. <laughs> you know, imagine Katie Proud with orange and black making motorcycle. She likes motorcycles. Imagine her making motorcycle, uh, motorcycle license plates. Most people have no clue that in 2023, the best way to make money on Amazon. Red flags all the way. Doo, 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 doo. Police need to do a presser. And I think the police need to do a presser to give the public confidence. Even the great Jennifer Coffin Dapper, former FBI agent, I follow on Twitter. I think she covers, I think she's very passionate with her job. She's a little suspect about this case. She put out a tweet. Jennifer Coffin Dapper, today, flashlight, no shoes, dog scent ended at a construction site. True. Stepdad wishy washy of where he was publicly. Proudfoot's not exactly beating the pavement to look for their son. They're look at the actions and interviews son. of Riley Strain's parents. Whole big difference, folks, between what Riley Strain's family and the Proudfoot's. Not all parents act like act alike when their child goes missing, but there is a general range. These parents are outside that range. Based on experience, I know children with autism can wonder. They like to go to water, but barefoot? I remain very concerned as to what happened to Sebastian Rogers. Yeah, I think we all do. See, you're getting this information from a, a former FBI agent who covers true crime cases. And she's kind of suspect about the whole situation. Mm -hmm. People are like, what in the world is going on? I don't know. Proudfoot, he's more than welcome to come on JLR Investigates. I do think he has a guilty uh, conscience. Another thing people put out that's interesting is he refuses to speak to male reporters. Now, I, I'm not nobody special. He's not, I mean, he's not, you know, I'm like, okay, he has to speak to JLR, but no. But he's a chance to use a platform and share share some details. What? Provide insight. Here's your opportunity on someone that has been staying with this case every single day. And we use logic on this channel. We do. We got under 70,000 subs. We're invested in this. We're not going away. So the quietness is suspect to me. Nick Barris, he had a chance to go Nick Barris. Flaked ghost on him, kind of like a date that's about, <laughs> kind of like, you know, you're setting up a date with somebody and you get bound and you get, you get played at the very last second. Yeah. Yeah. There's something fishy about this. There's something fishy about what is going on. I didn't specify who or when, but what I can tell you is everything has been vetted completely. Polygraphs have come back as passed. It's like down in, buddy. Um, tell subjects, possible suspects, that they passed the polygraph on the spot. Eh, I don't know. Do they? Also, here's another thing, and it was validated last night by Chris. He validated about the GoFundMe that Seth brought. He all three, all of them were supposed to be like on the same page or something like that, and told them to take down that GoFundMe. Not gonna happen. He validated it. Look at this. This is coming. Look at this. Look at this. Won't be happening. Not or aunt. Aunt. I'm sorry. The aunt. The aunt of Sebastian. Not the grandmother. Sorry. The aunt. The aunt of Sebastian Rogers. Seth Rogers' sister. Yes. It's claiming that Christopher Proudfoot is threatening possible legal action against her if she doesn't take a GoFundMe down to St. Sebastian. And this is coming from Seth Rogers' sister. Sister. I would like to thank everyone for all your support through this. I would also like to thank people who have shared the GoFundMe. I shared it on my personal page, but did not share it on any of the pages. As I was told by Christopher, if I didn't take it down, I would be hearing from his attorney. Well, let's hear from the attorney. What? We're good. What's that all about? Exactly. But meanwhile, Katie Proudfoot can put up some channels cash app to say, hey, help, help, help bring awareness to my son. This is their GoFundMe. This is their GoFundMe. They raised $4,900. Finding Sebastian actually, Rogers family support. This is coming from the family of the Rogers. And Christopher is now con contacting them, telling them, you'll hear from my attorney if you don't take this down. Also saying is, hello, Sarah Swank, 
I am the aunt of Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers and the sister of Seth Rogers. As many of you know, my nephew Sebastian has been missing since the early hours in the morning, February 26th. Since Monday morning, my brother had been out of work as he continues this heartbreaking journey to find his son. With that said, I would like to reach out to see if anyone could pull together to help him a little financially. We're talking about Seth Rogers, who's out there looking. Right. And it's at uh, 5,400 now. See how fast that that has popped up? Y'all suck at JLR. go away in situations like this. Any little bit would help take the stress off him. I would like to thank you in advance for your donations to your prayers and continue searching, find bring home Sebastian safely. So basically Chris is telling this family, the Rogers, take down that GoFundMe. No. It's almost like he doesn't want Seth Rogers and the Rogers and their tribe and their clan to go out there and look for Sebastian. He's like, take it down. As if he doesn't, you know, he doesn't, he wants Seth to it's go back to work and that. forget. <laughs> no, people are not going to forget. This is not going away. I tried to tell Christopher, this is not going away. It's not about that. It's not, not even about that. You have to do the daddy from the earlier. Validated, uh, wanted us to share, validated that Robin was, Robin was his mother, that Robin was talking about, you know, the, the step parents being, sus, you know, Katie and, and stepdad being suspects. So if you, uh, I'll put this in the link. But yeah, absolutely. I support supporting Seth Rogers in his quest to find truth. He's out there. I know for a fact he's out there. I was told. He's out there trying to find. He's out there searching. He's literally, remember this. He's taking off work and going 70 miles down to the Sumner County. He's hanging from there and he's looking around. He's out there. He's out there trying to find his son that he was supposed to get permanent custody of or custody of in the summertime once school was out. And Proudfoot doesn't want this GoFundMe up. He he confirmed it last night in his own mouth. So it's it's true. But why? I, I forget the kind of excuse it's he made. Damn for Seth too, man. I'm gonna try to get good. Seth on and hear how he's doing, how he's uh hanging out, you know, hanging anything that he wants to share on JLR Investigates. Stick Anyone knows Seth, come reach out to me. Up. I'd love to you know, see how he's doing, how he's holding up, up, what's going on, anything we can do to help yeah. amplify the message. It is now share. Over um, it doesn't look good for the crowd man. Yeah, it long. seems like they're worried more worried about what people are saying on 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 YouTube, Facebook, and it seems like they're trying to align with people that would be like coddling them. And enabling them, you know what I'm saying? And kind of like the Wells, Don and Candace Wells, you know, they got their little small minority groups that 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 shield them and solicit funds for them in their name. I see like this possibly going on, but at the same time, I don't think law enforcement's dummies. And you know, I have faith and trust in Sumner County um, uh, and TBI, even though TBI, you That's know, with right. Sumner Wells has been over a, a thousand days. I hope it doesn't end that way with this and we, we don't get a resolution, but I definitely see guilty conscious. And I made this, I even made this meme. And you know, this is a little sarcastic, but I stay true to my convictions until proven otherwise. Yes. Right here. So yeah, change my mind. And I'm open to be changing my mind. Again, I will respect what law enforcement says. I'm following what law enforcement puts out there. Yep. And until law enforcement says that the stepdad and the mother are cleared, I'm gonna feel that they're involved. Or they do some sort of direction where they say they're looking at, they found some evidence of some camera. Or anything and maybe Sebastian wandered off. I just don't I just don't buy that, it's that story that he wandered off. I don't about them. It's not about him. He's not his father. Seth is Sebastian's father, not him. Uh, Seth is the father that's out there searching every day for his son, not Loudfoot. That Go fund me has nothing to do with that moron. He needs to shut that F all the way up. Period. Period. And stop running his mouth. Maybe keep his hands to himself and not him. Thank you. He is Sean. The action. Sure he is. Yes, Lauren does stuff here. Uh, actually, he really is. Uh, he's doing the damn thing. Uh, they're not doing shit. They haven't hit the ground doing a damn thing. And until they do, I don't have nothing to say. No empathy. None. 
don't like control freaks like that and never will. Never. But what we will listen to that I do like is this right here. When you hear something like this, we listen. Me too. Alicia, me too. We'll listen to this. This is from a real woman. A real woman. Of Sebastian. Seth's mother. That's correct. And you have a message. Yeah, I do. Um, first, what I'd like to say and what I'd like to ask of everybody, podcasters, everybody, is do not refer to Christopher Proudfoot as my grandson father, dad, whatever. He is Katie Crowder's husband. My son, Seth Rogers, is his dad. First and foremost. And people need to quit calling Christopher his dad because he's not. Secondly, I want everybody to know that I don't play around. I'm going to turn over every rock, stone, pebble, grain of sand until my grandson is brought home and whoever and everyone involved are prosecuted to the fullest. Do you have plans to, to come here to Tennessee? We, we were there for 10 days. Mm -hmm. We live in, in Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, and we will be back uh, when Seth wants us to come. If he needs us, Mm -hmm. uh, and certainly when Sebastian is found, we will be back. Anything you have to say to the mother? Katie, I want my grandson found. And if you have information, I don't care who tells you not to. You need to tell what you know. And for my grandson, if he is able to hear this, Mima loves you, Pepad loves you, we want you home. We want you home. So you can come to Texas this summer. And I do believe in Easter, Easter miracles. So my goodness, yeah. you come. That's from a <sighs> real woman. And that is that's his grandmother. That is the grandmother here. Does Grandpa want to say anything, or does he stand by what you said? Yes. All right. Thank you. That you know. I know his favorite song, but I know that his dad says that's not his favorite song. I'd heard that. Is there anything that you that, that he likes that stands out to you? Oh, Sebastian loved animals. He loves animals. No. In fact, um, when I asked him what he wanted um, for his birthday, his birthday is the same day as his great uncle's and his dad. December 7th, the same uh -huh. day as my dad's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, he wanted books about animals and about plants. Oh. So, um, along with clothing, which I always buy, buy for him, mm -hmm. uh, I bought like, a bunch of uh, books on animals and plants, and he was so excited when he got them. Uh, oh. Yeah. And we would talk about, I before we moved to San Antonio, I had chickens. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would talk about the chickens, and, and when, one of the things that he asked for um then um i asked him what he wanted for his birthday christmas was he wanted pictures of my dogs we have two old boston terriers Aww. and he loves Mom, uh, maggie and annie and he mm -hmm. wanted pictures of the puppies so he loved the puppies now when did you ever know him to be a person that or, or a child that would go outside at night or, no. how about yeah, without his not. shoes absolutely not so not unless, not unless he was with somebody and he was going from point A to point B with somebody. So and was he ever a runner? No. Never. 
had reason to, but he never did. Right. And is there things like when he was with you all, did he like electronics? Oh, he, he's always loved electronics. He's always loved games. Um, and I would play games with him. Mm -hmm. he, he loved trying to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Um, so he likes games. But, but he would be in the kitchen with me. You know, he, he loved to help help me cook, and he loved to help me set the table and, and doing that sort of thing. Um, and, uh, you know, his, his mom used to say that he wouldn't eat a lot of things, but when he was at my house, he ate everything I ever put in front of him. Aww. So he, he, liked his, he likes his mom's cooking. So he's a happy-go-lucky little rambunctious boy. A normal kid. <laughs> when he's with his dad, I can say that, that he is. He's happy. I mean, he's like any other kid. Yeah. He gets moody. He gets moody. He gets tired. He gets even more moody. You know? And he's not, you know, jolly jolly 100% of the time. Mm -hmm. He's a kid. Right. For the most part, when I when he was around us, um, he's, he was a happy kid. He's a happy kid. Did he ever seem like he worried about anything? Yeah. Being at his mother's house. Would he talk about it? Yeah. He talked to me about lots of things. But I'm, I'm not in a position to talk to okay, him. Okay, no, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. But most of the time, he was just, he's a happy kid. Most of the time, he's a really happy kid. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, all I can say is when he's at his dad's house or when he was at our house. That's um, his happy time. Really happy kid. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Happy kid. Happy little boy. Good morning, Cyber. Good morning, crazy cat mama. We got Seth Rogers. This is Sebastian's father, and he's got a message. And you're. I need my son returned to me. I need my son to come home. I'm waiting. Okay. 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 So, if anybody knows where he's at, if anybody may have him, okay. he's warning his son. What's his son? Let go. Let go. He had structure with his father. That's where his structure is. That's where he's happy. It's his happy place. He's free to be a little boy. That's where he's happy. And that's where he is happy. Yeah, I can't answer that. I, I wish I could answer a lot of things. I could. I, I wish I could say a lot of stuff. I can't. If we had uh, probably a total of six hours of conversation on the phone yesterday. Everything I have said, I meant. I meant what I said. Every word of it. I will stand behind this father until the end, no matter what. And I'll do the same with his grandmama, his granddaddy, his aunt. And I will help and continue to help search. I know there's a lot of people that are going to be doing the same thing because you learn not all mothers are good mothers and not all fathers are bad fathers. Somebody taught me that. Yeah. And 
some people need to think about that before they judge someone. Yes, it is. It started out, I think, uh, last night. Was it two something? I almost it was almost at three, and now it's at fifty something, five thousand something. I don't know. Or you will, which you will. And hopefully he'll get to that goal. And um, that right there is just providing a man that is, you know, he is in law enforcement. Um, that can't not work right now. Um, his mental health matters too. It does matter. He's out there looking for his son. He's not out there partying up and hooping. He's not. And he didn't live around the corner either. He doesn't. And I think our state here is called a something for a reason. If we think about that too, yeah, that right there is new because um, yeah, yeah, that's new right there because that was when he did when he was younger. So that stuff right there just coming out too. All of a sudden, that's your fourth story. I think there was four to five stories. thinking what you know, but that man sat up here and I know he's tired there's no way he's not tired because he hasn't given up he hasn't stopped he's got plans in motion still and maybe and he's just one person but I don't see the other doing that. I see that one over there worried about fighting on uh, Facebook. That's that's ignorance and lying. It's my opinion. I dropped him a link. I, <laughs> he could have clicked on him, <laughs> but he don't want the hard hard question because he couldn't answer it. It did sound like she was on oh, it. I thought that myself. I know that the continuance probably, yeah, I'm going to say that. Um, just have a little bit of a different opinion on certain little bitty things. And I just can't say anything about that right now. And I'm going to wait. But a child just doesn't vanish in the thin hair. I mean, the next thing, as I said earlier, what is it going to be now? He was abducted by aliens. Really? I mean, you can't just make this stuff up. We've got him growling at people, having to be squuzzed. Uh, now we've got him being yelled at to tell him to go to bed. Somebody with him. She hears people outside. We didn't know any of that stuff. Just like we did not know how old this child was like, as far as his date of birth when he first went missing. We knew he was 15. We didn't know if he was uh, autistic, would, would he verbal, nonverbal. We didn't know what part of the spectrum he was on. We were told he was a runner, never had a run in his life. Everything that we were sold on, well, who told us that? We didn't find out anything until that vigil, they didn't attend, but his dad did. Why didn't we know that he would be moving in with his father, who had already had everything set up for school? Why didn't we know about that? We didn't know about that. Didn't have a clue. Nothing about that. Don't you think that's important? to know that there was going to be custody exchanging. 
pants. I think that's important. But maybe it's not the sun. I don't know. I think it is important. A lot of things that I think were very important in the very first couple of days that we should have known we didn't know anything about. So what did we have to do? Find out on our own. <laughs> Good morning, Cotton Candy, and welcome. I agree with you on that, Cotton Candy. I have my feelings. On some of this. What you, I was about to say, what she said. A fail, an epic fail. At it again, doing nothing. Another failure. And that's what I'm afraid of. Another failure. Because they don't do what they're supposed to do. And if they can't do it, then we need to find somebody that can. Because where's the due diligence with TBI? And I'm not afraid to say that. I don't care. What are they going to do? Arrest me? I don't care. I agree. I do agree with that. I do agree with that too. I do. Don't go missing here. Please don't. Unless you know you've got good people that are going to come search and find you. God, please. And that's a true fact. And yeah, we do have a freedom of speech. And I'm using it. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm certain I'm my amendment on that. But don't go missing here. And that's, that's I'm telling the truth. Don't go missing here. Please don't. Hold hands, cross in the street, do everything you can. Which what which ex-wife? There's four. Mm. Mm, New Brunswick. Um God. I think that there's a I think some there's some things that are known about some of the ex wives. Um I don't know if that's public or not. I'm not going to make that that. I, I don't know. I would not be on the, I wouldn't be going riding anywhere. I'd be riding looking for my child. But he was certainly posting everywhere to try to figure out where's the vigil? Where's the vigil? Where's the vigil? Where's the vigil? Sir, it's three minutes down the road from your house. Not that far down the road. You could walk. God. And I'm, I am gotta say this. If y'all are letting that man and that woman on, on the platform, ask the hard questions. Press that shit. Because that's not what this is about. Like clicking a few and a dollar. No. Ask the hard stuff because somebody has to do it. I I would have done it if you would have ever have clicked that link. Listen, I know his family and I um, haven't spoke to them in some time. <sighs> Bet me all he wants. I'm not scared of any of them. I have nothing to hide. Apparently he has a lot. But uh, anyway, he wouldn't be able to answer one of my questions because he doesn't have the balls. And that's the truth. Stand up talking. Young, uh, I don't know if you want to call it a man. Not even a fella. Well, I, I wouldn't, yeah, well, see, I can't with that. Thank you, Rusty. I, this is just my passion right here, and I cannot. If you're letting them up there for just that, listen, you better press them. I will not. He is not making any money. If anybody thinks that he's legitimately making money off of that, listen, he's not. He's not. 
he's not. That man, man could barely swallow what he did yesterday, and that's the true fact. Sorry if I said that that embarrasses you for me saying that, but I'm, I said it. I'm not going to say anything that would. I would not. I wouldn't put myself into that. But I would do that. For but, yeah. People should be pressing them. Pressing the crap out of them. If they're going to have them on a platform, y'all got to do right. I'm not telling you what to do. Because I don't, know, I don't even know the channels that they've been. Like, where they're going. I don't know these people. And I don't. And I'm not being ugly, and I'm not being rude. I'm trying to keep it real. Why in the world would we pussyfoot around it? Well, they were here. I mean, they were looking over videos. Right. Yes, it doesn't need me. I've heard him say it doesn't need me. <laughs> I don't want him. Yeah, I do not wish to have him. I really don't wish to have him at all. Unless he will, unless he answers the one question. I was just I'm gonna ask him one question and then I was gonna just kick him on. But that would be it. I all I wanted was the one question and that was it. Period. But I don't think that he has the nerve to answer anything. And that's fine. And that's how I feel about that. He wouldn't have the nerve. <clears throat> Good morning, Black Hat Music. How are you doing, darling? You want to see your cabbie? It just kills me, though, that if people are letting them up there. Um, I don't know. Maybe he's going to. I don't, has he, uh, maybe he is just going to females. I don't know. It is heartbreaking. It really is. And that's why it just, it's warped my heart up and it, it's ripped me up. It just seems like it is all the time. It, it doesn't stop. Oh, man. Uh, cotton candy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But I say separate. Separate them. Start pressing hard. His buddy. I'll agree with that. I do agree with that. I do agree with that. And I don't like agreeing with that, but I, I have to agree with that. But we're doing it together.
Yep, and there. Pinned at the top up there. Uh, oh, Lynn, good morning. That cat is is my. He's my person. He's just my person. He is. You know what? Speaking to Miss Robin was like speaking to my mom. She meant what she said. And she was not a plan. And I believe every word that came out of that woman's mouth, I believed her. And I still believe her. Yeah, King Kevin. Let me see. I'll get his pictures. The GoFundMe is up there. Yeah. Yes, we are praying. We're going to keep praying. Who's aggressive and whose face? Hold on. Let me see whose face did he get into. He wouldn't get into mine because I wouldn't put up with that crap. If, it's, if you're talking about Leadfoot, he wouldn't get in my face. Uh, I don't know whose face he got into, but it wouldn't be mine. I think he will. That's why I'm not even going to, I'm not going to bring him a lot of attention. <laughs> I mean, I did send him the link that way. He could click it, but I ain't going to click that link. I don't care. I was just kind of aggravated. But I would I would, would I allow him to click the link? Absolutely. Just for I could just say one thing. They're working. I'm trying to keep her working. Gabby. I would say uh, on that right there, he was going to be living with his dad. Uh, I don't know how he thought. I don't know. If he thinks that his daughter is really going to come live with him, I don't know. Okay, black 
Yes, lots of prayers. Yeah, he's mad. I'm a little boy, you know. <laughs> I am. Yeah, you know what? I don't know if I, I don't, but I don't believe that he was aggressive. Structure is a lot for a kid, no matter what their age is. You have to have structure in the home. I think he was providing structure with his father. I do believe that. And he was allowed to also make mistakes and be a kid. But like Seth said, my, you know, my child was perfect. And you know what? I think we all say the same thing. Our kids are perfect to us. They are. And that's his baby. He has the right to say that. But um, while I would never want to paint my child that's missing in a bad light. That's bad anyways, all the way around. And I think a control freak, I'm not interested in, I don't like men like that anyways. Sorry, I'd rather be alone for the rest of my life than have a control freak. I don't find anything appealing by a control freak or by him anyways. Just not him. Stay away from him. Well, that one's, uh, if that's, I mean, little male energy is what I would consider that, maybe. Or little man energy, because I don't want to call oh, that a man. No, he never let his autism, nothing. He never, he never looked at him as he had a handicap or he was this or that. He was his son. That's his son. He didn't, listen, he didn't do that right there. And that's what, when you do have a child, regardless, you know, all of our kids are unique. All of our kids are different. All three of mine are different. You know what? I'm not labeling my daughter because she was born with something. I'm not going to do that. I pushed her. And I did push her. And let me tell you, she kicks ass. She rocks. They all do, but she rocks. <laughs> she does. I admire the hell out of her. When you put roadblocks and stumbling blocks in front of a child and they've already got things that they have to overcome anyways and that things that don't come easy to them you're only making it worse for them so I never let her use that as an excuse I never treated her different yeah he did say that and that's just his ignorance uh, that'll be up to him to explain I'm going to let him explain that. That's not my place to explain. Yeah, he lets him be a self. He lets him be a kid. Who doesn't want to be a carefree kid? Didn't y'all like being carefree as a kid? He liked to play on his phone. Well, he got to play on his phone when he said his dad's. He liked to play his games. He liked to read. He got to do that at his dad's. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, no, I don't know. I don't know. Well, Black Hat, I can't yell or cuss you right now, honey, because this is a different type of stream. Because you haven't said anything bad either about my cat, so I can't do that. So I'm sorry. I don't know. The only thing that's in that yard is, you know, the the sign that they had made. That's it. But I know what you're trying to say. Like, I, I get what you're saying. Not a memorial. I know, I know what you're trying to say. That's it, though. I agree. I all agree with that. And he taught it. He was, he's a teacher. He'd been teaching him since he, he was young, though. That child has 
an ID because of his father. He has his fishing license because of his father. What he's learned with the bank and account, you know, having those things he learned, as you heard earlier, from his father. He's learned these things from his father. That's, see, Shauna, you're amazing. <laughs> you're just coming through, just, I like that. That's awesome. I think that's freaking amazing. But Lord have mercy. I, well, I agree. I, I, I'm with you on that. I, I'm with you. I agree. I get you. I don't want four. Is it that would four, four too many? And when you're on your fifth, that's a lot. I'm sorry. I'm not judging though, but I'm just saying. Oh, honey. Mm -hmm. Fourteen years ago. Wow. Why do your rock stars do? Never. Never, Wanda. Don't ever say that. It's never too late. It's never too late. It's never too late. But as long as you're content with life, that's all that matters. As long as you're happy, that's what matters. If you're happy, that, hey, that's what matters. morning flower power amen thank you thank you the same to you amen i agree i'm with you on that right there and i would hope that anybody that's allowing that man on a panel would do that <clears throat> or would point something out hey i was talking to her not you you know does, does she not know how to speak or can she not speak is she not allowed to speak or do you speak for her I mean, are you the pr person for her I'm sorry, that's just a question I would have to ask. Why can't she speak? You weren't there. You don't know everything. So I'm asking her. Or maybe she don't have the kahunas to answer me anything because maybe she feels a little guilty. I don't know. Just saying allegedly and in my opinion. That's how I feel. But never call on people and then not expect them to have questions when stuff starts popping out. Well, I wish somebody would have the kahunas to say that. Wherever he travels and treks next on a panel, you know, Whoever lets him, I don't know who all, let, I don't know these channels that, I don't know these people. I don't, I really don't. I have no idea who these people are that have the channels. I, I have nothing against them. My question would just be to ask, you know, why not, you know, balls to the wall. Uh, unless, that, that, you know, they maybe they believe that, hey, they're, they didn't do anything and, they don't have to answer any of the tough stuff, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. That's another question I have. Does he have a bicycle? I know that he likes parks and things like that but I, I have a that's another question i'll ask that one so he avoided every male what yeah well, hmm. huh. agree shauna agree so they're avoiding all males <laughs> oh, God, this is insane why are well, I reckon I don't think that they'll be they would want to ever have a combo with me. And I don't want to, I wouldn't want to have that combo because I don't think they can handle it. Because it's just one question, really, to be honest. Wow. 
wow. Amen, flower power. It's awesome. I just think that, you know what? Stop pussyfooting around it and just ask the questions. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not baiting anything or anybody like that. Just ask it, let it go and get it over with. You know, they're either going to answer it or they're going to fly out real quick. And if they leave fast and they left for a reason, and you know what that reason is. That's how you get your answer. It's not that hard. Really? Might be hard, but there are some. Um, on, it just depends. It, apparently, uh, on what part of the spectrum that you're on. I don't know how that works. I don't know all about all this. That's, you know, some children do ride bicycles. Oh my flower power! Well, uh, he's got a while to go with that. I actually did his heart surgery as well. He's just around the corner if you're looking for him. Oh, I was like, wait, I could find him. I thought, wait, well, he's just around the way. It's about, and right now, it'll take you about nine minutes to get there. I don't know because it just I thought wow you know what I that broke my heart to hear and why they even said that but he asked for friends for Christmas I never heard of that I thought wow a child asking for friends for Christmas that's sad that's really sad I don't think that they really want that though is the way that I understand it and the way that I <clears throat> really was kind of paying attention to how their actions and what they were saying they didn't want that I don't think they wanted anybody in that and I'm thinking why did y'all even have a home that big you know Who buys a home that big for that kind of money? 